All right, Hajime Bashinchi. I am waiting for the game to open up. It shouldn't be too bad. Let's see. Main thing is that there was actually a patch today that didn't change much about the base game, but... Okay, wait. Capture scenes. Weird. Huh? Huh? I... That's strange. It's not capturing the game. Okay. Let me reset this. Maybe it's because I launched it through Steam, but having trouble actually detecting the game. Let's try that again. Come on, come on. Once this is up, I can go in. Hopefully, this is not great. It's trouble launching a lot of the time. One game ID. Wow, you know, I. <laughs> it's funny how it seems that Steam is just boofing it. So, how do I. Come on. Something open right now. Let's end the tasks. Yeah, for, for whatever reason, there are issues with Steam opening, closing, reopening itself. It. Okay. So closing Steam and not actually closing things, even though it's supposed to be configured to do that. So, you know, it. I guess this is the problem here. Okay. Second. Okay. Hmm. Well, alright. This should open now. I hope. <sighs> this should work. I hope. Well, it only took a couple of minutes to actually get things set up and working again, and... Okay. That's funky. Hmm. Okay. So, let's start it and keep on going. We got a new calibration version, and here we go. It's just... I hope that... Okay, and the game audio is working, which means that being in here is a good idea. There's things with graphical options that... Let me just see. Ray tracing is off. Settings. We got... Actually, anti-aliasing needs to be high. That cannot be low. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because apparently some of the issues with performance, according to the patch, were caused by automatically turning anti-aliasing on. I mean, automatically turning ray tracing on, even if it had been off whenever the game started up. And... Did I get these guys? I, I don't even remember. Okay, because if I recall correctly, off stream I went over into the this windmill pasture. The east windmill pasture. Well, we'll see. I'm going and see what some of this is. It's funny how you can see that placeholder terrain. Well, actually, that's not placeholder terrain in as much as accessible land. This stuff over here that connects to mountain tops of the giants, but isn't an actual place in any sense. Could it be? A crab? And a... I, I don't think so. I don't remember a crab being there last time. Okay. Keep on moving and... Oh, right. Yep. Giant rat. Hello. One, two, and we got two rats. Hmm. We gotta look at the no pastures over here, and then it will lead us to Dominoa 
which would have a god skin in there. That would move Millicent to there after we've rested there, and then we just sweep through the rest of this, and then of course, capital outskirts, which has a surprising amount of dungeons, I think. Depending on how things work, I might be able to get into Wayndell today, though I doubt I would be able to explore all that much of it. Hmm. Keep on moving, and okay, more rats. Hello. All right. Slash. Stand up with the bites, and is that all? There is another giant rat, so let's actually sneak up on this thing. No reason not to sprint. Crouch, and there we go. Fully charge heavy. This is Bloodborne. It would have caused a critical stagger. Three giant rats. No FP to summon. Appear at distance from the victim to start the fight. Imminent spirits of the vermin seem to multiply endlessly, enhancing the ashes can increase their numbers. <laughs> right, right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Figure some of this out. How do I want to do this? Hmm. Ooh, okay. Alright. How then? Anything over, around, or in this window does not seem to be that way. Giant ahead, try horseback battle. Find it funny that people are making all these Don Quixote references. It. If I had a lance right now, maybe. Well, it is what it is. And anything over here, or... Let me see. Seems familiar. Oh, because the Shaded Castle, or... I wonder what they're specifically making reference to, if anything at all. Probably not anything, honestly. Now we can... Move back over this way, and you can actually see Corin and Gold Mass again, I suppose. So otherwise, right under here, we could... Wasn't there a... Should be a Spirits written nearby, but... Nothing by Grace or anything. Hmm. Okay. Let's talk to them again, see if they have anything new to say. Well, there are a couple of... Wandering nobles I can take out. Come on. Thank you. Rilla fruit and the early flower. In that case, we can check over here and nothing new, I suppose, but are still over this way. Scribe Corin and the gold mask. We're good, we're in incantation, and we've gotten all those already. And nothing to say. Okay. Eventually, they'll move to Lane Tell, but not right now. We'll take our time. How then do I want to do this? Hmm. Just see. Having a bit of fun over here, and now the only thing left would be, yeah, Dominoa. There are a couple of. Not actually wolves, but just dogs, because, yeah, this is a quote-unquote civilized area, even if there aren't any non-crazy people around. So, we can... This is around where we were, and... and that's just sheep. These are just sheep, but the rabbit or the attack dogs are over this way still, and it's kind of hard to differentiate them from the sheep, but still, any threat must be eliminated. Cannot afford to let these things pass. The new update today did recalibrate a number of spells and weapons, and in particular it made, according to some people's patch note analysis, analyses it made a holy damage twin blade from the DLC actually very, very good. Called the Euporia, which on release was actually pretty terrible. So the entire gimmick is that you needed to attack enemies to build up a buff, which would give it some increased flat holy damage, and in addition, give you the ability to use the weapon skill to shoot a holy damage beam that at, could get up to two levels of charge, and the second level would basically be a holy version of Comet Azure, which is an interesting concept, but 
it was just way too hard to stack the buff. So you had to do a lot of attacks in a short amount of time, which was really hard to do if enemies were dodging or attacking at all. And the buff would decay relatively quickly too, but also, of course, using the weapon would also consume the stacks. But the recent update patched it in a number of ways, and in one sense it made the buff easier to stack, in another sense it made it decay slower, and it also just increased the damage that the buff did. I don't think it increased the damage of the beam, but it probably didn't need to. The main thing was... If the buff is easier to stack, you can actually use the beam a bit more often. And that said, it does deal holy damage, which is generally not a very good damage type. But it's very interesting conceptually. And oh, the celebrant skull and that. Orange bludgeon, flowers, and many colored fabrics. Submarine tool used by Dominola in the village festivities. Dancers, striking in, skull, skull too large in size to be human. Trace amount of runes on landing attacks. There are more for savage combo attacks, and of course there's an arterial leaf over here, because there is always an arterial leaf, I swear. So then, how do I make this work? I hear a lot of celebrants. There's the grace over there. And what do you have to say? This is talk. Fest of Melody, don't skin me, hide is filthy, I swear. Ah, uh, so it's sort of maybe an implication that the god skins, god skin apostles, because there is one here, sort of created these festivities, because the entire thing with the god skins is that they hunt down god demigods and wear their skins, this clothing. But also, these old women fight very, very similarly to the... Hemwick, Colonel Lane, all the women from Bloodborne. And I suppose you could argue that this place is somewhat similar as well, but if I fell off, that would definitely kill me. So let's not do that. Because they've got some with cleavers, some with hammers, and all in general, they're not very pleasant people. So that down there is where I went for the loop around for that. Celebrant Skull, so we're working our way up, and yep, if we're going to be fighting a god skin, we've got a decent physical flask. Got a lot of buffs, but the big thing is going to be equipping the Trinosaur to sleep, sleep those enemies, and thank you. Luckily, well, they're pretty weak to slash, it takes us one hit to take them out. It's not, oh well, that timing was kind of crazy. Golden Rune, and... Festivehood. Sometimes they'll drop a Celebrant's Cleaver. I think that 4 2. Dancers at the festivities of Dolmanua, Village of Windmills, dedicate, decorated with many colored flowers. Alright, suit yourself. Benton Dolmanua Windmill Village. But yeah, it's just working its way up. The top over there, where the gods can presumably be at the end. So it is actually a good deal like Hamwick. It's fine. It, there is a mod that somebody makes, is making, for Elden Ring called Graceborn, which plunges the world into permanent night and makes it, in many ways, sort of a Bloodborne tribute by adding a number of trick weapons and changing names, the appearance of some enemies to make it more sort of cosmic horror-y. And it's an interesting idea, but it's... I'm not sure I would really delve into playing Souls game mods while there's still actual other Souls-like games to play. It, and I, ooh, it would be funny if that had killed me. Because it would have dropped me off all the way down below, and that would have been almost certain death. I might have a good number of rune arcs right now, but I'd still prefer to not have to reuse one, reapply a buff. Oh, look, another rune arc. That's when I speak of the devil. Okay. So how then and when? Anything else in or over here? There was that golden rune in there. Hmm. It is amusing that now that I've pest threads, the only sorcerer I actually ever use is Starlight. To be fair, once I actually get around to beating Rykard, 
sorcerer I get from him might actually be a better fire damage spell than what I've currently been using. But that said, it takes up two, two memory slots, which might make it a little cost prohibitive, at least when I don't have a boss battle to use it on. Because just in general, with a boss battle, I can afford to have a more sort of bespoke setup of spells and equipment, because usually there's going to be a shortcut to get there, but the interesting thing about dungeon mini-bosses is that they might not be as strong, but generally speaking, you don't have as much runway in the sense that, well, actually sort of the opposite, and that generally there tends to be a bit longer of a physical run-up to a boss in a dungeon. Well, a mini dungeon as opposed to a legacy dungeon. So main bosses do tend to have sites of grace nearby, or otherwise some kind of shortcut. Hmm. God's skin should be up there. I think land six should be over this way, which means... Oh, and that's interesting that this leads to Galmir. But all of these actually lead to Landell. It... Well, I suppose it does make sense, because Volcano Manor Act also is a legacy dungeon, albeit not the main one of the area. Really is just, again, G Altus Plateau. How come you get two legacy dungeons? Hmm, can't get through over there. What might the message say? It hidden path ahead. Yeah, not really. Probably try to trick you into dropping down. Lots and lots of sheer cliffs. Does kind of contribute to the fantasy architecture feel, but well, that's right. If I can ride my horse here, may as well do it this way with Stormhawk Feathers. It's interesting to have here. It makes me wonder how much the horse was intended, if there was a walkway to get up there anyway. And clearly... Actually, the best way would probably be maybe jumping from over here. I... Let me see. Come on. One. Can I make this? Can I make this jump? Uh, maybe if I backed up a little, because I get the feeling that I'm messing up by hitting that whip. Either way, there should be, and... Yep, there we go. Otherwise, I could have dropped down from over there, but with the horse available, that becomes a much better way to do things, and... Two Exalted Flesh, which again is just a almost complete downgrade to Flame Grant Me Strength, other than the fact that it has no FP cost and is a little bit faster, but it doesn't have the- oh my goodness, I- that nearly gave me a heart attack. Okay. Human Bone Shard and Lightning Grease. I guess in a macabre way that would have been kind of funny, just imagine if I just had a heart attack right there and- died in the middle of this just pretty basic area in real life. Would have been sad, but hopefully there'd be some levity in it. Come on. So all the weapons other than the Celebrant Skull actually drop from the old women themselves. Celebrant Skull is a pickup, but the rest of Oh, this is an area with Flash Restoration upon enemy group kill. I was not actually expecting that. Figure that since there was the gods getting the end, that this might count as a sort of mini dungeon, but, well, I should have known that nothing in the overworld actually works like that. Let's stay away from that god skin for now. See it over there, and the best way to do this, well, for one, it should be a summon somewhat close by, so. Let's figure this out. Hello, hello. One. Oh, oh, that missed. Oh, and that didn't just miss. It. Okay. Opened me up for getting hit. So let's toss that down again. And what's there? Oh, another gold firefly for increased rune acquisition. What else is over here then? I. Hmm. -mm. Come on. Yeah, but they're supposed to be... Supposed to be able to summon Millicent for this fight, but I don't... 
Let's see where her summon sign is. Either way, I won't be using it because I don't summon if I can help it, but I wonder where that is and oh hello. Alright, fun. Let's put on our St. Trina's sword. Should be decent. Now you're coming over this way and dodge over that and can I Okay. One okay. Two oh my goodness. One, two oh, okay. And mm, can I do, oh please and there we go we got you asleep so let's put that down and buff up and oh okay and the boss music isn't even playing right now that's that's really really funny actually flame grant me and grail oh well and just like that we shred and can I and oh my goodness I Dodge, can I? Thank you, and move back in for a. Ah, there we go. We actually managed to stagger out your face transition. <laughs> Easy enough. Okay. And what are we gonna get from that? We got Godskin Peeler and the Scouring Black Flame. Okay. Sweeps of Black Flame, we could use that. Charging enhances range, could once lay God. Seal Death to Death, True Power of the Black Flame was lost. A twin blade, God's gonna fossil character runs by disturbing design. One end has a sickle, slicing attacks, other a winding spike for pouring the flesh, much skill required due to its asymmetric nature. Black flame tornado opened the ground, reaching vortex of black flames, and shall flame tornado hold spinning. Oh, and it doesn't have fire on their face. Eventually, black flame tornado will be a Ash of War we can pick up, but what I wanna see is Scouring Black Flame. I wonder how this will be as an option. It scaling outwards up in an arc, free aiming, stronger in damage, charging makes them equal. FP cost 21. Normal black flame is it's got some range, but damage by 30%. Hit seven and hmm, let me see. But it's got the same black flame. Train effects. I guess the question is how much faster is one than the other? Could be interesting to test out, and is this going to be? Windmill Heights. This might put Millicent over here. Yep, it does. She's right over there, so. Figure out some spells. Switch this out for. Scouring Black Flame. Fuse that with a Ranker Call. Let's try this out. I And this. Hmm. Interesting. It's got a bit more range, but. And. Let's see. One. Basically, one and a half seconds, but this is. And slightly faster for a bit more damage in exchange for being more melee. I might take this, actually. But they do the same damage when charged, so unless I really need AoE. The big thing is that actually AoE on that might be a good option. I think I will switch out Scouring Black Flame, put that in. It's a decent option, and honestly, I'm just tired of using the same spells time and time again. Alright, cool. Got a new one there, but... Lightning and... Well, Holy might... I might want to switch that out for triple rings of light, or... Well, triple discuses is actually not going to work. Because that's actually incredibly late game. Hmm. Not the question is just in terms of damage. Either way, Millicent's over here and we can chat with her. Ask her what she thinks about this whole situation. And you've got your arm now. I think of Wonder. Even handling the sword. Strip my skill with the sword. Call upon me should ever have the need. Call me ever handle me I can express my thanks. Well, thank you. 
But, you know, I fight, I fight alone. So, just see what else is over here. Got some of this, some of this, and so there was actually nothing in Windmill Heights other than Millicent's brief little encounter, but that is more than fine with me, so we can down over here, sweep through this way, and right. Land 6 should be over here. I think this might be that merchant's hut for Sage's Cave right this way. I guess my question is, I'm not even sure if that's actually a gate I can go through or just bait. So the main gate was the one with the tree sentinels, or at least the most obvious one. That said, it's just point this way, which make me presume that it's also an option, but I didn't actually go that way into Lane Hill on my initial playthrough, so I actually have no idea. And there seems to be another... There's another minor root tree in here, but I can't even see it from here is the thing. Hmm. Either way, nothing to do but keep on moving. We got other wolves, take down. We can just do this on horseback. And or not, or not. Okay. It awfully finicky. Mm -hmm. It was the question what the best weapon to use from horseback would be. So I hear something. Are those golems? There's a golem somewhere, clearly. But I. Mm, I know that there are a number in Capital Outskirts, but is it over on that tower or. Yeah, clearly on that tower. So if we go over and take it out, and yep, that gate is open. Is that another golden seed? It does certainly seem like it. In that case, I think let's switch out to the Krasier and another golden seed. Oh my goodness, this is annoying. Take that, and land six. Should be over this way, I think. Oh no, it's just rocks being flung at me as one does. Let's go around. I wonder if there might be a graze pass there that I can interact with. That would be nice. Right, I hear a scarab. Let's switch back to this. And. Hmm. I wonder who I want to make this happen. We got sun in here. Let's charge it up and kill you, and oh goodness, of course, that scarab is doing its thing, and crush you, and oh, lightning slash, interesting, call bolt lightning, swing down for explosive shock, retains the lightning enchantment for a while, it's actually a pretty decent option for a lightning weapon buff, well, it would be if I actually really needed one, but I don't, and can I... Thank you. Oh, well, I'm... Interesting. Oh, because I've gotten the wrong number of hands. Okay, well, now you're dead, dead. Okay. Cool. Can we? And it just totally broke that guard, too. Two. Three, and can I... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Come on, come on, you. I... Oh, but you're not dead. You're living on one tiny sliver of HP. Okay, cool. Luckily, we can knock away your shield without much trouble. I... Let's put the helix back on. Okay. Thank you. And... Can I... Run you through, thanks. Heavy crossbow, and... Stab again, but... So where's that golem? Was that a ballista? I think that was actually a ballista, not a golem. Either way, let's... Take you out. Thank you. Where is your over here? And can I get you? Good. So then, what's going to be up here? The highway lookout tower. Oh, come on. Let me break that skull. You are over this way. Hmm. Something down there and a drop down, but other than that, I... I was mistaken. Well, whatever it is might be up there. Hefty beast bone. Maybe they're using 
bone bolts or something? Because those would be arrow crafting materials, first and foremost, for me. Well, I- oh, it's- maybe it's just the guy manning that catapult? I wonder. This is- oh, golden arrows, well. That'd be for the Urgery bow, which I don't use. Okay. Climb on up. And- oh, okay, cool. We're right here, so. Go for a stab, and another stab, and- okay, cool. Some bolts. The hit Disney movie. Let's climb up again. See how this works. And we've got... I assume there might be a treasure chest or something up here. I would hope. The real question is just... How am I going to... And what is this? Oh, right, that's where you get... A great bow initial, if you don't get one from a drop larger than a man, cannot be drawn with any ordinary level of strength, or such shots is extraordinary. Grey bow can only fire great arrows. Alright. Well, we've got numerous other grey bow options, which I would say are probably better than that one already. Golden grey bow for just normal shots and Radon's rain. I mean, wine grey bow for AoE stuff. Oh, that would mainly be for killing dragon like enemies, but we've got pest threads for that now. It's amusing how pest threads is basically a dedicated large enemy killer weapon including dragons i once golden order seal gets even higher level that pest threads is going to be absolutely disgusting so i think see that it's not a catapult even this is a it's a trebuchet right i'm pretty sure no i think Wait, is it going the wrong way? Is it launching stuff in instead of out towards the capital? Can't really tell. Maybe I'm just stupid. It's probably part of it. And... Okay, so the jumping attacks are good. And... Yeah, yeah. They deal a little bit of additional damage, which seems to be enough. Well, actually... Would have been a one-hit kill on this foot soldiers anyway, but the question is... The big soldiers and... I think Lance X is... Somewhere around this way. Pretty sure she's not in capital outskirts proper. Visions of Tunnel. I don't think... There's any kind of tunnel over here. There are a number of dungeons around capital outskirts, but... Okay, Trina's Lily. Nothing there. How sad. Let's get off like that, and is that... Oh, you can actually see! You can see the halo tree from here. It's actually crazy. So that'll be... The final extra dungeon I go to. Normally it would honestly... Well, actually, halo tree would be... Maybe after Moog. Because Melania gives more runes than Moog does. So if you're taking that as your heuristic, then Halo Tree would be after Moogwin Palace. But either way, it's one of the... Those are the two sort of bonus super late game dungeons. But I think that Land 6 should be over here relatively... Well, it's interesting that Lancix, the ancient dragon Lancix, who we ran into before, she's explicitly stated to have taken a human form and cooperated with the Landell's dragon worshipping cult, which the Lightning Spear incantation we have access to is explicitly a dragon cult incantation. So, in that case, we see this over here. I think this might be where. The Margit rematch fight is, but either way, I will be not going ahead in the moment. Out of little battleground. Should be somewhere around here, so when I'm in the area, I would say, should equip Margit's shackle so that I can use that on him to stun him. And then just get free hits and probably kill him pretty quick. Hmm. Everything around here. I'm pretty sure, because I did 
check the wiki, god forbid, that WAN6 is in this area. Come on, I- alright, and- mm, Luckily, I can generally brute force some of this, and I- oh, alright, thanks. And, well, it- that was a bit silly. I thought I'd be able to knock the shield away a bit more easily, but does not seem to be the case. Alright, and take you out. That was one-handed. I did not want to do that one-handed. Another charging stab, and let me see. Take you out. Maybe it the basket is just stuck in the ground somehow. Oh, because it seems to be. Yeah, it's in there. So does it fling that stone, or? Actually, quite strange. Oh, whatever. I... Got hmm. through over here. Ran past that little phantom tree. Any other enemies in this area, or... So we'll be going back to work our way around anyway. Right, outer wall battleground. Question is, what were they were fighting? Maybe if the catapults are facing inward, it would be to... They were actually attacking Wayndale for some reason, that they went a little crazy. I don't know. Come on. Moving for a stab. And stab again. Oh, alright. Didn't really see you coming. And that over there. I think. Hmm. Some of this. And what does this lead down to then? That's my question. Got a broken down catapult, but other than that, it fell into there. These are some ruins. Interesting. Oh, I think that might be. I think that's a America church of some sort. Based on the architecture, but I'm probably wrong, honestly. Keep on moving up over here. See how this works. How do I? Hmm. Try some of this. Some of that. How then? Hmm. But if Land 6 is not in here, I'm wondering where she would be. Maybe down this way? I don't know, because I would presume that is a dragon I would fight her on a relatively big plateau-like area, but you never know. Okay. All there is to do is to keep on moving and pick up loot, take out enemy groups, see what there is to find. It is interesting. I wonder, I, guess, I suppose I'll use it against the Erd tree avatar, which will presumably be by the minor Erd tree in capital outskirts, but you can see these phantom banners all around too. That's cool. Yeah, the Erd tree avatar. I can try out scouring Black Flame on it because it'll have enough HP. That Black Flame effect will be nice, and also just be very weak to fire damage in general. Much more and where. Let's so run past this to get rid of all the enemies who are flinging rocks and such at us, but now that we've done that, we can sweep back through here. Hmm. How much? Got a couple more guys over this way. Thank you. Another stab, and can we. That did not hit. Surprise to me. Come on. Range on that is as good as usual. And oh, we got funny crossbow guy. Did not see you before. Hmm. So we're gonna sweep back through here. This is around where we were when we went through. To when we came from Dominoa. And it would just be this remaining portion and then the outskirts. Okay. Hmm. I, with this pace, I would say that. Doing some of Wayndell is not just possible, but likely. Well, depending on how long the dungeons in the outskirts take, 
I think I could at least get to a point where I could fight the Urgery Avatar in Landau. There are a lot of mini-boss level encounters in that area, which is fitting for a sort of mid-game to sort of two-thirds of the game dungeon. For us, it's more like three-fourths, because we did things so out of order, which is the way I like to do things, but... For a second, I thought that giant rock might have been a rune bear. Thankfully, it was not. And more wolves. Hello, hello. And slash took you all out with... That was a lot better than I expected it to be. How then? Hmm. Try... This is where we went. The windmill people down over there we already got. And this is... Over the Woodfolk Ruins, that minor urge tree, and it would get real foggy if we went down there, so. What is interesting is that, and I, oh, I did not mean to do that. How, in crafting things like gold pickled foul feet, golden roa is not an actual substitute for regular roa. It, honestly, you might expect that they were sort of, unevenly substitutable and that you'd be able to use the quote-unquote better versions, the rarer versions from later areas as substitutes for the less rare versions, but you can't- oh, we got more foul feet. Right, right, so that might be an example of them sort of scavenging for food. So the foul feet description mentions the needy picking the meat queen from even the feet of foul. Hmm. Should be a hero's grave over here, I believe. But we got more ruins, I think. Might also be a catacombs. Not quite sure. Hmm. Keep on looking. Red oh, and we got more wandering nobles. Hello. Sorry. And honestly, I... I can afford to see on the horse, but... Oh, and... Right, so that's a way to get regular Roa over here. Easily found near the Ur Tree because of the influence of the Ur Tree's power of gold. That said, I if I can't use them to make foul feet, I don't really have a need for golden Roa in any sense. Hello, Hajime Machi and thank you for the follow, Skara Daydod. I, me too. I, I'm, I'm wondering what prompted that, but I agree. Did you see the, have you played the Simulanka event yet? Have you seen the Simulanka storyline? Because it was, it had me in tears by the end, and I mean that. Yeah, it, I'm really, really excited for the idea of him having relevance in future Mondstadt story content, because I think, and, and people do, I'm sure you know how he's simultaneously one of the most hated and most beloved characters because of how morally ambiguous he is, but I like that he's getting an actual, actual redemption arc, in that you know, he's actually having to prove himself to an extent, at least to the Traveler. And I think there is an extent, and it's kind of similar to interesting. Well, the big thing is that he's in connection with Durin. That when he, if he shows up again with storyline relevance, it'll probably be, at least in my opinion, in connection to Durin reviving on Dragonspawn. And in that case... One interesting thing about Genshin to me is that, unlike Star Rail, and a lot of it is just, well, which to be fair, I don't play, and a lot of it is because making Genshin characters is a lot more resource intensive than making Star Rail characters because of all the open world interactions, but, oh, and wait, what? Huh? Oh my goodness. I did not expect that. Okay, we need to, let's buff up out of the way and take you, uh, okay, well, at least you're not that strong. Come on. I, all right. Can I? It is a guardian lion, which some enemies are 
Oh my, you're strong. Are mimics who will take the form of other enemies and only show up once you've taken them down. But we can. Oh my goodness, can I? Bloodhound and another, and can I? And we intercepted his jump attack. That was nice, especially since I was just spamming. Okay, and we got a larval tier from that, so. Those larval tiers are items you can use at Rinala, who is a sort of sorceress boss we beat a while ago in order to reallocate our stats. But since we're playing with equal stats, I will not need to do that. I actually did it by reallocating you know, one point from one stat to another to get an emote. I wish I had Nilu. It every now and then someone will mention how strong Nilu Bloom is, is as a team comp. And all I can think of is Wow, it'd be really great if I could run that team comp. Unfortunately, I don't have Nilu. But it... Oh, wow. That... That's nice. I'm a little envious. But... Lightning Great Bolt, but... Don't really use great bow shots... For anything other than their weapon skill. So, that won't do much for me. I is somebody shooting catapult stuff at me? Oh, I think those are Fulgur Bloom Lightning Flowers. Either way, thank you for the follow. If you have any interest, I will... I've actually got a model upgrade on the way. Just gotta figure some things out. So stick around and enjoy the show. There's also a fan court for schedules and the like if you have any interest. But, no pressure, no pressure. But as I was saying... I think... There are some four very obvious ideas for character ults if Genshin ever gets alt characters, and I think it should eventually. Yao Yao! I like Yao Yao. In particular, I play with the JP voices, and her voice actress, Katawaki Mai, it plays some other characters who I know and like. So I appreciate it. I find it really, really funny, because in particular... She's Ilya from Fate, and what's really, really funny is that Svarag and Clara from Star Rail are just references to Ilya and Heracles from Fate, but they actually have an entirely different voice actress, which makes it... entirely different voices, which makes it really funny, because there was an interview between Fate people and the Star Rail people, where they basically said, yeah, Svarag and Clara are just a reference to Heracles and Ilya, but... You know, in the end, it's just sort of... There's only so close you can get with a reference before it becomes a little on the nose. Before it becomes outright plagiarism. There, there has to be a wink and a nod aspect, because... Tartaglia is also a reference... The way he fights is very similar to Archer from Fate, if you're familiar. Who is... Oh... Are, are, are you a friend of someone I already know? I... <laughs> well, it... Are you, are you the same person or a different person? I'm curious. Either way, I have no problem with people bringing their friends. But... Nalan is going to be interesting, apparently based on some story leaks. Well, either way, it's nice to meet you. Tell Nad I say hi. But as I was saying... Apparently, Notland's storyline is going to have a lot to do with Abyss. Well, I appreciate it. I'm glad you like it. Like I said, it might look a little roughshod now, but I should be giving it a bit of a revamp soon. Which will be in time for not long launch, actually, which should be fun. But either way, I'm glad you like it. Thank you for coming. Always nice to chat with people, meet new people. But, as I was saying, apparently the story has a lot to do with Abyss and Celestia and Sovereigns related things, which does make sense as we've got only two, maybe three more years before we actually go to Celestia, presumably, so they have to get things going, even if they have been dropping hints for a while. No. It, in the end, it, for better or worse, Genshin is kind of my main game. I have no problem discussing leaks and stuff about Genshin 
while I'm playing Elden Ring, especially since if I talk about Genshin weeks while I play Genshin while the stream event is up, then Mahoyo Ninjas might zap me with a big orbital laser, so... To be honest, if I, yeah, if I want to talk about weeks, I gotta do it in other... other places, and okay, there's another checkpoint side of grace over here, so the question is... Where is my... Where's my dragon? Where am I going to get to fight that dragon? It's a big dragon to fight. Ancient Dragon Lansix, who ambushed me when I came up on the plateau before. It's not there now. Rampart side path. So in that case, where is... Where is Lansix? That's what I'm wondering. Try some of this out, and... Take you down, just like this. Oh, there, and come on. Slash, slash, and nothing really here. I know that there are some. I think there might be a worm face nearby eventually. It might be in capital outskirts, but there's a group of wandering nobles that uses death sorcery as a way to defia, who is this gal whose quest honor is related to a dead demigod named Godwin. And what's interesting is that Godwin is only half dead in that his soul is dead but his body grows endlessly because his sister had him killed at the same time as her using a supernatural weapon. So in a weird sort of way as demigods they sort of split their death. So Ronnie's body died but Godwin's soul died so Ronnie put her soul into a puppet body. Kind of like Scaramouche. Okay, take your time. Do whatever you gotta get done, feel free. But into a puppet body while Godwin's soul died, became unconscious, comatose effectively, but his body continued to grow as a sort of weird blight upon the land. So let me keep on moving, check out what's around here. But, basically, I think that if there were ever alts in the game, the most obvious would be... Well, also, let's actually test out Discus of Light on the sky. I thank you, and... Cool. Mm, it's good damage. I can stay at range, but... Thank you. And will this... Mm, what is a shame is that... Even though it is holy damage, it's only Whitney of proper death that actually prevents revival, which is more than a little annoying. Well, to be fair, Whitney of proper death is also a devoted undead killing incantation, so it deals lots of extra damage. So I could maybe try that on that death bird. And, oh, that, the terrain got in the way. And, but if you do it just right, you can kill all three in one toss. That said, if I was farming them, I'd use something like an Alabaster Lord's Pull, the upgraded version of Gravitas anyway. And just like that, we... Thank you. Mm -mm. It's very, very low at PCOS is the thing, so... Mm -mm. And if we change the direction, we can make that work. But yep, you have to take them down a second time by hitting them before they revive, unless you've got Sacred Void active, and that's why Sacred Void is so good. It... It is interesting that the equivalent holy infusions, well, sacred infusions in earlier Souls games, would prevent undead from reviving, but to be fair, those didn't have a special damage type, so they weren't really good on their own merits in the way that sacred infusion can be in Elden Ring outside of an anti-undead niche. And we have another Spirit Spring to bounce up there, but... It seems like this really was just this graveyard, and nothing of serious note. Well, we got a silver pick up Falfoot, which isn't bad, but it's not as if there were sorceries here to use. Well, whatever. And you've got this weird sickle. And I... Mm, so we just gotta make sure that you're between us when it flies back, which is a really, really cool way to get a bit of extra damage in there, but... None of them dropped any kind of weapon, and the Great Axe that some of those skeletons use is a really, really good option for taking down and dealing criticals to enemies, but it was not an option at the moment, and I think 
Stormcaller Church is over here, and it should have another sacred tier to make my flask more powerful. I think there is also a hero's grave over there, another dungeon. So, just like that. Thank you. Oh, then we have more of this. Mm -mm. But, let me think. All these Fulgur Boons, what is interesting is that the lightning there can actually deal damage. But, it's hard to actually get hit unless it... There are some Fulgur Boons in Water in Lyurnia, and there it's relatively easy for the lightning to hit you, because when it hits water it makes this trail of crawling sparks, which will spread through the water, because normally it seems like it'll try to avoid you, but oh, here we go, cool. Let's use this then, and can I? Blessing's Boon, and you got more lightning, okay. I think I might have gotten hit there. Oh, it was because of right, the lightning ran, and that was what was going on. So let's use another incantation, and swing, okay, and oh, you hit that, fun. And best threads, cool. I, oh, alright, huh. And you are basically Fortisax, so we aim for the head, and for the pest threads, aiming for the head, and big damage, fun. I dodge, and cool. Thanks. Gotta aim for the whole body. Cool, and oh my goodness, you've gotta be kidding me. Come on, what was that attack even? Come on, and keep on hitting, and okay, and luckily we can just worm attack, worm attack. There we go, cool. Dead dragon. Great enemy felled, and we got your special spell now, too. Cool. Lansix's Glaive. That was actually vile. I, that might be too strong to use. With Red Lightning Glaive, and we can't use that yet. Power of the Ancient Dragon Lansix. Red Lightning Glaive slips the area from above and wishes trails of lightning. Sister of Fortis X said that she took the form of a human to commune with the knights as a priestess of the ancient dragon cult. That's mainly an AoE attack, even if it is sort of a weapon conjuration, which... Yeah, I... That might have been a bit much. In the end, dodging the attacks was still important, but... Did relatively little damage to me. Okay, so there's lightning rams, rams drop Fulgur Balloons 2. Okay. Let's figure out more of that. That's the... I think that's the Oriza Hero's Grave. Either way... What is that platform over there? What is that dice? Hmm. Keep on looking. This is over here, and I think that might be... Commemorating the second defensive lane, though. No, really, what is this? We got a stone sword key, but this is actually rather strange. It has similar architecture to that big hero's grave over there, but I wouldn't imagine it's the same thing. Anyway, anyway, Stormcaller Church should be over here, and it should let me get another sacred tier to use. And what is that thing? It's. Oh, it's another. Another knight. Okay. Is this too? And can we... Well, okay. Mm -mm. Going for a failed stab. And oh, well, alright. Mm -mm. Do this while we're close. And stab before you actually call the lightning down. It's a little scoffed. More than a little scoffed. It's routing of the ancient dragons. Godwin the Golden fought to the last, earning the friendship of Dread Fortisax. And... When we went to Deep Root a while ago, we fought Fortisax in a teleport from here. Alternate version of this area and the Corpse of Godwin was right over this way. Big overgrown and looking at more than a little like a mermaid. It's interesting that the large number of swords here maybe suggests the difficulty of the battle. But over here we've got... Another scarab. So what is going to drop from that was oh lightning ram, okay. By tumbling rams and we tumble forward quite lightning repeated in rapid succession. Interesting. Okay. I think I'll stay away from that from now, but is this another This is not another sword grave. Got you over here, so let's take down 
sky. Okay, and... Mm. Come on, and... Stab, 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 and we kill you in midair with that slash. Fine. It... We may be a little too strong. Maybe. That weapon upgrade level is... Putting in a lot of work. So we can put Starlight back on, and... Okay, there's actually no side of the base here. It's a little weird. Oh, well, we got treasure chests and a number of these guys. Suppose it would be the hero's grave that's supposed to be the closest side of grace, then. We got, oh, Dragon Bolt Blessing. That, it actually sucks. Kinda. Superior incantation of the ancient dragon cult. Summons lightning and bolster the body. Easier to deflect attacks. Resistant to ailments increase. Lightning damage negation reduced. Only those loved by dragons. Survive the ordeal of cladding their bodies in lightning. It, it's not that good, and it takes up a body buff slot, which would be better used on something like Gravel Stone. Oh, the Gravel Stone is... Oh, there were just a bunch of Gravel Stones around here. Wondered why it wasn't a sacred tier, but it's because we didn't pick it up. Alright. Yeah, Church's Ball lands, but a faint message. Blessing here, tree, spread the faith for... Theirs was once a certain blessing. Hmm. That blessing of healing, which... Zumoi is the reference to the blessing that the Urchery had in the past. Let me see. Alright, alright. Keep on looking. Hmm. Also some, some runes to get over here. Golden rune. Then, golden rune. Golden rune. Golden rune. And... Golden Rune. Okay. Break that. And what else is over here? We... Interesting. Check out some of this. Hero's Grave should be in there, but then after that, I... And of course it's Rans, just... Preventing you from opening my map. Classic, as, as one does. As one rams. So there should be a few more enemies around this way, but other than that, I'm wondering. Got you over here. Okay, another one of these window knights. Hello, and right, we can dodge out of the way with proper time because this actually is some eye frames. We should make a use of that properly. More to dodge and counter in, and that is, of course. Part of what makes the spell so, I mean, the skill so good, but I was not making full, adequate use of all of its properties, but, yeah, if you use that to touch properly, it becomes less punishable, so, in the future, I'll try to use it better. I think I'll probably use it to take out Moog in Shunning Grounds, the sort of non- boss version, or the mini-boss version. Moog the Omen, the illusion created by Morgoth. This, is this connected to the painting, or this be a this be a bug? Phases through, or didn't expect Everjail help me. Okay, that's funny. It's actually rather funny. My question is what the boss in this area is going to be. I think, actually, it was Oh, we got a Black knife. Oh well. Hmm. Oh, just a random black knife assassin as a boss. Okay. Hmm. Let's. Oh my goodness. All right. Hmm. Guarding this hero's grave. Well, let's buff up first. No reason to let that get in my way. Thank you. And you can see that. Little debuff. Hellshred debuff. Hello, and we can... Rails roar, knock you back. Cool, fun. And... Takes a while, though, so I... Mmm... -hmm. Helix might be a good option if it weren't for other things. And now we can just... Well, alright. Dodge, and okay. Mm -hmm. Getting close, and... Well, okay. Dodge, and can we get in closer? 
thanks, and go back in for a slash, and there we go, cool. What you're gonna drop? You dropped a... Oh, the actual black knife. Cool. And Blade of Death, Power of the Rune of Death, Death Fire, a Blade like projectile, initial dealing immediate damage, reduces enemies maximum HP, continues to wear down HP for a while, dagger once belonging to one of the assassins who murdered Godwin the Golden on the Night of the Black Knives, ritual performed on the oddly misshapen blade, imbued it with Power of the Stolen Rune of Death. Okay. That was nice, and in here I believe should be some things. See how this happens. In a hero's grave again. I think this one would be Rise of Hero's Grave. Let's go check. This is oh the sainted hero's grave. Who am I going to have to fight here? I think I don't think it's going to be Ordovis. But Sainted Hero's Grave. Seated Hero's Grave has, well, it's got a funny black knife out right outside. Oh, Ancient Hero of Zamor, and it's weak to... Weakest to Fire and Lightning, so... I will probably use Scar and Black Flame, because it'll buff up a good deal better, and use that staggered tier and put away most of our weapons. Don't use most of these weapons. That can go, that can go... These can both go. And yeah, this is, again, all we really need. And do I? Anything else? This is all I really need. Zeracord for a bit later, and... We need two to get, one to get in here, and what is that then? Mm -mm. Thank you. Dung. Is this a seabed curse, or, oh, a revenant, okay. All right, and a grave violet, and oh, just the crimson seed talisman. Okay, that boosts HP restoration, or tree seed, perfect eternal. Thus, it was believed or tree seeds could not exist. Like cars from JoJo, as the ultimate life form, achieving pure perfection. There's no need for more than one. Let's keep on moving, and I wonder if. Should be some other. Worcester Wall somewhere, I think, in here. Sainted Hero's Grave. So I'm wondering if there will be another chariot in here somewhere. It's a question. Now we have. Oh, we got more revenants, and we could try healing, but. A single slash attack will take them down anyway. So is this. Aha! Uh -huh, there we go. So that my question is, and got some imps. Oh, huh. What is that holy area? Let me just check. Sainted Hero's Grave. Sainted Hero's Grave. That. What is that funny white area? Oh, okay. You have to lead dark enemies into the light. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, because you see it's in there, and it's got that dark effect, but that one, that imp is stuck. Okay, okay. What else through here? Any kind of illusory- or- oh, alright, and one. If we attack you while you're surfacing. Can't do all that much. Let's take you down before you even get started. Hmm. Got through here and does not seem like there was actually much other than that overlook to begin by going through here. Hmm. Doesn't seem like there was an item or anything, but let's put the hammer back on. This will be a good way to take the imps out, but you're oh right, because you weren't stunned forever. Thank you. And we cannot damage the imps while they've got the darkness on them, so yep. They're just shadows, so we have to weave them into the light, and then they'll get stunned. Hello, and there we go. Just smash you. Fun. Yeah, but that illusory wall does not seem like it led to anything of consequence, but actually, I think... 
If I get around over that way then, I feel like it's worth a shot. Mm -mm. Let's check the osiri walls. Osiri walls. Sanded Hero's Grave. Wall is illusory, but it doesn't lead to anything. Okay. Oh, but I should have... I should have leveled up. Whatever. I... It's not as if... I'll be able to get all that much more from an additional level. Okay. I'll lead them into the light. I'm wondering if I have to activate that with... Yeah, the light is over there, so I suppose I'd have to just... Run past them? Maybe. Well, alright, we got... Revenants in here, but those are not dark enemies, it seems. Okay, and we slam. Thanks. Get in here. Come on, get in here. And, okay, there we go. Cool. Take this out. Put my Bloodhound Spang back on. Take this guy out. Thank you. Cool. Go for a quick slash and use. Oh, right, because when it spawns in, its projectile it hangs in the air before moving, but it's still got an active hitbox for that time. Okay. Yeah, Scouring Black Flame should be a decent option to use here, and there was absolutely nothing in here other than a Grave Violet. Which I, again, it's not like I use a bunch of Rancor Pots or something. So where is No Horseback Battle ahead? And is this the hole ahead? Oh, so that would drop me down. Question is, would that take me straight to the boss, or... Landell Soldier Ashes. Spirits draw to Landell Soldiers. Spear and Great Shield fight battles defensively during the Shattering. Ramparts that fortify the Golden Capital. And that was actually rather nice. This is good to know. Let's send me straight to the... And this will not send me straight to the boss. That's good. Okay, cool. And now we got more of you. So, slam and well miss, apparently. Come on, I... Alright. Got a couple. That's good. Come on, I... Alright, and... Oh, please, you. Come on, come on. Die already. And can we... Mm, well, luckily, it seems as if that shadow buff permanently goes away and... I, a slow weapon is really, really bad for fighting these guys, then. Even if strike damage does theoretically deal more damage. Okay. Let's pass here. Is this going to be our boss fight? Raises that up, and oh, that... Were the guillotines going before I flicked that switch? Well, it's not like I could know. It's basically Schrodinger's guillotine. Okay. Light from... That's not roses, then. Something else. Oh, and we got a bunch of putrid corpses. I don't think they have a dark effect on them, but they don't have a dark effect on them. But clearly, if you go up on the guillotine, you can use it as an elevator to get to whatever that is. Okay, cool. Go up here and see what I can find this way. Hello, putrid corpse. And we can... Come on, I- oh, well, I- oh, come on. Gotta be kidding. Luckily, it didn't do that much, but still. And you can see the damage they take. Run in and slash. So what, what? Will I be able to find this way? This is a bit of a hidden path, even if it wasn't, even if it wasn't in a wizard ball proper. And we see some revenants. Amazing. Okay, cool. Let's go over. Cut you down. Thanks. Put our starlight back on. Cool. Oh, and you're over there, but your bell glows a interest an interesting purple, it seems. I didn't notice that before. Oh, but that was the same one, just teleporting. Okay. There were they weren't actually two. Let's see what item we get from here. Should be a stone sword key loss with use. And, oh, right, because we have to wait for that message to disappear right in the way. Dragon Crest Shield Talisman plus one. Oh, that's a good. Duo of Ancient Dragons greatly boosts physical damage negation. Symbolic of all matter protections. And there we go. We get a bigger and stronger one. Check my negations real quick. And 34, 30, 47. And... 
And that is a little bit better. Not crazy, but still good. I will be more than happy to take that. Make me a good deal stronger. Or at least more resilient. Oh, and okay, I didn't notice that up there. Good that I saw that in and Cool. Putrid corpses, more guillotines that... There's an item up there, so presumably there should be more. Okay. See, okay, both of those seem to lead to that. So, we'll take you down. Thank you. Hmm. We have glove heart. The spirit ashes that I don't actually use. And nothing over on this guillotine. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Glad to see you here. How have you been? Okay, but how am I going to get up on that bridge over there? Oh, wow. What? What was happening? That's a little worse. One, two. Luckily, it's not as if the ground attack deals a lot of damage, but... Oh, okay. What party? Is that the graduation party you were talking about before? Hmm. Then, beware of your dog. Oh, and okay, we got another revenant. Oh, okay. And how do I? Okay, we're gonna have to cut you down with your horse. How many? How many graduation parties do you have to go to? Come on. Okay, but the bridge over there. Oh, and that the corpse got stuck. That's funny. Oh, now you got killed by the guillotine. What else is over here? That's gonna be our way in. Oh, okay. About food. I, I feel like that's the topic of a number of your conversations. Just food. Let's keep on moving. It... The Italian school schedule just confuses me sometimes. And I think, yep, exactly. One more revenant, so. Take you out as you're spawning. Thank you. Go Squaw Horde and Human Bone Shard. Go Squaw Horde. Too much food. There is no such thing as too much food. If there's too much for you to finish, you use that as an excuse to take it home and have free food for later. Oh, but do this. Oh, he whined about it. Well, either way, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Oh, but if we want to fight this guy, we'll have to lure him all the way over to the light over there. That's cool. Wire ahead and... Okay, come on, come on. Panic roll, we should be okay, but we have to lure him all the way back there. That's kind of crazy. Okay, come on. Go back down. The light should be over here. Drop down over that way, and... Come on. Come on. But the guillotines can't hit that guy, I don't think. I... Okay. Come on. And... Over there. There we go, and now you're stunned, and we can... Just... Hit, and there we go, cool. Somewhere a heavy door is open, so... Oh, you actually need to find and kill that duelist guy to get through. But he did not seem to drop anything of note. Well, whatever. Should expect this kind of stuff by now. And... Hmm. Still want to get hit by the guillotine and probably just die. It... It's, it's not just how much you eat, but what you eat. <coughs> oh, well, I... I tried to roll. Okay, well... It... There isn't really a nice thing to say there. Medium load, and put on bull goat, put on... Bull goat grease, and... Oh, wait. So there are more things before the boss, even? It's just that door and nothing else? Okay, well, alright. Now we got blood on our face. Sad. And I- Oh, really? Come on. 
Well, that dealt even less damage. Very, very good. Very good armor. Okay. Go through here, take down that hero of Zamor. Take this off, do Blessing's Boon. Golden Vow. When grant me, then we got Grail. We need to take some more of that, and oh, well, we should take this, probably. Okay, and rush in. Get Grail's Roar off, and there we go, cool, and just like that, we... Well, I did not mean that. Did not mean for that. Come on, cool, and not really cool. Thanks, and there we go, we knocked you back, which means now we can use. Scouring Black Flame, cool, and burn it. Alright. Cannot again. Oh, well, okay, cool. Mm -mm. Good damage, though. Alright, and Black Flame, and... Oh, interesting. That range on that is quite bad. Okay, cool, and burn, burn, and... Mm -mm. You probably have some damage resistance because of that, but I... Mm -mm. Well, this is interesting. Okay. Cool. Well, now you're dead. So you have to be really up close to make that hit, but it deals great damage. Ancient Dragonite Kristoff. Okay. Legendary Ash Remains, Kristoff, Ancient Dragon Knight, Honorable Knight of Landale, also do that. Worship for the Ancient Dragon, striking foes with Thunderbolts, Dragons of Weapons of Choice. First Defense of Landale, Kristoff earned the Hero's Honor of Erdtree Burial. Feet of Captain Godefroy the Grafted. And Godefroy is the guy we fought over here. This is. Wow, we went down pretty far. We're basically right under Rampart Side Path right now. That's funny. Alright. So I suppose the only thing left to do is to go into Capital Outskirts itself. Okay, alright. Well, I worked my way through the rest of. Wayne outside, outside the wall, and now the only thing left to do is actually go into the wall. Well, into the area. By the wall. Well, actually, there's also this merchant's shack over here, which I think, yeah, should also give me some stuff I need. Oh, we can talk to Melanie here. Oh. Sigh. Well, you're supposed to go through here, and we're here as well. Share them with you, sure. Own words. Hear me, demigods. My children, beloved. Make of thyselves that which ye desire. Be it a lord. Be it a god. But should ye fail to become aught at all, ye will be forsaken. Amounting only to sacrifices. Sacrifices? In what sense? Oh, because she's here. We actually get her dialogue when we level up. Yeah, okay, cool. So. That's good. That should be useful. More equip load. Cool. Okay. So in that case, we can probably equip slightly heavier stuff, maybe. With what we've got. We'll go Greaves and the Redauntlets. Put a weapon on, and... That's still heavy, but... Let's see if I can equip. That would still be heavy load, okay. So the difference is too much, even for now. So let's actually go and see if I can take on that. I think this is around where Margit shows up for the second encounter, but for that I'd like to go to the Hermit's Merchant. That would allow me to find another... Go into another dungeon, that Sage's Cave. Which I believe should have a Black Knight Assassin as its boss. Grace Mimic, okay, whatever. That over here, and I think there's also a bell bearing hunter here. I believe. There's also a death bird in capital outskirts. So, let's take that. Oh, but that's right, we should use 
Got you in here in that. Uh, Alright, cool. Thanks. And take it down. Press the side of grenades and that. No, he's still there. Okay. Let's talk to you. Hello. Permit merchants check. Some of them. Customer. How long has it been? By oh well, you know, more rune arcs is always nice. Below the capital, sewers below the capital. May as well take these. Why hesitate? The path of the future is clear. Quiz rise and walk, and about seven of those. And shackles around the neck. Passer by not to lend an ear to their sermons. Foretold misfortune, persecuted, driven from their homes. That's very biblical. Noble children. Oh, that's Raya, I think. Such a robe for sure. Burging independence. Prophet trousers, for fabric scrapes against the skin like a sharpening file. With a silk robe, distinguished rate shield, sentence, great families, extensive sides, but lordlings too timid to earn a few nicks and scratches. Sentry's torch, for protectors of the urge deals holy damage. So incantations, see assassins cloaked in veils, the urge reading, grace given war, knight of black knights will never come again. Alright. So that will be useful in another area. Let's actually check that note and the new of the cap wind a vast network of sewers while in the city ball it reaches deep into its tunnels. Alright. So that will make him disappear, and it's time to find the final bell bearing hunter. Okay. It's on and can I equip full bull goat is still heavy. Okay. Interesting. Let's take a flask. Use. Honestly, normal black flint is still probably better than scouring. Guess we could do a damage test on somebody, but still. And that. Then we got grails, so. Yep, right there. Just like that, and we can take you down a little. Thank you. I all right. Oh, okay. Interesting. I, oh, oh, okay. Hmm, dodge, dodge, do oh, alright. Fun! And, oh, please. Mm -hmm. I. Thanks, and, oh, well, okay. Hmm. Heal up again, okay. Thanks, and, one, two, and, dodge, one, two, and, hmm. We have to do uh, some trades, and, there we are, cool. One. Two, and just one more quick hit, and poke, poke it down. And that's every bell-bearing encounter, bell-bearing hunter encounter done. Okay. Medicine peppers, bell-bearing, and that. All oh, these boluses, okay. Well, a little more scuff than i like to be, but at least couldn't really do much damage to us. Hmm. I wonder where the death bird in the outskirts is. Death bird in capital outskirts. Map, and it's in east of the merchant's shack, so they're very close to each other. I... Winning a proper death might not be good. Let's use it anyway. It's not like all many other opportunities. Letting a proper death, and we can put on holy shrouding. Should be good. So actually, let's take this off because we'll just be using our seal. This on then, and go to medium load. All right, another boss through here. Okay, should be around this way. According to the map, all sorts of other things and rights, since we don't have. We're not dealing fire damage. Flame Grammy Strength won't do much of anything here. There is that death brute then. Around this way, I think. Come on, death bird. Show up, why don't you? Hmm. I have a feeling that I might be doing this wrong. Now that is definitely not the right way. So what is its location? Don't imagine it's because it's actually daytime now. It's not daytime. Hmm. 
check this more specifically. Put down a marker on the map, probably. Yeah. Let me see. Deathbird. Then. Okay, it's up on the top of that ridge. Okay. Let's make it nighttime again. It's the time to nightfall. <clears throat> okay. We got Whitney, a proper death. Nightfall is here, so. Zoom away to show up around now. Is this here and now? Make that flash, it should last more than long enough for the fight. Six boon. We're around this way. Golden Vow and. Roar, which I cannot use on horseback. Should be over here, so. Where's that death bird coming from? Is it not late enough? Should be the right time. It might be over here. Night, always night. Okay. Hello, there we go. And you're coming down, so. There we go. Cool. Let's use this. And. Cool, cool, cool. And. Oh, nice. We took a good deal of them down. Wait, what? Huh? Okay, well, it. That wasn't much damage. Okay, cool. I. Uh, dodge. You cannot. Interesting. Fun. And. Take you. Oh, well. Decent damage. And. Alright. Fun. Kinda, kinda. Mm -mm. It isn't really that good. It's very, very slow, too. And, well, interesting. It doesn't have a high FP cost, though, is a thing, but the time it takes to cast is, is a bit to be desired. Mm hmm. Okay. It. I'm better just using another holy spell. It. Unless you can actually use the AoE to your advantage, it's. Not worth it. Okay. And you... Right, because it only hits things that are on the ground. So let's... Not kill you somehow, I suppose. Annoying. I... Let's just take you out with the best threads. And... Come on. Get over here. And... Yeah. It... That was a little idiotic. Honestly, I think the... Discus of Light might have done a better job. Vividly point Twin Bird, Envoy of an Outer God, Mother of the Death Birds, when the levels of HP slightly boost both attack and defense. Alright. Hmm. Well, so we took down both of those bosses, so let's go to that Sage's Cave and actually finish it out before I forget. Okay. That's at the side of Grace. It, the bull goat armor does look a little silly, in that sense it might be a reference to how Cadrian armor looked like an onion, maybe. Hmm. Let's see. Alright. So the sentry's torch is what I need to use. W what about things that aren't onions? That's the question. Dawn's armor, and then bull goat, and... If they're jellyfish, we should put this on, but... I'm going to switch out to... 8.8, 5.8, versus 8.8, and... Hmm... One is much heavier than the other, but oh, with the torch involved, that, that puts us back in medium. It... Nothing can surprise me anymore. Right, but that was actually the way back out, but I think... Sensory's torch helps with invisible things, and... Torch attack, though. What I should do is put no skill on it. So I can still use... Other stuff. Level up, we cannot quite level up, but actually with rounds, just use, let's use this to level once. I didn't know you were such an onion super fan. 
let's take Dex actually yeah that that's a good option. Let's Ashes of War, put it on the torch. Weapons shield counts as a torch. Okay, no skill. We'll do that. Twin bird golden distinguished. Put some of those away. Shields. I do too. It's hard not to. To a great shield, so. What other torches do I? Beast repellent, and those can stay, because these are the only ones that will actually be useful for much of anything, but. I, oh, but I forgot to. I didn't actually put the Ash of War on it. I may be stupid. Okay. Ash of War. Wait. There we go, and this sh should be. Huh? But wait. Sentry Torch with Torch Attack, but. Oh, you can't actually infuse. You can't actually put an Ash of War on Sentry Torch. Okay. Try attacking, but the hidden pass will be revealed by the torch. Right. These are. Oh, skeletons. Okay. Huh. Actually, I. There are a bunch of skeletons in here. I may as well actually use Litany. This should be okay enough. Oh, oh, lag. Okay. Huh. Try that out, and. Boom. And it won't come back. Okay. That hidden path, but... Something incredible ahead. So what is the incredible? This is the only place in the game where... A torch will reveal. Illusory walls, though. Gloss Ashes of War, and... This is... Rejuvenating Bolus is decent enough, especially since I don't have a recipe for that yet. I wonder how long this entire place will take. Golden rune and oh, all right, thanks. And oh, well, interesting. Not great. And well, I actually that might be good anyway, just because it takes skeletons down in a pretty wide area. The issue is the startup. Golden rune, silver firefly, and. What else? I wonder. Actually, rather labyrinthine. Okay. Thanks. And take you out. Take you out. And oh, well, that. The Great Axe skeletons are very, very strong. Mm -hmm. Sacred Blade would have prevented a respawn, but it's. silly. This is a stone sword king. Hmm. There, surprising amount of things to loot in here. That's a golden great arrows. Or true great bow, holy damage, or sword incantation boosts attack and defense of the archer and their nearby allies. It's an interesting idea. But I'm kind of getting turned around. Raptor talons, and is this where I'll get the? Outfit, no. Dragon Grease. Raptor Talons. Two sharp thin blades. Assassins of Raven Mount. Protect the attacks of death birds. Excelling airborne attacks. Short Jack mimics the vicious swoop of a bird of prey. Hmm. That then. Do it. Well, that would clearly kill me. And what else is here? Hidden Path ahead. Something incredible ahead. Enemy ahead. Or did I... This is where I came from, wasn't it? No, that's actually the boss fight. I'm getting all kinds of turned around now. So where do I actually go? This is just weird. And that- oh, yep, Raptors, Black Feathers. Black Feathers of a Bird of Prey, Assassin's of Raid Mount, Transport and Death Burn only by imitation, Jump Attacks, Birds of Prey, Bringers of Death. I think there are multiple oh, bosses in here, actually. Skeletal Mask, and that sends Rim Mount, Skeletal Mask, tightly grips the face. Oh, that's a spine for the mask. Digs in the face, presuming human instincts will dress in imitation of the Death Birds. Gorgeous view ahead. This is a fight with Necromancer Garrus. Let's actually quit out briefly. We'll drop his family heads. 
Grimet Garrus. That's weakest to Pierce. Okay. Pierce is a good option. Shortly before the Black Knight Assassin. Okay. So using Body Helix should work on him pretty well. Surprised at how much Body Helix doesn't work against Bell Bearing Hunters. Oh, alright. We will get some buffs on. Sings Boon. Golden Vow. Flame Grammy Strength and rails, presumably. Okay. Oh, well, let's actually use this. Hello. Grails roar, and there we go. Cool. Fun. And we got this, so... Oh, right, you'll use various rancor attacks. Oh, you got skeletons with you, as one does, and can I... One, two, three... Oh, well, you're actually pretty tough. I... All right. Oh, because you got a spirit caller snail with you. Okay, cool. Fun. What is that skeletal snail? Oh, and it kills the skeletal snail too. Alright. Use that to just weave the place if you feel like it, but I don't feel like that. Not right now. Go and fight. Bludging copper heads attached to the handle by chains. Garrus, the heretical stage, resemble those of wives and two children, kind of like pinwheel in. Dark Souls 1, Vengeful Spirits, Chase down foes, English of the spouse and children invites a cursed wrath. Well, alright. As one does, I suppose. Let's just... Mm -mm. Take that back and... Try again to... Oh, but that's right, actually. I can't use... The torch in conjunction, because... The black knife is invisible without the torch up, but it's... Have to use... Torch to see it. Mm -mm. Golden Vow. One grant me, and we'll use Grail. Okay. Traverse the mist, and that we can see it. Black Knight Assassin, and. Oh well, yep, with that up we can see the thing. Otherwise, we can't. Okay, cool. And now you're invisible. I. Maybe it was a one time thing we had to do to reveal it. Maybe. That is a weird weapon skill to have to use here that I. You're too fast, honestly, to get that off reliably. Well, alright, and just slash it, and there we go, so... It's that dungeon done, Jin. Concealing Veil, and... That was barely anything. Dark Cloth with a Lustrous Scene conceals the wearer's presence while crouching or at a distance from foes. Part of one of the Concealing Veils used by the Assassins in the Night of the Black Knives. It's interesting, but not... All that amazing. Well, Alright, I suppose the only thing left to do is find more chests in this dungeon. Because those illusory walls were not the only thing in here. And yeah, it's capital outscripts or bust. That was silly. Well, in the end, the big silly is that I didn't need to use another gold pickled foul foot because I. Killed Necromancer Garrison used one just very shortly before. No, I I will probably need to go and farm a few more of those soon too. That's the big thing. And that jump would have been annoying to miss. Let's keep on moving. Come on, come on. Hmm. Check out some of these. Hmm. Actually have a couple of Fireflies in here, but it's over this way then. Just a couple more chests. Four chests! Alright. So much treasure just for having five of those. That's nice. These are a black hood that conceals identity in this world. The very well that must necessarily be known. Got Candle Tree Wooden Shield. Like for its size, easy to handle. Surreptitious prophecy of Cardinal Sin. Candle Tree design was forbidden. It's candle trees. That might have something to do with those who live in death then, because the candle trees that we see we the way to cave dungeons. Size wooden shield and 
This is... One nascent butterfly. I would have honestly preferred getting one gold pickled falfoot over that. It... I don't even know what I would use the nascent butterfly for. This goes down to... Can't make that jump. This is just... Back to the start, then. Okay. But either way, a discus of light is... Low FP, but... Question is... Where's a big enemy that I can test out? Actually, if I went over to Dragon Barrow, that could be a good way to test out. Damage of... Scouring Black Flame as compared to regular Black Flame. Wait, that's done. The only thing left is the outskirts. Okay. Take that off, put back on this. Put our staff on. And then, let me just check out some things. MRI spell. Put on regular black flame. Okay. So some of these work. Scouring black flame. Move over to the dragon barrow dragons. The barrow dragons, as one might say. See how well this does damage. Hello then. Hi. Check out the body and can I? That's hmm, about 619 damage in total, as opposed to this, which deals about. Hmm, it's actually pretty different. Somewhat 171 versus the C and burn. It deals more damage, but you can't do it from a distance in the same way. It it's something. Mm -hmm. It's in for the head. Thanks, and it more saleable too. All right, cool, fun. Okay, and it sealed deal a lot of damage. Okay, thanks, and for the head. Continue. That's the running. It's got to death just for fun. It is what it is. Don't hate the pest threat, save the game. There we go. And dead. Uh, okay. So then, yeah, the only thing left to do would be to go to Adderall Phantom Tree. Oh, but that that's right. I bit more was a bit more that I didn't see and that's this part over here which it's kind of hard to access actually the only way is really up this way right I do have a little bit more over here first talk to that finger reader and see what she has to say <sighs> and Bach is still here okay I put this back on also make it daytime Thank you. So morning. Morning. Good meowing. Hmm. I I think I'll keep on scouring black flame out of the principle of a thing, but Cause it would be really good against Urtree Avatars probably if all hits could connect. Maybe. It's an idea. Put on Starlight again, and we should have something in our kit for every situation more or less. One thing is that, actually, I think it would be better to put the flask on here. Yeah, I saw someone do that. It was definitely an interesting idea. It's how that was always available, and this was for... Oh, there were items that require a bit more thought. Alright, your true great earth tree itself and whoever such the sky god swore Elden Horde put this weird the rides and we saw some of that already. Saw that guy already. 
That's where the map is, so over where Corrin was before. Alright, roll and okay, keep on doing our charging stabs on the back of our horse. There's a gargoyle right by that phantom tree a little bit north on that path, which should not be a meaningful issue with all the buffs we can put on and our prelate prejure, but even still. Okay, come on. Stab. Thank you. Stab again. And was there another wolf? Not one I see at the moment. Keep on moving. Now this seems relatively innocuous, though. There, though. Drop down into the octopus area, I think. We got a little bit around here, a couple more. Wandering nobles, we can just kill for fun. Oh, and I did not intend to get a back stab on you. Okay. Free roll for it. So then, we got a bit more over here. We got another soldier and then a finger reader to talk to. Give us some information and, oh my, okay, all right. Interesting, will this aim a bit better? Can I, weird, annoying, and can I stab it? What, what, huh? Weird, okay. That is dagger and a leather draped tabard. That, all I can say is fine, I guess. Okay. And yeah, just put that down to use that quickly. How convenient. I like that. Oh, and oh, there's another merchant over here. Okay. A set of grace, too. And read them fingers. Please your fingers. And two ends. East ruins of gold. West the serpent sacrilege. Lead so shall you fall. Oh, leads only more sorrow. Curse of Queen Merica. Right, right. Because it's Rykar. The serpent sacrilege ruins of gold in Wayne Although it's... Not really all that much in ruins, I would say. But I... I could hear the music, so... Oh, the merchant is probably on the bridge, if anywhere. Alright. So... If you're right over here... Hello? Oh, no. Sending gate to where? Terribly sorry, he was a customer. Nomadic merchant and... Gravel stones, red crest heater, we can buy... Those, I suppose. Dragon Apostles Cookbook, Lightning and Rope Lightning Bots. Arrow, Bolt, Lightning Bolt, Red Crest Heater, easier to handle, symbolizes Red Wings. Green Kite, Surprise Attacks, and Sudden Strikes. Cross Tree, Interweaving Tree, High Damage Negation, Guard Capacity, Easy to Repel, okay. Tree Surcoat, Over Chain Mail, Rude Tree, Love It Throughout. Let's see, Assassins and Ink Shades. Oh, for the Heroes Grave in this Sage's Cave. Just apologize. Anything wrong? Let's sit your face. Well, we actually bought something from him already. I wouldn't be talking if I was him. Check those notes. Imp shades. Nothing can touch the shades. With imps in the hero's graveyard, only roses like me in the form because right roses the statue. Cannot be seen with a naked eye. Or three sentries carry torches that could cast light on these prowlers. Right, and that would be that sentry's torch. Got from that other merchant. This is for spending Grey Bridge. Didn't know there was going to be a Gracer. Let's put away those shields. Just got them for a completion shake. Completion shake, not completion shake. Okay. Not talking. Now you. Thanks. Die and die again. I wonder where that and sending it will take me though. Maybe to maybe to gold mass. That would make some sense. And. What of this over here? This is... This just takes you down to Woodfolk Ruins, then. Presumably. Alright. So, let's see where the Senegate takes us. Yeah, presumably over to the other side with Gold Mask. Maybe it just plops you right down to the capital. That'd be funny. And it's... Yeah, it just sends you right on... The other side over by Gold Mask. 
Oh, that's actually really funny, because Corrin's right over there, so if you go up, you can get there pretty conveniently and just tell him, oh yeah, he's on the other side, so... Presumably, the implication might be that he actually uses the sending gate. Maybe. Completion shake? What do I even say about milkshakes? I don't even know. Gotten forgetful in my young age. Let's put away that hatchet. Hatchet and the family heads. Oh, but also talons. Right. Okay. Cool. So the gargoyle should be around this way. Let's take it down. Physic flask. Oh, but that was holy shrouding. Well, let's go back and change that. And oh, okay, and then that gargoyle swoops over there. Yeah, because holy shrouding is not anything that really benefits me right now. That I'm not fighting a death root anymore. That out to stone bar. Okay, cool. As we see it, we can just buff up pretty freely. Alright. Take that. Use some of these. Blessings Boon. Golden Bow. Flame Grant Me. Then Grail's Roar. Oh, then. You're right over there and we can just use this. Cool. Fun. And we got that done, so let's use our blue flask. Taking a bit to get used to that. Okay. Hmm. Dodge and can I slam and oh well I'm using it in the wrong hands. Number of hands. Okay, can I can I slam it? Okay, good damage. Real good damage. Can I try that again? It okay, interesting. Another one will kill. And there we go. It did not do much. Four goals, great axe. And that. Valent gargoyles, like the wielder, missing parts, met with corpse wax, a patchwork of, work of champions. Alright. Cool. Mm -mm. So we can work our way down around the east side of this path, I suppose. The south and the east of this path. There's also Minor Ur Tree Church, which I think has a side of grace that I can talk to Melina at. Maybe. But there's also a sealed tunnel down there, which I would also like to actually get through. Lead to a divine tower that I don't believe I can open up yet. I think that would be Rykard's, and well, I haven't killed Rykard. But. Hmm. Keep on moving. What's around here? Oh, we got more of those guys. Okay. Hmm. Put on. For Dauntwitz and the Bulgo Greens. Okay. Try this out and. Yep, we got a number of dudes. And what was that? Golden. Oh, okay. Random tree spirit. Interesting. I. Alright. As one does. Not expect to see you here. And. Golden Vow. Flame Grammy Strength, and then we have Grails. Okay. Grails Roar, and now we have Scouring Black Flame. Cool. Thank you. And can I. Oh, alright. Not expect the Holy Explosion. And Burn. And. Okay, alright. Hmm. Can I. Just like that. I. I. Okay, cool. And. Toss. Continue. Burning. Just continue channeling the. Flame and can I try that again and duh oh alright up duh okay thank you I can't believe I dodged that nice uh, okay mm -hmm. range is a little painful up yeah I okay maybe this isn't so good and really that didn't kill well now you're dead now you're dead okay mm -hmm. golden seed Alright, and that should be enough for 
maximum class uses, because it's actually 14, if I recall correctly. This is... Oh, the, right, that's the giant crusher. Yeah, I can't use that yet, though. <laughs> Hammer from a boulder. Using the warning to the giants, have these weapons, and the entire lands between. After the giants were quelled, man turned against a man of violence. Weapon was all but forgotten. Man has grown feeble in comparison to his four bears. I don't even have one bear. Okay. So that... Actually, hold on to that for now. But... Hmm... I think. Take that and add a charge and add a charge of the flask and it's already a maximum. Alright. So this is what we got. We got 11 and 3 and that is pretty decent but it's just... As much as it sucks to say, it's not as good as normal Black Flame. Maybe eventually when I get other fire spells because flame fall upon that might be a better option we'll see especially since apparently the dlc decreases the effectiveness of black flames hp hp shred buff well, hp shred debuff either way i've got maximum flask now so got that and now, since the tree spirit is not coming back, we can... Suppose we can take down this camp normally, now that it really makes much of a difference. So... Just for the sake of thoroughness. Didn't want those guys to think I was taking the easy way out of letting the tree spirit kill them for me. But it is interesting how those guys are just... That one didn't even have a boss bar, it was just... It was also probably a bit weaker than normal too, but... Just showed up! And he had to fight it. Kinda funny. Kinda like how we have all those... Regular enemy Taurus and Capra demons in the Demon Ruins in Dark Souls 1 after... They end up being the first and third bosses of the game. Usually. At least. Mm hmm Tree Church. Hello, then. So what's over there? I, oh, come on. Come on. Oh, please. Okay. Come on. Take you out and pillage the corpse. Then beast bones and... Please, please. Gotta be kidding me. Can't quite poke like that. You yeah, know, the reach of... Bloodhound Spank is much, much better for situations like these. And Oh, come on. And can I... Really, really, really... Okay. Fun. And not that one, not that one. I... Maybe I should put Crimson on right and... B Cerulean on left. I don't know, what's a bit more natural, quote-unquote? Maybe. Somebody... Somebody or something see me? There are another... Okay, there were two more wolves down there. Alright. Come on, come on. And slash, well, actually, no. Come on. How did that miss? You've got to be kidding. Okay, one more, one more wolf. One more wolf. Thank you. Okay. Then beast bones. And, hmm. Go way up and around here. Been in sealed tunnel. So we can just use the grace to teleport there. But more things over here I'd like to check out first. Hmm. Let me just think. Let me think. Come on, come on. You have... Are these... Yep, we got more wolves. It's always more wolves. Alright. I... They just come back anyway. This is silly. But it... Anything, anything aggressive, everything aggressive needs to die. Cannot afford to let anything, anything against me move. Okay. Slash, slash, smoldering butterfly. Then, but the smoldering butterflies are supposed to be melanas. The nascent butterflies are Mikolas, and the Aeonian butterflies are Melanias, but the, oh, we can use this too. 
drop down, but not from there. So how do I... That is rather strange. So how am I going to get down there? I... Is that a livable fall or not? I can't tell. Oh, we have another... Ash of War Scarab, presumably, down there. It might actually be a... Smithing Stone Scarab? I'm not quite sure. Oh, but that actually... Winks through. You can get through there pretty easily. Okay. Well, let's use our... Starlight. Okay, we got... A bunch of land squirts, but... The best way to take the Scarab down would probably actually be... Using... Alabaster Lord Sword. Once it's around here, we can do a really nice big AoE. Just gotta time it right. When is it coming back? Hi. Come on. And going over here, so I. And boom. There we are. Prayerful Strike. Raise armament aloft in prayer, slam into the ground, and spark it below, restores HP to the self and nearby allies if it successfully hits. That is nothing special. Okay. Oh, well, okay. So I suppose we can see what's on the other side and take out remaining squirts. I think there might be another. Oh, well. Even the fully charmed does not actually kill. Well, alright. <laughs> kind of sad. Raptor's Black Feathers is interesting because it increases jump attack damage, but it's very, very light to the point that I actually... I like wearing heavy armor. I can afford to wear heavy armor, so there's really no reason not to. Unless a damage boost given by some armor is really, really good, which... It's not as if I use jump attacks a lot outside of Bloodhound's Fang, and it... Even then, not all that excessively, because of the skill. Skill is generally a bit better. I wonder what will happen if we take these guys down. Probably nothing. Almost certainly nothing. Thank you. Another hit, and it is interesting that there are blood roses around here for some reason. It there isn't really an immediate explanation. Other than, I suppose, just wanting to make them available somewhere, but in terms of lore, it's not as if they have much of a connection to this area is much of a connection to Moog. Actually, I don't know, it's relatively below the capital, so maybe the sewers would be kind of around this way. That is where Moog came from, the sewers, where all omen were sent. Oh, and we got slugs! Okay, cool. Can I... Mm. Okay. Luckily, we didn't get hit by the debuff, so I'm... Oh, come on. Thank you. Oh, well, there is one more. All right. Hmm. Oh, uh, then... I get the feeling that there might be another dungeon in this area, but I can't quite tell. Come on, come on, come on. I do get the impression that this should probably be on right. This one on left. Yeah, that, it just makes sense intuitively. At least to me. So anything else over this way, or? It's kind of interesting there are no giant land squirts over here, but it's here in the moat. Jump back on top, get to the church, go back into seal tunnel. See what there might be to find. Mm -hmm. Try this out and mm -hmm. yeah, because we got a spirit spring. But I suppose that the only reason it exists is to exit the moat quickly up top. Fair. Let's use this, escape this place, and yep, it sends you up really, really high. Okay. So then, yeah, we got a little more around this side of the road to see what's there. 
have one church where I actually got the Golden Order seal that I've been using for most of this playthrough early a while ago. Or at least earlier than I actually went to Altus proper. Sealed Tunnel will give me... There's an Onyx Lord at the end, which is sort of the big brother of the Alabaster Lords I've been fighting before. All around. Well, there was one Onyx Lord who dropped Meteorite in. The Royal Grave Everjail back in Lyrnia, but that's different. I... Who is... Oh, we got... The Urchery guys. Oh, he jumping attacks on a horse? Not like the TV show. Don't get it twisted. Hmm. Anything else over here, or... I thought you were making a different joke, but instead you made a worse one. I should really lower my expectations with you. Oh, Onion. Okay, well... They don't have Onions, though. They're not onion related in the slightest. Well. Alright, and I think. Should be able to. Some spoken echoes of Queen Merica lingering here as well. Maybe. Let's see what's here before we go into Sealed Tunnel. Of course, it's this part and. Margit around somewhere here. This gate does not actually open. There's nothing meaningful there. Golden centipedes, I think, so let's rest at the side of grace and... Yep! Yeah, go ahead. Cry. Good. Share them with you? Sure. Adapts. I suppose that's why the Golden Order seal was here. Well, they're not here right now. If they were, I might. Oh, but those... Those Golden Centipedes not respawning? Well, we got another Guardian to take down. Keep on going. Some of this. Let's see what else is over here. All right. Oh, and okay, you're crawling out of the earth. But there isn't a minor earth tree around here, so. Wonder why this is minor earth tree church. Well, there is that one little earth tree in there, but it's not marked on the map as a minor earth tree, is the thing. Well, whatever. Let's see if there's anything down here. I see a scarab. Probably an incantation or something? Maybe. Let's see what this is. Oh, not an incantation, just a guardian. It wasn't even a scarab. I may be stupid. This is just a smoldering butterfly. Okay. Hmm. So then. Interesting to liar ahead. I don't even think I could land on that either way. There wouldn't be anything. It would probably just kill me. Alright, let's go inside the sealed tunnel. Put the hammer on. Should be a good option. Okay. Cool. Quality Inferno Crozier. Take that off. Put on the Dawn Gauntlets again. And this should be good. Mm -mm. I actually... I'm going crazy here. Oh, that just switched it. That's nice. Well, okay, let's crush this guy. Put on the light. I'm moving. This is where I got that bell bearing. Give me. Oh, well, we got vulgar militia guys over here, too. Okay. Got that bell bearing. That let me just buy. Spinning stone three and four. All right. Hmm. Nothing else. It's easy to take these guys down. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's an abductor virgin in here that you can use to get some stuff started. 
to break open a statue and get some more smithing stones. Pretty sure. How do I... Crush! Smithing stone five, so we gotta go back up around through here to get top of the area. Might be another Wall Street wall somewhere. Maybe. This is... Just something here and just a golden rune. I need to use... I've got a lot. I could probably get a couple levels out of the many, many runes I've stored up, but... but... Wait. No, I'm just going... Back out. Wait, so... What way? There's gotta be an oyster ball somewhere then, right? I... I'm getting turned around. Getting all kinds of turned around. So where is the oyster wall that goes deeper through here? That's not it. Probably from this tunnel behind the chest. Yeah, okay. Cool. Alright. Keep on moving and... Oh, interesting. That's very interesting. Drop down from here, but... To get onto that tree branch, though, is... That's a scary prospect. We drop around... Oh, but there was actually... Something there. Mm -mm. It's down there, too, but... Funky. Funky. Smithing stone, and... How then do I... Hmm. Another tree branch, but that does not seem to lead to anything distinct. How then do I make this work? Let's jump down here. All these roots. Oh, right, because it's under the minor Erd tree church. So these are the roots of that little Erd tree. It's actually really, really cool. What we got was a measly little smithing stone. Hidden path ahead. Yeah. Through those tree roots reminds me of the end of Demon Souls. Oh, just falling actually opened that golden rune. Hi, Kozu. How are you doing? Having a having a good day. Oh. Well, are you having a good day even if you're tired? Can't decide which. What if it where? This is tough. It's aggravating. Oh well. Did you wake up on the right side of the bed? Could you tell? I hear vulgar militiamen. I don't like that. Mm hmm. So are they gonna jump up or? Where? Okay, you're over there. And how many? Right, we need to carry this in the right number of hands. Okay, die, die, and you're over there. Oh, okay, fair. I can sympathize. So, gold pickled foul foot, and oh, that was nice to get. Especially since we use those so much. How did neither of those hit? You're kidding. Come on, come on. I another slam and just knock you off the edge. How? What do you mean does not help? Okay, well. What? What do you? What do you want me to do about it? What kind of response are you aiming to get from that? Oh goodness. So that does not. Can't get through here. Oh, you can drop down. I, you can drop down, but... Oh, okay, well, let's stay out of the way of the explosions. Come on. And do... That one just didn't explode? Well, you know... If that's how it works, if that's how it works... Oh, right, right over there. Okay. Race Mimic, and... it's another Ruin Fragment. There are other... Oh, my goodness. Oh, please. Oh, that, that was the first time I've ever gotten hit by one of those. That was a lot less damaging than I expected it to be. So now we roll off. So we have all that shrapnel. Guess we can pick up the ruined fragments. Still nothing from them, but... Yeah, what could I even craft even if I really tried? Large glintstone scrap. Gotta turn back around to get more things in the dungeon. I think this might be the way to the boss. Possibly. I oh, well, alright. Fun. Is this... That does not seem to be anything of serious note. 
So wait, then, how would I actually get back, back through then? If we're stuck here. That is interesting. This or this is an illusory wall. This is not an illusory wall. I can't imagine I'm stuck, especially since I did this dungeon before about a year ago. Fine by me. Makes my job easier. So, but I can't get back through there. Maybe, maybe it's Divine Vengeance. Oh wait, okay, so there's probably an Oyster Ball that I opened up somehow. But, okay, so this is, once you go through here, it seems like it's a one-way path. Hmm. I, with friends like these, or with followers like these, I swear. And, Lightning Grace, it's, I feel like, oh my goodness. Well, well, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how they feel about me though. I guess constant obstacle, object of ridicule and hatred. I feel like you're using that, using that as a weapon against me. You're weaponizing my emotions. I can't endorse that. I, only in retaliation, only in retaliation, I have my, thank you, I have my, I have standards. I have standards for myself. This thing's boon, golden vow. Flame grant me. And then we got grails on here, so we can use that on Onyx Lord when it shows up, and you're over here, so let's use that, and cool, knock you back, and now we need to use a... Can we use that? Thank you. Okay, okay, interesting. I, right, I gotta use this, so... Slam, and... Another, and stance break, and the critical will kill. Thank you! That you don't want. Onyx Sword's Great Sword. Well, what it implies is that you watch me to have someone to target and bully and act shamelessly cruel to. Golden, golden Hued Meteoric Ore. Consoles gravity manipulating magic. Unique to Onyx Swords. Race of Ancients with skin of stone. Set of risen life when a meteor struck long ago. Oh, who? Cool. Repulsion. Gravity well dealing damage since enemies flying away. Okay, but this is another divine tower then oh and i can't use the horse here okay standards for what i'm i'm proud of you for not drinking monster energy i'm proud of you for making good decisions for once for once well it wasn't notification sounds it was that every single time you sent a message in chat it had a highlight that said mod message, and I couldn't figure out how to turn it off. I mean, frankly, if I need stuff done, I'll just do it myself, so. It's not, it's really not the same thing, though. Okay. Work our way around. The question is, what weapon I use against the Draconic Tree Sentinel? Well, probably just this hammer. And we're all very proud of you for... Not trying to not actively die. It. Tyranny of ex low expectations. Well, you could. You could always eat her. It's okay. It's my job to remember things. I said eat. Okay. Starlight? What? That is not why I made that comment and you know it. Y you know who else is Asian? You know who else is Asian? Okay. Let's keep on going. 
It would only be racist if you were Chinese or Korean. There's no stereotype about Japanese people eating cats. Okay. And I... Oh! Well, at least I didn't die there. Let's use that. And... Oh, a rune arc. Oh, okay. Let's let this guy take the... Oh, please. I... Oh, and it... Did that break it? Did not actually break it. Vulgar Moshe Hamel. Okay, well, alright. I have to break and... Will that... Oh, please. Well, that broke it. That's good. I... How do I escape? I can't escape here. Oh, come on, you... What? Huh? Huh? Oh, you're kidding. Okay, did that stay broken? So I got another rune arc. Yeah, it... I did not expect to be permanently held against the wall like that. All right. All right. Moshe Helm, appearance larger size, however slightly. Oh, it... You can clip them if you'd like. I'm not going to be the one to stop you. So... I... I figured one of you would say that. I... I thought that, you know, maybe there was a chance that if I didn't acknowledge it, nothing would happen. I, I should have lowered my expectations. I am not marrying that giant Iron Maiden thing. You literally just told me to have standards. Okay. But... And there is a... There is literally nothing you could ever do that you would ever admit to being your fault. No matter what it was, you would always find a way to blame me. And you... Okay, okay. So I couldn't respond. What, what was your... What was... Just, just, just describe it. Describe it to me. And it... Did that thing get repaired, or... Do I have to break it open again? What, what, well, in that case, what I would say is... Be smart about your decision. Just... All, all I can say is... Keep, keep it within your own tolerances. You know, be be aware of the situation and how people react. Make make your own decision based on what you're willing to put up with. And golden rune and yep, it's oh, we can pick that up. Smithing stone six. I mean, you could send it. You could send it to stress. And how do I? Mm. Come on, come on. Surprisingly powerful. And I... Oh, well, we actually matched it. So I could have gone for a... Critical, but whatever. We'll be okay. Nice thing is... Teleporting out. Like I said, if you called it spicy, I think the most important thing would just be... The kind of reactions you want to get, and the kind of reactions you would be willing to tolerate. Because other than that, it really is just how much you personally like it. It's on there. Mm. Let's climb up. Sort of a lenticular effect, maybe? Okay. Well. Well. I I'm not exactly a fashion expert. You, you are the one who people should be consulting here, most likely. So... If you look like a Pokemon trainer, I think that does qualify you. Well, it depends on what trainer class. It depends on the trainer class. That's what I would say. Also, the... Eventually, Dung Eater shouldn't invade around here, I think. So I'll need to get some of that done, too. Have them available. Oh, is in the... The preschooler ones? You know... Maybe have a point, then. Maybe. I, I have said this before, but usually I wear... K 
khaki shorts or pants with a button-down shirt. It keeps things easy and predictable. It, I don't wear anything worse, but I don't really wear anything nicer either. Like I said, I'm basically a JoJo character. I suppose. It's one way to describe it, but... This one does not have... No, it does have a seat. It's just three. Star chains. Ankle. Poison stone clump. Long forgotten how to craft them. But where would... Margaret B. Let's check it. A finger reader crone over there. Are they cookie monster pajama pants? Once prophesied, one day become Ellen Ward, restore the golden order. See you too. Which well, rods the heavens, great tree which begets the pillars of light. Hasten to the foot of the tree, whatever you might face. Jason, guide you. Oh right, you did mention that before, and all I could, and all I could say was good for you. So how am I going to get up there? Up to the top of, go on this, but what is the? It's just finds. Oh well, you disappeared. So how am I going to hit that thing? Approved by who? By you? Well, that's good. Part of being a good boss is about delegation. You have to know who's qualified and get them to do the work for you. Check this out. Gwintstone staff. Oh, a Gwintstone staff, but... Where did that scarab go? You are. Since I couldn't really make you a mod, your job is to provide opinions when... Trusted opinions when people ask for fit checks. Okay, but I guess that one completely disappeared. So if I want to take it out, I need to switch to something else I can toss. Like a lightning spear. Let's try this out. Hmm. But either way, either way... I did actually receive the final deliverable for the model upgrade. So I gotta figure out... You know, just ways to... It's in like a background, a better overlay, maybe some buttons, something like that. I go can't get yourself a tissue. Get yourself a tissue, please. Do not do not make yourself suffer. I beg of you. And just go for this. And hit you on the nose. I. Are, are, is everything in your house trying to kill you? Is everything in your house trying, trying to kill you? It kind of seems that way. Hmm. So what would be... Actually, mm, pest threats would probably not work, but... Lightning Spear is the devoted ranged option. Let's see. Let's do the trick, and there we go. Ah, Golden Parry, and this thing actually kind of sucks. Trading Contagion, Swing Shield, Deflect Enemy Attacks for Extents, Effective even at a slight distance. I would presume so. Feces do tend to be toxic. I don't know why I'd be in a glow stick, though. In all seriousness, I'm pretty sure that it's not good to eat. Do, do not eat things that aren't food. I would generally say. And, well, do more damage if I use... Uh, now that sounds like a suspiciously specific denial. Quite frankly, it would be easier to count the things that don't offend you. Okay. Anything else over here, or... More Lost Ashes of War, but I haven't had anything I really need to duplicate. See? See? Look at, look at what I just said. Illustrative example. Yeah. And you saying that does not offend me. Because it's true. But it's in my past. I can only change the future. Keep on moving. Hmm. What do you mean, boring? 
Do you want me to constantly wallow in guilt over eating paper? Eating paper? Change what you can eat. Well, if, if you don't want to eat paper, if you don't want to eat paper, come on. I... What I would say is, don't idolize me. That, in the end, focus on what makes you happy. Paper, crayons, Play-Doh, cupcake wrappers. Oh, where do... More stuff over here. Well, um, it's... It's normal for kids to eat Play-Doh. It's very, very salty for one, but... Good. I... I just, I don't, I don't want people to just, I don't know, rob a bank for me. That would be scary. Did it taste good? Well, if you're, are you talking about the time you ate mercury in a thermometer? But, well, either way, if you enjoy chatting with me, I'm glad and I enjoy chatting with you. It's always nice to have people to talk to. Did anyone ever call you the human trash can or something? Did you call yourself the human trash can? Ouch. Just reminds me of how at the end of... Near the end of Jojo Part 5 when... Giorno kills Chocolata and literally throws his corpse in the trash. I... Y you do know that if you eat hair, it will not get digested, ball up in your stomach, and possibly kill you, right? One time back in middle school, someone dared me to consume just straight up a little tube of mayonnaise. And I did it because mayonnaise tastes good. And they were freaked out and I was just, I would eat a jar of mayonnaise if you wanted me to for money. Mayo is oil and eggs. It's brain food. I don't have a lot of chances to eat mayonnaise with things anyway. Well, that's you. That's your preference and I have mine. But it... My mother got her gallbladder out recently. And, well, first what I should do is put Margaret's shackle on. And so she literally cannot digest fat in any meaningful sense anymore. And as a result... We don't eat a lot of fatty foods anymore. A mayo cult? What do you mean by a mayo cult? But I think Margit should show up around this way. Yeah, well, it was necessary. Oh, I think that... that yep, that's Margit. I would just strafe, that's fun. Flame grant me, and... Let's actually use this for a free hit. There we are, cool. Didn't use that before, let's use it now. And we got that done, so... Let's throw our weapon, and... Mm, let's... Oh, alright. What, what do you mean by waffles? Just... Refuses to... Say something without qualification. Oh, wait. Okay, alright. And hello, Margaret. Well, when I've heard people use the term waffle, they use it to mean. And. Oh, alright. And. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. And. Can we, there we go. We got a stance break, and now we can take you down with a critical. Easy enough. Thank you, Margaret. Cool. Thank you. Viridian Amber Medallion. Okay. That greatly raises maximum stamina, but do I even have the smaller version of that? I do, okay. Got the plus one, and actually I don't have the plus one certainly, Amber, I have plus two, because I got this from Moonlight Ultra early. Well, I, when I've heard people use the term waffle, 
to mean things in English. Typically, I've heard them use it to mean people who are wishy-washy, who go back, back and forth on matters of opinion or statements of ideology or faith, which I generally try to be constant when I make a strong pronouncement, but... Well, it... And this is something I think about a lot. I have to provide value added if you catch my drift. It's sort of... There has to be a reason for people to want to watch me instead of playing a game themselves or watching someone else play a game or watching a silent playthrough of a game. If I don't have that, I... You know, I need to, ju I need to justify what I provide. And, okay, can I... You have surprisingly high stance resistance. Alright, take this troll down. Got a sword out. Okay, cool. Thank you. Take that up. And... Hmm. Looks like this boon is down. Marga was actually a bit harder to fight than I would have expected. And what is... Okay, it's just bats. It's the bat. I... Hmm. Anything over here? But... I am very excited for the Sonic Generations remake and the new- oh right, Channing Wing of Doom, so let's take you down before you do much. No poison, no poison. Thank you, and mmm. Now you'll stay still because the projectile hit. And of course the new Zelda game too. I do honestly think it was a little wishy-washy when they announced through a rating that Link would also be playable. Because it's not that I'm opposed to it in principle, but it it shows a lack of confidence, in my opinion, in the ability of Zelda to carry a game all, on their end. A lack of confidence in the ability for Zelda to carry a game herself. Well, it would mostly be rocks. I don't think you can pick up and throw tables. From what I saw, you can just use them as platforms. But, let's keep on looking. I'm sure it'll still be fun, and they'll... I'm sure there'll be a way for it to make sense, but it... It does seem... It seems like they waffled. It seems wishy-washy. Not like the Pokemon. Come on. Well, you might be able to. I just don't know yet. Come on, you. Take you out, and... Row of fruit. Arterial... Through arterial leaves, I... Okay, sure. I guess I'll take that. Main thing is... There's an enemy underground with a special gimmick of being able to break environmental objects to sometimes reveal treasure, the nomads. Not sure I'll be able to find many around here. Also, this is another hero's grave, and I think that one is going to be the one with the Crucible Knight boss. Which means maybe I might end up using... Scouring black flame there because I'll be able to parry. It's an idea. They're weak to fire, and I'd be able to parry to get them to open them up for the attack. But it's a thought. Scouring black flame does just take a really long time to cast anyway, so I'm not sure about that. If you're tired, feel free to sleep. I, you don't need to feel obligated. Well. Me too, but you need to- you gotta cool down every now and then. If you just kept going forever, you would run out of energy and kill over and die. So in that case, I... Hmm. Mushroom and... Oh, come on. Blue flasks. Hound you. Hmm. Got other guys over this way. Just lots of... Lots of commoners, well. Stoner horse and deal death. Thing over, or just. Did that golden rune drop from something, or. Can't even tell. Yeah, it's. Do not feel obligated to watch. Please do not feel obligated to watch. If worse comes to worse, you can just watch the VOD. Prioritize your health, and do not destroy yourself on my account. I would not like that by any means, in any sense. That has nothing in it. That mode is purely 
decorative. There's no way to get down there, it seems. So, it's like that. We two hands use the. But it does not seem like you've got good way to. Oh well, now we can get the critical off. And one, two. Yeah, exactly. It, you have to take care of yourself first. Even if, even the, if this is what you prioritize, to prioritize this, you need to prioritize yourself. Good take. And right, we should get a rune drop from there. Golden rune 12. It is funny how they have treasure carrier commoners. This is where Margaret was, so we can work our way back around. This is there. We got that grace over that way, but since we've got Whitney a proper death, I can use that on some of the skeletons who pop up and around. Black belt and handling kids. Well, to be fair, are there non-mean kids? Okay, Rilla. And Rilla Fruit. How then do I? Hmm. Try this out. And... Just most of them. Maybe, maybe I'm projecting as a former mean kid. It's probably part of it. And... Former mean kid, now mean adult. Okay. And go for the other bat. It's, it's that saying. Thieves assume that everyone steals. Yeah? What is it? Okay. So we go up those stairs. That should lead us up to the next level. Did go there before. Okay. Give, give me the knife. Give me the knife. Give me, give me the bone saw. Are these giant arrows or maybe incense sticks? Kid and a puppy. Well, Snoopy. Happiness is a warm puppy, right? How do I? So that would lead to the hero's grave, probably going down the slope. Might be able to reach it from the moat, too. There's a path that leads over here. I think that might be catacombs in a sense. I'm not sure. Either way, that is very obvious. Heroes great. We can see the little statue on top too. Try some of this. And hmm. Oh then okay, we got another sword grave over there. Well, Oh, that's cute. Phil Omen stacks high the corpses of heroes that the Erd Tree remains unshaken. So that would be Margaret, who we saw before. Baby fever. Is it contagious? Does it kill you? I didn't even know babies had a special disease. Frank, well, I should have known. Okay. Whitney, a proper death will do this, so we... Oh, my goodness. And please, just... We kill... Considered contagious. Okay. Understandable. So you were saying that you had plans to steal certain babies? To raise them, presumably? Presumably to raise them? I mean, wh what would you do? I don't know. Eat them? Oh, oh. Well, yoink! To yeet is to throw. To yoink something is to steal something. It... So, is this is this a conversation about the idea of ugly babies? It's always a dangerous conversation to have. Luckily, we can... It doesn't cost that much. It's got a good AoE, so... Do that from range. It... It's decent, but... In the end, the best thing to do would be to put... Sacred Blade on a big hammer. Sure, but... It's not like it's the baby's fault. No no baby asks to be born ugly. Or, I mean, what do you think they do? Or, you have some sort of weird form of Buddhism where you always end up human, but if you act badly and you're 
prior life, you get reborn as an ugly baby. Not even necessarily an ugly person, but an ugly baby. I think you're getting bonked. I think the bonking stick is getting taken out by at least one of us. Wait, I see a... Where's that skeleton then? Maybe up on the ridge? I... Something clearly sees me. Even if I don't see it. Well, okay. Oh, there you are. There you are. Okay. What do you mean fair to look ugly when you're built? That's worrisome. Cute baby cousin. That's good. Oh, and I... Who is... Okay, you're shooting at me. Come on, strength. And... The fact that it takes long is unpleasant. Let's position myself in a way where I can hopefully hit both. You don't see me yet. Do that, and there we go. So it's... The only thing Holy Damage is really great for is just... Taking the skeletons down, but... That's all we really use it for anyway, so... Alright. Go back to Litany. Make that done, and of course, since we've got the... Golden Order Seal, it also does extra damage. So what changed? Wait, are you a- are you a Bakugo fan? I, I know you established that you had a picture of Bakugo on your wall. But that's not enough to say that you're a fan. Okay. It's just... It reminds me of how one of my friends... Would write... Omegaverse Baku Deku. For money. For money, actually. And let's keep on going. Yeah, not just not just Baku Daku, Omega Ver Omega Verse Baku Daku. That, that's when you know. That's when you know. And quite frankly, the only place for Omega Verse is in weird, precocious Gosha Life story videos. And then what happened? What changed things? You developed a sense of dignity. Oh, we got... Oh, the undead spirit caller snail. That was summoned... And it was... Gara summoned one of those two. Hmm. These undead snails are funny, especially since... They're probably not even actual snails, because it's not as if snails have bones. Yeah, it... As in it became scary for you? Were you becoming afraid of character death? Here's something I... Okay, now I see one of you coming up. Okay, alright. It... That may be the only acceptable time. Come on, come on, you. Please. Take you down. Well, as in you were worried about... Characters you like dying, presumably. Is that what happened? I mean, that, you did say something about... That's why you like fairy tales so much, that nobody ever actually dies. Oh, interesting. Scaramouche. And... Oh my goodness, that... Mm. Thank you. Okay. Honest question... Do, what what are your opinions on Scaramona? I know that one's pretty big. And take you out. And we couldn't lock on, but it's still killed. Were the gravestones blocking lock? Maybe. What kind of tension do you mean? And, oh well, we. I thought we get a stray for that. Whatever. Thank you. And it's interesting to have this thing going. But it was definitely not a great option against the Death Bird. Because it only hits grounded enemies. Mm -hmm. Can I go over there? Mm -hmm. Get around here. Back down this way. Did I? No, I didn't go here yet. This went up over this way. I wonder if there's going to be another set of grace anywhere nearby. Got that shack, we got 
Rampart, I mean, Outer World Battleground. Outer World Battleground. Is that... Outer World Phantom Tree, Rampart Side Path, because this is. This is the Rampart. Hmm. Okay. So there's more of a chance of bad things happening. I think this is. Yeah, that's one of those snails. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Keep on going, and... Well, I could actually... I could use this from horseback. That's right. Thank you. Yeah, I may as well. And we got a couple of snails. Thank you. This is... Ah, oh, the winged crystal tier in that... Reduces equip load. Well, by effectively, which effectively increases maximum equip load. Use that to wear more armor, but. Oh, okay. Huh. Fair. And how much more? I. Oh, well, that was a really wide area if it had that, too. Uh, I can't imagine they're resurrecting. The big question is would they come back to life if I hit them with something else? What do you mean by that? Too seriously in what sense? As in shipping wars? Or... Golden Ruin and... Oh, we see. One of you. Oh. And let's use that. Hmm. And are there going to be more skeletons crawling up from here? Or... Here's somebody or something. See you over here. Oh, right. It's only ever right hand, right trigger with that, so. Let's see some of this. Mm -hmm. Here. I don't hear anything surfacing, I think. Well, I've cleared out this graveside area, I think, but. Oh, right. This would be a time to check whether. It'll revive, and... Okay, they don't revive. The only things that revive are the... Oh, you can... I didn't know that thing could fly. Oh my goodness. It's ridiculous. Hmm. Well, I... It's interesting. And... Funny miss. Here we... Just... The range on that is really, really good. Hmm. What examples would you give? I wonder if since it's night, more skeletons are coming out. It's possible. Hmm. Check some of this and starlight. Hmm. Fair. I'm going. I think it is interesting because you could argue that Kave and Farzan are a somewhat teased pairing because they there was that cafe cafe art that was done of them where they were waiters. But in the end, it they also did there was that sushi promotion with Kokomi and Goro. It, there is a bit about that seems a little fetishistic to me, but that's neither here nor there. Keep on going. Hmm. I said that it seems a little fetishistic to me. A little bit like that. That one boyfriend's webcomic, which you're probably familiar with. Mm -hmm. Keep on going over there and... It... It's received a lot of criticism I've seen for... You know, being... You know, it's not really an accurate representation of an actual gay relationship. Though, to be fair, it's not supposed to be. It's 
you know, for better or worse, it is. It's for women who like to see multiple cute boys together. And, you know, that it is what it is. And... And that is always... It's always interesting to see female Yuri fans. Because it, it is always, you know, they always end up commenting on, you know, why does this seem like it's tailored for the male gaze or something? Well, and it's because it is. The audience, the target audience is first and foremost. Horny guys who want to see multiple girls kissing with no men involved. Okay, well, there's some golems over there. We should take those out first for any of that. We got that going, and of course the giant crusher is even heavier. Okay. Keep on going. Let's take those golems out. It... To be fair, there are multiple ways. I think it's also... Unless you know what to look for... It can be hard to see unless you're actively a person who is attracted to women. And also, generally, I mean, people people exaggerate it, but women tend to be attracted to women in a different way that men are attracted to women. And it's, we don't need to get the crit, but we may as well go for it. Well, we, okay. We couldn't even go for it because it fell in a, an inconvenient way. Okay. Come on. Let's go on down. This is where that moat is. It, don't worry. You're better off for it. I assure you. You are missing nothing of value. Let's see just how much damage this critical does. If I can even hit it. There we go. So it kind of conforms to the slope a little, which is good. And that... About 14,000 damage, I think. There's one more over here with that halberd, but we're very, very close to that. Draconic Tree Sentinel, which is nice. I Oh, right, but you have a bit more. Okay. More stance. I, oh, all right. Let's go for another end. There we go. You recovered stance pretty quickly, but this should kill without much trouble. For that end, one, be seven ends. Yep, 14k damage. Yeah. I know, I know there was Twitter discourse. There was some Twitter discourse recently about people being really thirsty about this image of this one Korean athlete getting injury treatment from some other Korean athlete. And there was, there were people discoursing about that people were, you know, gushing over someone who was actively in pain and injured. I mean, in the end, it is what it is. I don't think it's all that big a deal. Okay, but where is the next... Got to find a side of grace around here. Mm hmm... Oh, okay. So it took a while for you to see. Fair enough. How then do I go over this way? Hmm. Check this out. Hmm. Got a couple of wolves. And, hmm. Try this out. Hmm. Okay. Put the starlight back on. No grace here is kind of a shame. There are big crabs over in the moat around there, but that's also where the Dung Eater invades eventually. Not now, because we haven't unshackled his corporeal flesh, but eventually we'll be able to find him there. This is just an... Okay, an actual tarnished golden sunflower. Interesting. As opposed to the normal golden sunflower, wilted and faded, retains holy essence. Yeah, yeah, that one. Interesting. 
So can I find... The main thing is that I actually would like to put Scouring Black Flame back on in advance of any fight there. Yeah. In the end, it... I find it hard to criticize. It... Keep on going. I wonder if those golems are going to come back. I hope not. Is that and Golden Roa. Back around you is a... The crab should be in here. We need two hands to use this thing, so I can't use this on horseback. What I said is that I find it a bit hard to personally criticize. There we go, we got Death Black -like Crab. And got, oh, interesting. Can we slam and one hit kill? Cool. It, I deal so much more damage than I did in Dark Souls 3. Welcome back, I'm glad to hear that you haven't died. I thought you had just gone to sleep. I didn't want to disturb you. So we got... Okay, right. Bogart is over here. Hello, Bogart. Oh, ow. You again? What are you timing? Not prawn, but crab. Even better than the prawn. Boiled crab. Great we boost. And it costs the same, too. Actually, buy the necklace here, which is funny. Truly, it's crab. Not that matters. It's all the same. Keep from over-salting crab meat. Let's buy one for fun. Yeah, please, please don't die. I should tell you. The poop eater? Oh, that's right. Cool. That would be a fun. Rank armor. But what rank does he have? Well, too late for that. Not just a petty thug. About the dung eater. Oh wow, yep. Yeah. Don't don't hurt yourself. Ease. And robs their souls. Where the body spot. It's my friend. Crap, I can trust only getting better. Alright. Let's be hungry. But the interesting thing is that the Dung Eater, presumably, what's interesting is that it might also connect to the Bell Bearings. That what he does to souls implies that what he might ha be doing is obtaining people's Shirokodama. It... I would not be mad if you watched somebody else instead of me. Y you don't need to... If something else genu genuinely interests you more... You do not have to feel bad about choosing it instead. Yeah, yeah. If you put it on YouTube or something, I'm sure that people would be happy to watch it there as well. Or at least just watch the VOD wherever it was uploaded. But as I was saying... Yeah. You don't have to worry about people interfering. But as I was saying... What kind of panels are you going to? Sounds really fun. Okay. I'm gonna try a scouring black flame on that Ur Tree avatar. Possibly more damage. It's in that over there. Okay, well, fair enough. It's just I don't want you to I don't want you to hurt anyone's potentially fragile feelings if you can help it. It would be it would be unstrategic. I... Oh, cool. Anime injury logic. That sounds interesting. What does that mean? Okay, well... It... Alright. Well... Oh, nice! Who? It's not, not everything needs to be ranked. 
Let me see. So if something over here can take that statue in half, who is it going to be? Maybe I need to get a golden to shoot it. I'm wondering. I, oh, it's the rune bearer. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You. Okay. All right. Black flame would actually be a pretty good option here. Kyoya and Oran. Oh, nice. Oh, so that actually broke it down too. It's crazy. Oh, but I can use that on horseback if I've got it two-handed. Interesting. I need to watch that. What does J. Michael Tatum do? Haikyuu. Oh my goodness. Oh my, okay. Come on. Okay. Please, please. Taking this bear out is going to be a task and a half. Oh, okay. Come on. I, uh. Black Flame would be a good option if I... But I need to get a number of buffs up first. Oh, okay. Come on. And we need more. Flame grant me. Oh, so we can take this off, presumably. So, Flame grant me, and now we use Black Flame. Come on, where's the bear? Where's the stupid bear? Stupid, stupid bear. Okay, come on. We toss and much better damage. Okay, and oh, please. Come on. I toss it. Oh, come on. You Wait, what? Oh, you're kidding. All right. Okay, and toss it. Okay. Dodge, dodge, and get Not that one. Well, actually, that was kind of okay, but I, ah, I keep using the wrong flask. I, all right. I cannot dodge it. What? Huh? Huh? I hate this. Why is the rune bear so stupid? Okay. You can revive at the stake of America at least. Please? Okay. I'm not familiar, but that sounds fun. It's not a care bear. In fact, it very specifically does not care about me. Other than its food. I... Come on. At least we have a lot of rune arcs, but even still, I just... From... From where? Blessings boon. Blessings boon. No, I did not mean to. Well, I guess we can use that. Blessings boon. Golden Vow. When Grammy... Actually, I should use this. It... Embarrassment is a state of mind. You can only be embarrassed if you let yourself be embarrassed. And you're over that way. Okay, well, alright. Fun, not really. I... Dodge, dodge. Okay, cool, cool. I, okay, interesting. And... Rails roar, and... Can I... Oh, please, you... Okay, come on. Come on, alright. We can... Slash, and... Oh, please. Maybe to you. Only to you. And, oh my goodness. And, there we go, we can finish this off with a critical, and it really should have done it with the sword all along, whatever, whatever, I'm already dead. Okay. Oh my goodness. I would not cry in front of a mirror to you. The only thing that makes me cry are especially emotional Genshin quests. I feel like I'm being teased. This is more teasing than anything else. Fine by me. What? You cry you cry for every every story quest. Oh, but right, it's actually healing up It's healing up torrent, isn't it? I think so. Okay. Just it's frightening. It's more than a little frightening. Don't don't worry about it. I'm not judging. So I think there might be catacombs over here too. Past that annoying rune bear. Question is, what's up top? Is this anything? Yep, we got catacombs over here too. All right. It. Fair. When I was at graduation, I was too tired to feel much. The Eliza. Side tomb. At funerals? The funeral cackler? Hmm, 
Is that? It's not rule, is it? Well, it's better than the R.I.P. Bozo giggle. Take out a bunch of cigarettes. And... Okay, so Ariza side to him, and this is Ariza Heroes. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Happy to happy to provide value. Let's go down here. So I think this is Ariza Heroes grave, and they're yeah, Ariza Ores. Well, maybe Oriza. Because it's next to Lane Hill, the Golden Capital. It. As long as I'm a funny clown. So the boss in here is. Rise of Hero's Grave. That would be. Hero's Grave. That would be. Crucible Knight and Crucible Knight or Dovis. I. I feel like trying out Scouring Black Flame on them, honestly. It may not be amazing, but it's cool, and I can parry these guys, so. We got a Stone Sword Key. No, actually. That is not true at all. I actually tend to find socks pretty uncomfortable. So, what is through here? Illusory Wall. Three walls, anything in Ariza. Side tomb, final room. Oyster wall on the left side. Facing that, and. No, that's side tomb, not Hero's Grave. Okay. What about normal genes? Oh, and. Oh, well, Basilisk here. Not great. Opal line, and. Hmm. It's so funny how the rune bearers are actually harder than a lot of bosses just because of how relentless they are. I don't. I don't. But it is cool how you can see they've got their little small eyes under there. The big eyes are actually curse orbs. Now that's an unpleasant idea. Oh, golden epitaph and that boost effective wrestling the rest of those who love death. Effective sacred order. God win the golden. First demigod to die. Humble prayer. Young boy. Mikla. Oh, brother. Lord, brother. Please die a true death. And I think that would be Use that to stack a good amount of anti those who have in death buffs. I suppose. So there will be some chariots over here that I'll have to break down. Oh well, hello. Hi. Oh well, guess who? Interesting. All right. Oh, what happened? What happened? Either way, good luck. I'm. That's scary. Please, please take care of yourself. Heavy load and... Oh, right, we got Whitney. We do have Whitney on right now. Let's put on the Greaves, yeah. Okay, well, even still, even still. Just stay safe. Stay safe as always. So the goal should be to go down past it. To sneak around, I presume, but I... Oh, okay. And, well, all right. Fun, I guess. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -mm. Dropping down, there is... Oh, they stop here. A hole in... A hole? That's really, really worrisome. Drop down here, you can make them collide and explode somewhere. There's a trap you can activate, but that is not going to be a way to go. It... I hope not to. But... The, the way you always, I always say to deal with stuff like this is prepare for the worst and hope for the best. That's my perspective. One, two, well it, you would think, but it depends on the person and if you have adrenaline you can oftentimes ignore a lot of the pain and things can get pretty bad without you noticing. Which is why, which is why, people have a sense of pain. Okay. There are worse things to be. So, got another Basilisk. Hello, and I thought I'd be able to anti-air that. I would like to live a long and uneventful life. One, two. If I die young... 
I'll miss so many good new games coming out. Oh, that there are worse things to be? Oh, oh, you... Mongrel. And take you down, and let's keep on going. Mm, so how are we going to link up back up top here? What is interesting is that you can actually... If you use Margaret's Shackle from the entrance, you can actually activate the trap and get them all to destroy themselves, but... Oh my goodness. It... It sucks. Ouch. Are there pillows for that? Let's crouch, and... Oh, this thing's back around here. I... You overestimate how sensitive I am. Come on. How do... Where do I want to go? We can sort of dodge these around in sequence, but... Yeah, they'll stay around that way. Where is... Well, you know, for better or worse, it seems to kind of be a constant. Hmm. Okay. Go past here, and... How do I... Hmm. This to go past me. Yeah. It... Pain is not enjoyable. It's kind of the thing about pain. And just switch the side. There were little bridges to get on, so I'm wondering how I'm going to get on top of there. Okay, cool. Just keep spinning around. Well, depends on the kind of pain, usually. And, oh, 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 okay. Take that up. And... Oh, well, oh my goodness, I may be stupid. Took longer to turn than I expected. Where's the flame pillar trap that I need to use, then? It... That, that also depends on the person, I think. And over there, and that dropped out. Wait, what? what? Huh? How did that get me? What? Weird and I... Oh, come on. What the hell? It... Was it when it was turning? It... I don't even know what just hit me. Okay. Well, I... Cannot afford to use another rune arc until I'm all the way through. Because sometimes I just... Die to some random garbage. And you get to mock me mercilessly. I suppose there are worse reasons. That thing will come up. Come on. Get past it. Oh, please, you... Come on, Whitney, a proper job. Boom. Well, it... Again, you are free to have your preferences. And... Can I... Gotta break that, and... Break another... Oh my goodness, that almost hit me. Come on, you... Wait, how did... How did that not hit? You've got to be getting... If... Like I said, please do not feel obligated to watch. If you need to sleep, you need to sleep. And that's non-negotiable. Okay. And, well, it... The Basilis are back. They're back, Silas. Wait, did they not... Okay, there they are. One, two... Fair. Well, either way, enjoy yourselves. I might take a quick break, if that happens. But, as long as people are here, I will stay here. And, okay, we did actually manage to hit... Come on, you. Come on. One. What's an Arancino again? I'm not familiar, personally. And let's check over there and hit. Two pancakes. Well, that's more than one Arancino then. Hmm. Is my. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hmm. Gotta make this work then. Thank you. I cannot afford. Oh, a rice ball. It really is a weeb country. They literally have Italian onigiri. Okay. I mean, excuse me, a jelly donut. Right. Okay. 
over here, and I'm gonna go down that way, so. Oh, hello. Thank you. How are you gonna kill me? Force me to eat too many jelly donuts? Okay, how many more chariots are in here? Okay, cool. Fair enough. I, oh my goodness, alright. This actually, it's a safe spot. It's not expecting a final one over there. How am I gonna get that all stock? Oh, cool. This is Golden Rune. Salmon, tuna, asparagus, and mushrooms. Interesting. Let's try to get down here then. Hmm. This is definitely going to be the way to the place where I can actually kill- Wait, what? Huh? Oh, come on again! Come on! It- Well, it- Onigiri is just- If you define it in a basic sense, it's a rice ball, so... I mean, other than being a fried onigiri, I guess... I mean, if... If a mochi donut can exist, I think you can describe that as fried onigiri. It... I, I personally dislike the idea of... Culture being sort of mutually incomprehensible. It... They're comparable concepts. And that's a good thing. Come on, come on. And die. Two. Interesting. Turn around, go back. Okay. Salmon. T and the fact that there's salmon and tuna in it just lends credence to it, because salmon and tuna are very classic fillings for Oni Kitty, too. Though, to be fair, that's just, I suppose, fishing-oriented cultures in general. How they like to do things. Let's keep on moving. And we got Basilisk again. And, oh, come on, you. Please. Might have gotten death blighted by... Oh, fair. That's legitimate. Health comes first. Hmm. The annoying thing is that I actually can't get... The one tap with the litany with Golden Order seal on the skeletons anymore because I don't have that rune orc up. It is what it is. Two, so, and now we have to break again. Thank you. And we have to dodge around, avoid getting killed. All right, cool. Well, oh, you're there. Oh, interesting. Do you think that might be actually Japanese influence, maybe? Now that we're trying to make them a bit more like Onigiri. Oh, well, we... All right, thanks. And can I... That almost... If that skeleton had killed me, I might have cried. Okay, come on, come on. Turn around, turn around. And over again, V. Get this. What? I'm not at heavy load. That's good. Yeah. It... There's fried ravioli that's made here sometimes. Okay, that, using the corpse as the drop-off sign was a good idea. And this over here is... Holy grease. So what then? How am I going to get over to the trap? Oh, okay, well. Fish is good. I will not... I will not countenance fish slander here. So just butter and fish. That actually sounds... I like that simplicity. That sounds good, actually. And, mm, can I kill? So shut you down. One, one, two. Oh, only one buff of death light then. Thank you. I didn't say you slandered fish, but if you did, I would send the worms at you. I would have the worms attack you in a group. They would crawl into your skin and wriggle around. And you wouldn't die from injury, but from madness. Hmm. So over here... Oh, we got another... Vulgar Militia Ashes. Oh, so when you say me, you mean they put a ragu in it? That's interesting. Vulgar Militia Spirits, long hafted serrated hatchets, 
But a weapon's particularly effective at causing blood loss to opponents, small or scorned, one of their vulgar militias means to make a living, albeit in ignominy and disgrace. What about that grace, the other grace? Okay, so this, I think there might be a skeleton up here. There should be an item of some sort, but we haven't gone far up enough to get up to the place that lets you blow them up, I think. But there's a switch I'm supposed to hit to make a flame pillar up here, I think. No, it just goes down here, all right. So there's something else then, another location. Weird. So we drop down, we find the other location, presumably, where we got an item hanging over. This is an interesting location, for sure. And then... Oh, we butter. Oh, okay. So it was an example of the unwarranted privilege that Northern Italy has over the Southern Italy in terms of cultural output. That's sad. See, exactly, you have your pride. That's good. Don't let don't let the North keep you down. They can't they can't stop their go they can't stop the goblins. I said another example of the unjust level of influence that Northern Italy has over Italian culture and people's perceptions of it, as compared to Southern Italy. Oh well. St still, though, the fact that one is more famous than the other, right? Wait, so... Huh? Listen carefully. So that blow them all up, or... Fire head sick collapse seems familiar. And they... Wait, where is... Where's the trap, then? I'm wondering. Oh, so it's something you got from Northern Italy? Northern Italy has more fame than Southern Italy, right? Right? So this is... Oh, the switch is over here, right? Well done, therefore attacking required ahead. So do we use this to rotate it? Or send it farther up? Okay, sends this farther up. Yeah. This will break them down and give us... I think some armor set. Let me see. Uh, you know, Alright, and can I... Dodge, dodge, and can I go down and avoid that? That's good, that's good. So eventually, they'll all collide with each other now. Go over and see the collision. Oh, and it broke that too. Fair. This is our starlight. Mm -hmm. Oppression of the south. And then... So we'll also link back around, but... Oh, come on. Still have to tank this, won't I? Alright, cool. Fine. Not really. Take that, and can we roll in here? Yeah, we can. Okay. Back around, we gotta see where the chariots will collide and destroy themselves. And this is... Oh, nice. Alright. Two, three, and... Alright, break. Okay, have fun. Enjoy your food. Be sure to tell me all about it. So what else is in here? The ending point... Okay. Probably this elevator. Let's keep on going. Elevator over there, and I think this leads down to a drop down. Well, it's a mad pumpkin head without a. I think this is just an omen. Oh, okay. Ouch. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Good luck with all that, then. Crucible Feather Talisman, and that. Right by an omen who also has crucible aspects. Moves dodge rolling. Increases damage taken. Feathers. Yeah. Specs of various creatures. Yeah, sound dragon. Human body one go. Effective dodge rolls. Increases damage taken at all times. Vestige of the Crucible, Primordial Life, born partially of devolution, considered a signifier of the divine ancient times, increasingly disdained as an impurity as civilization has advanced. Alright. Let's continue moving. And go up this elevator and probably see them all collide, and then it's just fighting the Crucible Knight. We have still a decent amount of flasks. It should be fine for taking down Ordovis and the other generic knight. Yeah, yeah. This will make things easier, presumably. Watch this, and hidden path ahead. That is not true. Alright. This is... Oh. Does that lead up to anything? 
does clearly. Okay. To use this then to break the chariots. Let me see. Huh. Interesting. How am I going to get through here then? I am not sure if I've been here before. I know I need to use that to break that great dragonfly head and great glove or. Okay. Now we have that go through. I wonder if that would deal more or less damage to me. Use that to go up. Because this is an elevator, I think. Attacking, therefore, time for secret. Yep. Okay. Oh, but... Strange. Huh. Now that I've hit that, will that shoot out over there? Or? Huh. I... I'm curious. I might have to choose things using the shackle. It's very possible. But, we'll figure it out. Drop down over here, I think. Should be okay. Oh, well. Oh, that just makes them collide somehow. I guess I'll take it. We're holy ground in the tree symbol home. I don't quite know what happened there. Okay. But it worked. I have to see the collision in holy ground. The tree consecrated area restores HP, but see events for self and allies inside it. Heavy cavalry tree cells who serve the herb tree and very few are permitted to wear a golden wood crest. Such size is seen on this helm. Wood crest, cape mark of the sacred tree, imposingly sturdy, not unbreakable, the grace of all the lingers. So also got to take down the sentinel around here. Hmm. Other stuff, I mean the herb tree avatar around here after. Going through this grave, because we're under the Arise of Heroes grave, and it's nice that it got rid of this, I think. Yeah, it got rid of this one, that's good. Otherwise, we'd have to use this. It also uses a shackle, but it's a sillier way. Open that up now. See how this works. Let's check out some of this. Go in and. Hello. Go down into. We got this long lead up, and it reminds me a bit of the Bloodborne Chalice dungeons, actually. Due to this sort of multi stepped, sort of big staircase with a small staircase that's got multiple layers, but also little staircases in between the layers. And in the end, I find this. Now we can use a rune arc now that we've broken everything down. We are not in active trouble anymore, so. Take the Physic Flask, we'll first roll. Physic Flask, then we can buff up. Blessing's Boon. Oh, but right, I should put on the Karian Retaliation Shield. Wait, did I put it away? I didn't, did I? Let me see. Right, any shields? I actually don't have any shields on right now. Okay. Well, in that case, I need to leave this place. That is actually rather embarrassing. And there was no way out. So I just need to run back through. Luckily, all the chariots are dead, but... Yeah, because I put my parrying shield away. I put all my shields in the... Bottomless box, when I should not have... And it left me without a way to parry the Crucible Knights who are enemies who very much need to be parried. Okay, cool. It did seem that the shining light on that imp was a big part of how it was able to activate that chariot that destroyed the other chariots. It's whatever. Now we can go through this way far e more easily. And it should just be a straight shot now. Running back through here now that... Right, because I think it activated that portal to send that one chariot through to the other side where it crashed into and destroyed all the others. Makes sense. Let's go back up over here. Kind of a shame how things went, but... If I don't have an ability to parry those Crucible Knights, I don't exactly have a good way to fight them. 
And yep, even at the grace, we can't teleport out, so we just gotta put our... It's nice you got more flasks, though. That might make a difference. Let's put the chest in. Put in... Put the Karin Retaliation shield back on, which is this one. There we go. Beast Crest Heater Shield. Place the Starlight with that, and... Not to some debat, arouse the battle, fight with passion, but do not become its prisoner. Since we'll just be using magic, we can keep that on. Put on all of the, the bull goat set for maximal defenses. Should be good. It's actually got a bit more holy, but it's not all that much, so gotta run past those guys. Golden Valve, Flame Bremmy Strength, a number of things. And first, we should put. Golden Order Seal in the right hand, so that I can keep the shield up with that involved. There's no skill, so no reason not to use Karin Retaliation at the moment. Just gonna keep on going. See how well this works. Can't go on top, on top of that archway. There isn't even a place to stand. It's a solid wall. Now we've got... Oh, no, we do have heavy load because of... Hmm... Now, even Radon's at medium low then, because I saw it was moving a bit more slowly, and I was wondering what that might be, and yes, it was. It was the issue. Oh, all right. We will buff up, even as these guys stay around behind me, so I can do this. Oh, okay, cool. Fun. I can definitely get this done. Okay, cool. And can I... All right, well... Fun! I probably just need to. Oh, you are pretty resistant to fire. Alright. Punch, punch it. Oh my, okay. Weird. Interesting. Actually, I, I could have used Litany here. That's right. Well, alright, in that case, let's actually just buff up a bit again. Do not have enough for Flame Grammy now. Sad. And we can use a Rune Arc then to get a good amount of stuff back, and there we go, cool. Should be good. Just gotta use Grail's Roar. And just like that, we... Oh, well, I guess we don't do that. Fine, not really. And we roll from behind there, and... debuff on both of you, cool. And can I... out of the way, and... Rodovis, and... can I... Spear Guy should get closer, and... okay. Mm -hmm. Can I... oh... I uh, thanks. I uh, oh, all right, fun. Not really. Mm -mm, I uh, and can I? Uh, okay, cool. Oh well. I uh, what? Interesting. Mm -mm, this is tough. I uh, go for something I can really. Thanks. I uh, thanks. I uh, what? I uh, never mind. Maybe this is actually very very agitating. Look, okay, I've got good defenses, but even still, I uh, worry about this. Okay, cool. Flame grab me and... I can't get a good opening, is the thing. I... Uh, maybe we just use this? I... Uh, yeah, I suppose. Thanks. Yeah, Scouring Black Flame is pretty okay option against these guys, so... And I, well, you'll stab me for relatively little damage, but... Okay, cool, and Grail, Grail. Cool. Alright. Hmm... Interesting. Uh, okay. Cool. Gotta run and mm, use some of these. Uh, oh, well, that still hit me. Okay. Cool. Uh, really? Alright. I uh, don't like this. I really don't. So let's put on Golden Vow again. And how many... Please, you gotta be kidding. Of course that broke down somehow. You really have to be kidding me. How did that go through? You've got to be kidding. It's just... Running away to buff up and dying is not exactly great. The nice thing is that this is at least a one-on-one -on -one right now. Okay. Let's try this and... Hmm. Come on, you. And the range is... Oh, they have a sort of insect stinger attack. That's cool. Okay. But I... The range on this is not great. I... Dodge... Okay, well... Okay, cool. Can I... Charge and- oh my- what? Huh? Really? You've got to be kidding me. Dodge and- can I- okay. Dodge and- can I- Yeah, I need to consider a different approach to this. 
Probably. I dodge and cannot. Thanks. Scouring black flame. Come on, you. I. We need to try this again. There's nothing I can do other than try again. Okay. Cool. Which means switching out to something else. Probably. Regular black flame to take down the spear one because the spear one does not have any kind of shield. I can afford to use projectiles against it. But, and the annoying part is, since there's nothing like Homeward, the only method I have of getting back to the grace is... And there is nothing like Homeward in this game. You can't teleport out mid-dungeon. have to run all the way back if you want to reset your loadout, which means that if I cared more, if I didn't care as much, I might just die deliberately so that... I'd have to use another rune arc, but it would save time. But that's what bothers me about this. But yeah, scouring black flame is just not that good. It's sad. It it's slow. And well, I, I want to try it on Ordovis. As Ordovis would be decently easy to parry. That said, he also does have that big spinning slam attack, Ordovis's vortex. So I actually get a sword here, which. What is interesting is that all the other Crucible Knights have a sword that looks... Sword Crucible Knights have a sword that looks the same. But they don't use that attack. What is interesting is that... That other Crucible Knight uses the same attack as Crucible Knight Soluria. With that Soluria's Tree Spear. But not all the other ones with a spear, presumably. Well, I think more... At least one more than just Soluria uses the special attack while using the spear. But... Presumably the reason Ordovis' is greatsword is Ordovis' is specifically is because only he can use that special skill, maybe. I... Mind is actually... That's a good option. And memorize spell and put on regular black flame and then put... Try scouring out just for the sake of it because I need to justify its existence to myself. And now we just have to run all the way back. I, honest to goodness, that fight's annoying enough. I may as well switch out in defense. I mean, the Stone Barb Cracked tier for the Fire Damage tier. So I'm not going to be doing much in the way of stance damage with these spells. They do technically deal stance damage, but emphasis on technically. Everything else is focused on HP, defense, stamina. Quip load, we have medium load, even with... Bulgo. What is interesting is that eventually my equip load will only keep increasing. The question is whether I want to try to get light load on there with Bulgo stuff or just, I don't know, put on a helmet and keep stacking heavy armor. So there are multiple ways to do things. The big thing is that now that I've got my rune arc up, Wendy of Proper Death is a one hit kill on the skeletons. The rune arc does make the difference between Wendy of Proper Death barely missing the one-shot and getting the one-shot, and considering that the entire utility of it is if you kill an undead enemy with it, it doesn't respawn like it normally would. It's very useful. It's got 82 poise, which is quite nice. Especially good for casting spells, but... So we will see what is at the end of this forsaken dungeon. Once I can actually kill Ordovis and the pseudo Soluri at the end. And, oh my goodness, okay. We'll put on... Well, first let's put this on. Blessing's Boon. Golden Vow. When grant me, they'll almost certainly have to reapply it. Grail's Roar. And there we go, we got a... Were you behind this spot? So we can hit both of you. There we go, and... Got one black flame now. Cool. And just take that. Cool. And oh, well, alright. He said damage is not much. That's always very fun. Okay. Cool. And toss over there. Keep on. Oh, well. Wall blocked that. Thanks. Toss it. Okay, well. Got hit, but we can sell it away. And, well. Hmm, dodge. Can I. Range on this is quite good, actually. I did not intend to hit there. Come on, you. 
Toss it. Mm -hmm. And another normal Crucible Knight, but then you've got that other attack, so... Can I... Well, okay. Duh. Oh, well, interesting. Can I kill? Oh, you don't have as good of a punish. Okay. Dodge and toss again. You. Thanks. I... Oh, that hit the... Oh, that's actually really... Died midair. Talk about unfortunate. Okay, put on Golden Vow again. Flame Grammy again. And, okay, well, it's just... Your damage is nothing special here. Thanks. I use this for... Flame Grant Me. Then we Grail's Roar and... Can I... Thanks. Alright, we got our shield up and now we've got Scouring Black Flame. Thank you, Odovis. And dodge it. Can I... Hmm. Get in a place where I can... Oh, well. Dodge and can we... Scouring Black Flame and... Thanks. And... Oh, oh, well. Alright. Thanks. I... Dodge and... Can I... Okay. Hmm. Heal. Did not quite hit. And... Do okay. Just... Please. And do Oh, well. Alright. Thanks. I dodge. Dodge. Oh, well. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Heal. You are... Thanks. Oh, what? Okay. Mm -hmm. Dodge. Okay. Let's go for a hit, please. Dodge. And dodge. Can I... Let's go and block flame it. Boom. Okay, well... Mm -hmm. It's an idea, but... I probably need... Oh, well, okay. Thanks. I... Alright. Annoying. Very annoying. Give me one parry. Thanks. What? What? Okay. And dodge. Do okay. Do Thank you. And black flame. And... Well, okay. That did not quite do the trick. Thanks. I... Okay. For one final. Scaring black flame on you. And two. And black flame. Cool. Nice. That was way harder than it had to be, and it turns out scouring block flame just sucks. Got the crucible accent and Rodovis is great sword. If I just used catch flame, that would have gone much faster. Gone with Greaves, gone for the first Elden Ward, as for Crucible Incantation, deserving of scorn, but we already had those, because the Gauntlets and Greaves are the same between Axe and Tree. Knight Rodovis and his men, Crucible Lice, it was Axe the Crucible, Axe Incantation, Rodovis' Mark. Despite also by his men, order of his great sword to honor his foremost, the other would be Soluria. Beauty of the ancient holy essence, red tint, nature of primordial gold, close in nature to life itself, order of his vortex, power of the crucible, spin the entire sword in midair, building momentum, or slowing the blade down onto the ground, can be charged to increase its power. Well, we... It happened. We got that done. It was harder than it had to be. And I feel like an idiot, but it got done. Let's go over to... Or is a side tomb and try that out. Or is a side tomb. Who is the boss? Boss is a Grave Warden Duelist, which means. Just Blood Flame Blade there. I mean, just Bloodhound Spang there. No real issue. Alright. In that case, we can go down, take the shield off, put on our staff and seal again this hand and then we'll use the hammer because that's mostly things that are weak to blunt this time radon and other radon okay put on our light nothing here is going to be stuff i really need to use going black flame on but what i could do actually and i think i will is put on i could put on blood flame blade I'm not going to need the lightning here, so just do that to make it even simpler. Put that on our Bloodhound's Fang. This is garbage, so no thank you. Right, and we need Starlight there. It might be good against Urtree Avatars because they're big and slow, but even then, I, I'm going out of my way to make it useful when it's just not. But I got it today, and I feel as if it needs a reason to exist. I need to find ways to use it. And lots of living jars in here. Can I... Will there be a ritual pot? I... And these ones explode, so... Oh, but you can also knock them away with a strong enough weapon and maybe use them to go bowling or something. 
but otherwise just ignore the issue with the explosion by knocking them back in a way. So what? All right. Fun. And... Oh, well, that still hit me. Okay. Thank you. I don't want to fight these guys, but if they're going to be this aggressive, I suppose I have no choice. Hmm. That... Is there a stone sword key door in here that give me some treasure or something? Well, there's this. We drop down. And I hear something. I think that might have just been something I touched. So what's in here? This is... Oh, well... Teleporter trap? Wait. Huh? Trap ahead. So this... Ah, oh, yep, it is a transporter trap. Where's this gonna send me? Another part of the oh, it's just another part of the dungeon. It's actually quite interesting. Can dodge around that. Oh, that's genuinely very cool. As I was wondering, where could it meaningfully send me at this point? Because it can't send me in mountaintops. Because there's no way to get to mountaintops before beating Morgoth. But hmm. So over here, is that going to be the lever, or... Oh, this is just where we started things. So, the transporter trap would normally send you to that other part of the dungeon. Except that door's right here, and it's locked by some contraption. Well, hell nah. They put the door in the contraption. But of course, you can just drop down here, and that... It's just, there's not much of a point to it, it seems. Oh, well. Stone Ampson, there we go. But of course we can trade the hit because we have good pulleys and just knock you down. Hello, Stone Amp. Goodbye, Stone Amp. Well, not if we miss entirely, as one does. Come on, come on. Thank you. Hmm. How am I going to get up there? It's clear where the ladder is up there. Staircase. Got our lights still up. I worry of up and then right. But it's all stone imps in here. So I don't imagine. Oh, well, oh, well, you got lightning. Okay. That's cool. Get back around, find a way to open that up, presumably. And, oh, oh, well. Oh, it's probably going to be another transporter trap here. I imagine. I, okay, cool. And. Mmm, you're just so fast. Okay, die. Die already. Starlight back up. And then what will be in... The chest is almost certainly a transporter trap. Can't think of anything else. And oh, well. Oh, well, that hatchet took more than I expected to come down and therefore actually hit me when I did not expect it to. It's required ahead, and yep, it will just teleport me up top. Presumably. <laughs> oh, and that sends you back inside. And oh, we got two giant living jars. Okay, well, alright, and oh, interesting. Which damage will you take from normal attacks? So a lion's claw would be a one-tap on you. Okay, cool. Thank you. And I thought that might have to be a trade, but I guess its attacks are low enough that we dodge it by sort of jumping over it. Living jar shard, raw meat dumpling. What else is here? More pots? We have a cracked pot, and how many more do we? Mm -mm. A cracked pot? Per no, perfumer's cookbook, and... Another cracked pot. Okay. So we have three more of that. Iron jar aromatic, so we can use that for certain effects similar to iron flesh from Dark Souls, but no lever ahead. So do we have to actually teleport again and hopefully have it send us somewhere else? Interesting. And it's, you know, it is in the same location as before, which means there should be a ladder somewhere then, maybe. There has to be a way to get up top, because that's where the lever is, but... Oh, well, right, right in path to the end of the dungeon. Where of explosions, so probably more. Oh, well, they're already blowing up. You are taking a while to blow up. Okay, cool, and then you jump and explode, okay. So the sparking is just a warning. You can hold your explosion as long as you need to in order to try to catch me in the blast then. Is that a... It was not a gray violet, but it... 
So unless you're there, if you roll out of the way, it'll allow you to escape the transporter trap, and even if you walk into the mist, it won't teleport you again until it closes again. Okay. That's just another transporter, revenge I had. Hi, hello. And well, that was a funny way for that to happen. Did you as you were going down? And another thing. So, well, alright. Okay. Fun. And take a good pull of that lever. Should be nearby. Wait, huh? How do I. Where's the lever? I. I must have done something wrong. Fortnite. Maybe. Let's put this back on, but. Where was the lever then? Maybe I just need to kill all the imps. I... it wouldn't even surprise me. Especially considering that... The... Another hero's grave had a similar condition and... Does not say that a heavy door is opened. So I... oh, maybe I needed to... Let's see. Grave glove ward, but... So in that case... Where is the lever? Careful and be wary of rights. But it's not in here. It says the end of the dungeon is past that illusory wall. But I've been back and forth through every chest that teleports me. I haven't found the lever. I I have to have just missed it somewhere. But even still I'm a little not blessed. So if the door is locked shut by some contraption, uh, and I've killed all the enemies in here, can't imagine what would be. Because that was the one illusory vault in the dungeon. Maybe this just sends me to another location instead of running back, especially considering that it... No. Or wait, wait. Is that... It's not any different. So where's the lever? This is actually driving me crazy. It, presumably there might be some other condition that opens the door. If... I might have to... Con might have to consult with Google here and that I'm not proud of... Oh, it, it... Oh, this respawns enemies, I think. Yeah, it seems to. Well, I... How did that not hit? Well, whatever. I... Hmm, down there is... Not the lever, I don't think, but... Can you climb up that? Something different this time? I... feel like I'm going crazy. So that is... Huh? I, I feel as if... That was different from last time. I... Where is this... Sending me. I. I'm just gonna have to check things. I don't know what's going on. Okay, but that's not there. Okay, that actually stayed dead, but it seems as if. Went around a different way than previously and found some imps that I hadn't previously found. But this is a total mind screw. I don't even know. Which way I'm going, unless there's another dungeon where there are sort of clone areas in a certain sense. But, as this is supposed to be the end of the dungeon, quote unquote, but all I can do, I suppose, is keep looking. I'm gonna try going through the chest one more time, and if I don't find anything of note, I'm going to. Wait. Wait. Oh, so it is different. It is different. A cracked pot. Some of these things have refreshed. That's really, really weird. So maybe this is what... Cracked pot. There's a dungeon. So they do this trick twice then. Put you in a dungeon that... Sort of looks like it repeats. But it's actually different areas. That? Okay. Yeah, and Genshin does the same trick in Fontaine as a tribute, which is funny. 
Now we're over here, and so this is the version with the lever. That is legitimately rather strange. Well, we got we got the door now. Okay. So presumably the other version. Let's just see what objects are in here. Guess I missed something because that was really really mind screwy. Rise aside to him. And at Perfumer's Cookbook, oh, two ritual pots. Cracked pot times four. And ritual pots. Inaccessible areas, two copies of the same set of rooms, slightly different configurations. Huh. Cracked pots. More cracked pot. Yep, exactly. If you try to go back up to the start of the area, you'll find a ritual pot. Okay. But I... There was one more here, I think. But this is... Huh. Two inaccessible areas. If you go back to what seems to be the start of the area, once you've switched out in the layout, you get some more pots. So what I'm wondering is... Oh, presumably every time you use a transporter, it cycles the area, I think. So normally you would only see part of it because you would just keep getting teleported back and forth, but if you use this, it's over there. Hmm. That's actually still got the lever. So in that case, hmm. Jump out and use a trap to go back. I'm wondering if it'll be cycle the areas and cycle it again. This is really, really screwy. Because then there's Lanedale Catacombs, which doesn't have a teleport gimmick, it just cycles three times with the same areas repeated three times. And what's really screwy about it is that they put just enemy corpses of enemies you would have killed on the first run and the second and third to make you think you've actually been there before, but no, you haven't been there before. It's just corpses that make it look like that. But I'm wondering then, and okay, so that's still... The trick would be to figure out which chests cycle the area and which ones don't. Okay, main thing is... Make sure I've got all the items. Yeah, so the feel I had that things were different that time was a correct feeling. But... There are no items still there. It's still there. Just gotta see if this... I think this is the one that cycles the area. Yeah. This just... No, this just sends you there. Okay. So it must be the other one that cycles the area. So first time you go through, it sends you out around without the lever there, which makes you wonder what happened with the lever, but go through it a second time and cycles it back to the initial layout where there are no levers. I mean, where there is a lever. So now I believe it's been cycled, so we can test this out again. No items in there, but... Yep, and no ladder, just this... No. Uh, no lever right now, just an imp. And if we go back up top this way, towards where the dungeon initially started, we should see a different area. No, actually, it's just a giant jar. Okay, cool. Then a ritual pot and root resin. And oh, well, all right. Didn't expect that. Living jar shard. Which means we've got six ritual pots and one cracked pot. Feels as if I might be missing a cracked pot from that. Let me see. It says four cracked pots. Under Earth Tree Kaled in Jarburg. Okay, there is one in Landell, so we do have all the jars I currently could have gotten. That's good. I haven't missed any yet. So it's... Jars, perfume bottles, and key items that should be 
And here I believe, so we've got... Yep. One more jar, four more ritual pots, two more perfume bottles. We're in a pretty decent position, but... This is a cool dungeon. I like what it's got going on. I'm picking up on it. Go back to go back to the initial layout, try that out. We can't teleport right now, so I have to be prudent. Yeah, but that was what was going on, and I just confused me a little, but that's life. So use this to cycle it, and go back to the start of the area, rest of the grace, because I can't exactly teleport back. Because my teleport is disabled one in this dungeon. Okay, and presumably taking that chest that went back to the first area would cycle it again and therefore prevent you from noticing what was going on initially. Just went back. Well, you wouldn't want that anyway because you have to do an odd number of cycles well, to get in here and get to the lever area. Come on. Especially since the only way up to the top side is teleportation. Check this out, and our option is... Go down and... Isn't this the way? Yeah, yeah, you would have had to... Go back the other side. Oh, we got another exploding pot. Fun. I... Okay. Cool. Suppose that was the only way to get that done. And now it's... I'm actually not in lever mode. Wait. Oh, so this would be the place we were before, but wait, what? Huh? Another? Another ritual pot? You've gotta be How many how many layouts are there here? I Okay, now I'm really going crazy. It's another ritual pot, I suppose. It's the stone five, and yeah, only three more ritual pots then. Again, I don't really use throwing pots, but uh, you know, it... That's okay. I guess that's okay. Let's just make sure there's nothing left in here that I haven't seen yet. Come on. But, so my question is... Would that bot lead to? This is legitimately getting incredibly confusing now. I'm not sure what cycles it and what doesn't now. I'm just... Going absolutely crazy, but... I think we broke a jar there, but went back through this chest. Because normally that would lead to a connection to the starting area, but since that doesn't connect. No, but there's no there's no chest at that time, so I guess cycle it one more time to activate the lever and I am just legitimately going crazy. Maybe I'll have to... I'm gonna try some of the other chests first, but I just... This is quite weird. Rather quite weird. It is! I like that they're doing a crazy puzzle, but... Three repetitions is also exactly like the Anna Palace's puzzle in Genshin 2, so... It... The Fontaine came out... Last year. Elden Ring came about, out about two years ago. I think they would have had enough time to figure out that specific puzzle. It would be about a year and a half between... Yeah, about a year and a half between Elden Ring coming out and stuff working like that, so... So is this putting the lever back, or did that cycle anything? And this is... Lever is now back in, so we have to cycle it one more time, presumably, but... I don't think there's a way to actually get up there if this is another repetition, actually. This is just weird. Let's do this one more time. This should be good. All those... All those pots. So many pots in this funny pot grave. And I would think this should be the way, but... Oh, I... Huh? Wait. What? And the worst part is, I don't have a good way to get back now. I'm just... The only way to get back in the dungeon would be to die. I just... Huh? I'm actually lost in this dungeon now. 
going through here and Zumba going through would just send me back to the other side, but where am I? Is this Yeah, it's not Yo, I'm I'm obviously not trapped trapped, but it's exceptionally confusing. I'm not sure which chests I need to activate in order to cycle it through. I've gotten the treasure, but I think I think they're doing this to torment me. They have to be. Go back through. Does it cycle it to the last or to the next? And check that out, I suppose, but we can just drop down and take some damage, but we can afford that. Come on. Is this the way or hmm. Okay, that did okay, so those two do cycle it, okay. That's really, really weird. By the way, wait, what? Huh? Huh? Oh, no, no, because you have to do this to get back to the start. And I am so excited to be out of here. So excited to be out of here. Alright. So in that case, we go back up to where the door is and pray that no more garbage gets in my way. That kind of hurt my head a little. Maybe I'm just stupid. Probably just stupid. Let's put on Bloodhound's Fang again with all the relevant buffs. And then Bloodhound's Fang. Put on Fulgo Greaves and Redonwitz. Okay. That means we... Grails is there. That's kind of annoying. Oh, but also I should... Put on stance brick tier. Yeah. The question is how easy it's going to be to get to that minor herb tree. Physic and no, that is still fire, right? Because it's No, yeah, so it is fire, so we need stance brick tier. Stone barb, there we go, cool. Take that. Let's see how this works. And Oh, and a random root resin. Good stuff. Mossing's Boon. Golden Vow, actually, in terms of order. Blood Flame Blade, and switch to Flame Grant Me, and then Grail. Can't actually use that right now, which is nice. Oh, Grave Warden Duelist. We run in and use this right now, and oh, you got all these jars. That's funny. Okay, so just like that, and that should kill the jars, actually, so I... Okay, and dodge, and die. Thanks, and kill you. Thank you, and... Well, that blow up the jars. Four jars. Soul jars of fortune. Okay. Mm -hmm. Soul jars of fortune. Three what living jar spirits. Back with spirits, sacrifice themselves to vanquish their summoner's foes, and explode upon death. With a brave way is admirable, exposed to harm friend as well as foe. Also, immediately explode on contact with fire. Tell the others. Until now, brightly, a fire jar burns. Alright. So we can escape this place and go back to another side of grace to take on the Erdtree avatar by the other minor Erdtree. Oh, there's also. Draconic Tree Sentinel over there. Hmm. Either way, scouring black flame should probably be a good option against it. It's big. Maybe. I... We'll see how well it works. Fun scouring. Actually, test out both these and see which one works better for the other one over in... Landell proper. That on, and... Make it daytime, because why not? I can do it. It's time to morning. To meowing. Mm -hmm. Underworld Battleground, and... We are here. Let's move on through and go up those stairs. We can probably ignore the golems. I don't think they're going to... Stay dead after the last time we killed them. 
That would be fair as golems. They aren't exactly dead in as much as inactive. Or I suppose physically destroyed. Let's go past that annoying. God, we can see up in the mountaintops, which is cool. How do I... Oh, goodness. Who sees me? Not much, but... This goes down there. We got other golems. We also got the minor archery over there, so... Explore the area more thoroughly after taking down the Nurgery Avatar, and that is... Is that Nurgery Avatar, or a... It's just an omen. Weird. Alright. This seems to be... Maybe an omen boss. It's possible. It's impossible. Flame grant me, and... Put on Grail, and is this... Good chance it's a boss level omen. Next to. And. Minor Urdry. Or maybe this one just doesn't have a boss, maybe. And. Oh, right, it's using Fia's incantations. And back and cool. Thanks. Any special drop? But well, we got more commoners here, but. It's interesting that there was no boss around that Minor Urdry. Okay. So then. This is Twiggy Crack Tier and Crimson Crack Tier. The second Crimson Tier for more total HP restored. And one preventing runes from being lost. That is okay, I suppose. I buffed up a little more than I needed to then. Since I don't have Starlight, I can't exactly see around that. Sad. So is that is there anything down there or that is actually just what would be a fall to my death. All right, we have more golden sunflowers and more roa. So I didn't even need to kill that omen, and it went down incredibly easily too. Okay, I the draconic tree sentinel, I believe, is equally weak to all physical damage if I recall correctly. So using lion's claw on it would be pretty good, but there was actually nothing there. Okay. Other than those omens, but... There is no grace immediately by Draconic Tree Sentinels, so... I think I will return to change out my options and take them on, but... Oh, it... Do the golems... It seems that one of the golems respawned, but not all of them. I think Halberd Golem seems to respawn, but not the others. Interesting. Okay. Let's go back to Outerworld Battleground and look into what I need to run against. Draconic. Draconic Tree Sentinel. It is weak to Standard Strike and Pierce that resists Slash. How much does it resist Slash? Pretty, pretty heavily, too. Almost as much as Fire and Lightning, but it actually resists Holy Last, right? Because it's Draconic rather than Holy. So yeah, we're going to be using... Especially since there's no way that you'd be able to stun with Body Helix. It would have to be... Oh no, it is Stone Barbara. I'm good. So I didn't switch it back to Fire when I wanted to use it on some of the other stuff. Now we're at heavy load, which means taking this off. Back to Radon Dreams. Here we go, we'll buff up and take on that one remaining golem and then the Draconic Tree Sentinel as well. What is nice is that I can still use this capably. Because even though I'm not actually two handing no, even though I'm not actually two handing it, with the animation it still counts as two handing in terms of Wielding requirements. Let me see. And it's only got one attack. Okay. As you see, it still feels good damage. Go over and take on the <coughs> golem over that way. Hmm. That just goes down to Bogart's location. What I want to do that is. Taking these guys out. Well, I 
Woodhead would be better, but for now it'll be okay. Thank you. Swing and another hammer hit will take you out. Roa, roa, herba. Roa fruit. Keep on going. Yep, just one remaining halberd golem because the other ones do not seem to respawn. I can crush that guy with relative ease and I may as well just for fun. It is interesting how that golem and the... I think it was just the magic halberd golem over in Dragon Barrow by that painting location were the ones who... have leg armor preventing you from doing extra damage to the feet, which means you need a knockdown. Or I suppose hitting the, hitting the hand somehow in order to actually deal any kind of decent damage. And, oh, interesting. Okay. There we go. Maybe, I think, oh, they also just have resistance to stance damage because of the leg armor as well. And another death. Cool. Another totally scrapped golem, but... My question is, where is location of the painting ghost? We've got another painting around here, and got a painting in the shaded castle, and I have not found a location for it since, but it is pretty obviously in Altus somewhere, but what is around here? Does not seem to be anything. Oh, but actually we got this. That's... Okay, just one gravel stone. That is an option, I suppose. Okay. Water, the moat, certain death. One option. We need to go back around. And... Draconic tree sentinel should be. Well, we can be funny and sneak up on him and poison him, but... I don't want to do that. I'm gonna fight this guy legitimately. Well, as legitimately as using... All these buffs is. And Flynn grab me and we Gray all. Should be good. We rush in and Dragon on Dragon! Dragon on Dragon! And hit you cool and oh, alright. Can I dodge and can I slam and oh well, alright and interesting. Okay, cool. Hmm, interesting. And dodge and can I Slam it! Okay, cool. I, I cannot break it! Nice, no, so we broke your stance, which means no parry, but another hit, and before you actually use your lightning attack, we'll just actually kill you. Fun. Gonna start doing lightning strikes on me, but I had no interest in that. Dragon Quake, Great Claw, and Dragon Shield. Fun. Great Shield said have been willed from the Claw of a Great Ancient Dragon, so probably Grand Sacks. Well, by grotesque three sentinels, you get served with the Urge Reed and Beautiful Lightning. Deal some lightning damage as a result, so it's deck scaling for that, I think. Great Ancient Dragon, Wreath of Lightning, Tears through the Dragon's Feeble Descents with Ease. And the issue is that it deals lightning damage, which is specifically not effective against dragons. So then, do I have well? That over there is that Rosa statue, just tells me about catacombs that have already been through. So in that case, I think also over here, <clears throat> around this area, probably not, presumably not. My question is simply, how do I make... How am I going to find that painting location? It might even be in Forbidden Lands or another part of Waynedale, actually, but... I don't know, we'll see. It could be by the Colosseum, but now we can actually enter Lanedell through the intended entrance. Here we are, cool. Not quite Royal Capital yet, you can see down over there by the bears were the or is the hero's grave inside to him. Activate this, which is another shot of grace. Level up one time and let's just see. Capital Rampart. Take a bit of... Sure, let's go for strength. It's a nice option. And we... 
Where do Grigir is? At 680, which is not much, all that much more than it used to be. It would definitely we have been hitting. Points of diminishing returns for strength investment. It's still <clears throat> alright. I think we could put in Scouring Black Flame again. Because we're going to find that Urtree Avatar. But we're about to enter, enter the capital. It's exciting. I'm definitely going to need another day to get that done, but I can definitely do stuff in the sewers and maybe even hit up a good deal of Mount Top of the Tops of the Giants. The question is whether I want to beat Fire Giant then and there, or... Well, because getting Burno Flame from Fire Giant Remembrance would be a decent option to use on enemies, but even still... Okay, let's memorize different spells, put on Starlight, put on Scouring, and hope that's better against the Urtree Avatar, and maybe that one Crucible Knight, there's going to be a Spear one, which I could try parrying more or less for fun. So let's go down, down into Lando. Oh no, up into lane to, oh never mind. Yep, it is, because it is high above. If Altus Poto is the high Poto, literally, what does it say about this? Maybe we should be able to get more dialogue from Melina now that we activate this grace. We got a remedy here, but this is where I got teleported from depths. Which might have been what they're referring to, maybe, but seems to be an actually maintained Urgery Church. Hi. Hello there, commoners. Not even clinging to life anymore. Suppose that's your prerogative. Slam. Hammer down, and... Hmm. And there should be more nearby. Another... Grace, mimicry ahead, and is... what does that mean? Oh, maybe people hiding here during invasions. That would make some sense, but this is not a place you can drop down. Just kill you. I might be able to reach there for, through some other means, but the drop is plainly not survivable. All right, so we go through here. Plus Grace discovered, and anything from Melina, and. She appears immediately. Fun. Oh, and a boxer, too. Thanks for bringing me to the base of the Earth. You're welcome. Here, I can govern my own movement. Mm -hmm. And thus, be a cause. Which means she'll be summonable for a later fight. I shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Mm -hmm. I shall leave Torrin and the power to turn wounds. The power is something that can be bestowed. Here, with you, I okay. wish you luck in realizing your ambition. Thank you. You have fought long and hard. Yeah. I have no doubt mm. you will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. Thank you. Bye. We got Bach over here too. Service, adjustments to the garments, did you see it? The Urge Tree, don't have the words for it, sir. Waiting for you, feel to my bones, take the throne. Okay. Hmm. Let's continue moving. And yep, you can see Grand Saxon there. The other side, because over by a little bit right of that Coliseum is where we got teleported previously. Open from the side and. I've already been here, so I actually know most of what's here other than that sewer area, but just check. It's in down a notepad. To tell about. And door. I like the music here. It's fun. Take Bull Goat and Radon Gauntlets. Radon Wits. I don't think they're making that music at all, but they die pretty easily. Oh, strip of white flesh, but those are the oracles who... Oracle envoys, I believe. 
who announced the coming of new gods. Okay, no, that horn is that horn is what they're playing then. Okay, and they shoot these poorly damaged bubbles and sometimes drop that horn, which can be used to blow bubbles as a weapon. There's a big gargle over there. Horns? Mm -mm. Feel something hot. Well, we can strike you down pretty easily. Yep, just keep you stuck. We can get whatever there is to get here. That's a 10 golden rune. And okay, and that over there will get around there with other means. Let's use Starlight. So let's should get inside there and I guess we can break these, but it seems like these are perfume related. Oh, hello. There's a page here. Alright, well, easy enough. Even if I didn't see a quad at first. Smithing stone four. Then not quite there yet, but this is oh hello. So this is right and this is how you get down around to. We could always just jump, I suppose. On the back of that gargoyle. Okay. Thank you and dodge. Funny bubble spray. Take you out and oh well. I guess it kinda of boomeranged around. Okay, well. Here's the helix end, for one. Heal up a little first. There is going to be a page coming down around this way, so... Hi, hello. Alright, and dodge. Oh, well, okay. Cool. Oh, my goodness. That was more than a little messy. Hmm. Break that out, but anything else in here? This is clearly a perfumer's room. Take that and take that off and use this to burst that gargoyle down. That would be fair since I'll be behind it. I don't really have to worry you now, do I? Yeah, okay. You can't move. Oh, wow! One tap! Okay. Golden rune and. Yeah, alright. Let's break anything. No. So, this is what we're going back to. Go back down and around and see. Break all those books, I suppose. Another area to go through. Okay. Hmm. My question is, what can I jump onto any of those or get down there? But there will be other ways too. And that drop down won't kill me. I'll get to other parts of that manor too, but that's all right. It's more than enough. So sneaking up and killing that perfumer is a good idea. Well, you already see me. Okay, cool. One, two. I can't imagine. It's not armor connected. Armor does not make noise in this game, but... Reserving bolses. Jump down. You can also get up. There's also the option of... How'd that lock on? We go over here, we can... I think we have to do that from the top, but you can do a good deal of jumping around on rooftops to get things. It's nice. There are a number of Waynedale Knights in here who I will take out with Piercing Sword. Also, well, right, also Perfumers, so. Thank you, and this goes through as well, okay. Also, a way around, and you're dead. Thank you. Commoner's shoes and a glass shard. That's death. That is... Oh, interesting. The... Those guys seem to be a bit more powerful than the... Oh, and now you're using your defense one. Okay, well, all right. Thanks. Can we... Slash, slash. Then from jumping back and... Oh, there we go. It... That guy was just strong. It's interesting how powerful those pages are. Anything else in here or in Golden Room 10? Let's actually. Mm, I could use, use Blessing's Boon for that. Oh well, whatever. Then. The. Knight in there should go down relatively easily. 
And, okay, well now you see me because I killed that guy. All right. And can I... One, two, three... Okay, well, all right. Oh, my goodness. I, all right. Oh, my... I was reckless. Okay, I... Dodge and got... Mmm. Managed to poise through that, which is good, but... Let's just use a blessing spoon for that. A lot of recovery over time. And there's a decent amount of time between every instance of damage I take, so... Lead around to... A knight over there, so let's move in, go for the critical. All these Mikkel's lilies. Alright, oh, right, we got you. Okay, can I... Oh, please. Alright, come on. Dodge! Well, okay, and that did. Go for a lightning attack. Accurately, and another... Well, okay. Okay, come on. Thank you, and stab! There we go. Oh, well, alright. If I run to something else, I'll probably use... A flask to make up the difference right now, but this is not actually a door I can go through. Okay. Cool. So, there's going to be a seedbed curse in the top of that little house, but... Other than that, I'm not quite sure. Where should go next? Is there the roofs? There are all sorts of other places I can go right now. Oh, there is... Also a spot with the Urtree Avatar. It'd be a nice choice, just for... And that seed bed curse stuff done, but I made a mistake somewhere. I know that I missed a way up somewhere. I oh, you're playing an instrument. That's what you were doing. Well, I thought I would have gotten a backstab. That is still okay. Spinning zone six and more starlight. Just leads down to the city streets. It. It does feel, and people have said this, that Wayne Dill was the closest FromSoft has ever come to realizing their vision and idea of an actual, full, true city as a dungeon. There are areas, districts, there is a... You've got the upper district and the lower district, you know. And then you have an outright mansion over here, which... Well, to be fair, there's the question of why that mansion exists, but... Obvious signs of class inequality in this area. Right, right, I forgot I forgot the ladder, right. Okay. I think I might be able to find. Not a side of grace. Well we can get this. There should be a seabed curse somewhere. Up over here, so. This and another perfume bottle, which means should only be one more in the entire game. Alright. And over here, with nothing else here, we got Seedbed Curse. You see that blood, though. Dung Eater, some people believe that what he does and connect to the bell bearings, as I was saying before, he rips out the Shiriko Dama, which is a... In Japanese mythology, this sort of ball you have, literally right inside your butt, that contains your soul. And it literally means little butt ball. Shitty Koldama. Well, I suppose maybe more literally butt little ball. You're doing that in order. Okay, so is there a way for me to reach that? Tranquility, joy, oh joy. Well, I yeah, you can jump over that. Interesting. That would be a way to get down over there. Over by Grand Sax. That weapon, presumably, but we have Q, so... Hi, and... Thanks, and move back in. Use that skill, well, and miss entirely. It, it's kind of crazy how they do actual feints. And then we got you, and what is this reward? Oh, the upper class robe, which... I already had one of those, okay. Fair enough. And maybe that's why I shouldn't have just bought it outright so easily. Oh, well. Should be a way to get down. Big thing is, we don't have flash regeneration like this. Hmm. Could go over there, but there also needs to get up there from there, too. Much to think about. Can continue jumping. Question is, well, we got this. Smithing Stone 5 is over. 
where hmm, to reach the king of ash but I am getting a little turned around it is a big area which is cool but it has its problems as a result should be a might be a set of grace around here I think actually and any item it does not appear there's any item here golden rune nine but the urge reavatar shows up around here there is no time like the present we got stone bar but it that could still be okay so in that case blessings boon golden vow oh right we don't have enough right now okay Golden Vow, and right, it just phases into existence, as one does, I guess. Grail, and can I? And dodge, and Grail's Roar. Thank you, cool. And dodge, oh, well, okay. Fine, I dodge, oh, no, interesting. Dodge, can I? Dodge, okay, cool, and how oh, this, well, this works, and, okay. Okay, interesting. 1-3 versus how much with... Well, I don't have normal black flame right now, is the thing. I dodge and cut. Can I? Mm, well, that did hit me. Okay. Black flame and. Can I? Oh, that. Okay, interesting. Alright, and. Mm, just one more time. One more time. And boom. Oh. Alright, thanks. And. Where that end? Can we burn, burn before that happens? We can make that happen. Cool. Fine. And. We got a wards room from that. Yep, that was all. But it's gone. Don't have to worry about it anymore. The only way to get in there would be to drop down from that other area, but not like that should be too bad, but still. So then I know that a... Yep, a Sada Grace was just right over here. Cool. Pass that Urge Reavatar. Let's rest real quick. This is... Avenue Balcony. Yep, Langell Royal Capital Icon. Hmm. But I do feel as if... Well, the well... Should be a well somewhere that... Allows me to drop into the Shunning Grounds. Scouring Blackframe was decent. On the Urge Re Avatar, it worked well, but honest to goodness... It doesn't really matter. How much more damage it does, the startup time, and... Melee limitation makes it kind of do to So. Switch this out and. Back around another way. Also, there's a C here. I hear a scarab. Smithing stone. Well, there will actually be an opportunity, I believe, to actually use Frenzied Burst soon, which will be fun. It might actually just be over here. The main thing is, I need a way to. Wake up the well, in that case actually depending on how long things go for i might actually want to put on frenzy burst right now maybe actually change out my flash charges this should be okay especially since i do have some healing this the incredible range on frenzy burst should hopefully let me snipe the one tree spirit in here from a balcony which would be Incredibly useful and convenient. I do not want to do that. Okay. Starlight, at least... That could at least leave a blood stain. Okay. So... Go around these back streets, or... It's not look like it. I guess it's just a way to drop down if you want to go through this way, but... We got you, so let's put on our... Piercing sword again. I do not need that bandit sword. Well, alright. And... Should drop that heavy and go for the thrust to kill. Spiffing stone and that just leads to the same place. So I guess this is just going to lead up to the Grand Sack sort of area, but I cannot open that door right now. There are some guys to take out, but still. Hello, well, I will fight you by yourselves before you fight fight that dragon knight. Thank you, and two. 
Seems you got a bit more poise. All right. What's gonna be through here? Well, all right. And just thanks and dodge. Okay, cool. And thanks. Stab. And and well, I can't believe that did not hit. Okay, cool. I right. dodge. Move in for a stab and kill you. And that dodge is actually very nice and generous. Distance crits is also very good, but cannot open that up right now. The only thing we can do is. Work our way around to the other side and open that. Okay. Hmm. See some of this. Eventually this will. But right now you've got that knight over there. So if I fully charge it heavy, actually, can I... Well, actually, no. Okay. Cool. Could stagger lock you without a lot of trouble. Probably because of the effect of the bow. Hello. Hi there. Now you're dead, and this is where it would go after Grand Sacks, so... This also can go down into a part of the sewer. Interesting. And that is... Oh, right, Finger Creeper. I... The best way to do this would probably be by shooting at you from above. Yeah. Cool. And just... Alright. Hmm. And that won't hit, so... Can I hit from here? How did... Oh, because the AoE, but it did not really seem to do much in the way of damage. I... Uh, interesting. Alright. Can I... Do that without breaking lock, and... Mm, there's an angle. Angle limitation. Can only... Go down so far. I guess that makes sense, but still. Don't have Blood Flame Blade on there anymore, which... Makes sense, but still kind of sucks for fighting some of those enemies, and we can actually fight our way to another set of grace. Hmm. Should be around here if I recall correctly. It's an omen killer, which... Hmm. Oh, right, that kicks the ladder. Okay. Interesting. And, and... Okay, cool. And stab, 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 and kill. Nice. Cool. Thank you, Omen Killer, for dying. Omen Spurk Mass. I think that will drop some bat one. Increase the strength, long hiss, which was at horn, sparking days of an elder, twist and wicked delight. In the image of the evil spirits that haunt the omen and their nightmares. How unpleasant. Okay. So who else is here? Got a smithing stone and Yeah, finding that tree spirit would probably be a good option. Wearing it out and then trying to shoot at it with Frenzied Burst would be a good way to get things started. Actually, if I drop down from the top of that ladder, wonder what I might find, though. I might have dropped down already. It... Let's see. Down here, and... Hmm. Let's check this out. And where? Got a bunch of rats, and that would be a good option for. And that's not one I have to kick, I can just descend that right now. Option for the fang. Right, and here we have. Around here, there should be a church with. A side of grace in it. And just find it. It. I can't be wrong. I've literally been here before. It's, it's this one. It's this one. Okay. Here we go, and the bed over there should be Lionel the Lionhearted. That's great, it's discovered, and Lionel's home, armor, gauntlets, greaves, and it's, it's kind of like the Katarina set, the Deathbed Rats, so. Deathbed Companion, Embrace of the Dead, but that's not Fia's set, actually. Most Weather Corp still sharing your ward. HP, not that of the Wielder. Chivalrous Daunted Knight met Fia, who had been driven from her home. He declared himself her father. Banner extending from its back, and we fought that guy as one of Fia's champions before, so that's how we're supposed to know him. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's still better. That's a bit in between. An in between option. Do you hear something, but. Hmm. That guy wielded a great epic, much like I used to. 
So many things around here. I let's not get too. Oh, and there you are. Let's use the Ape for this. Thank you, and just can I? All right, can I? Oh, interesting. I right. thanks. Can I move in for a stab? Okay, well, I all right. Hmm. Dodge. Let's get down here. Is this too? Get a bit more of that going, and just dodge. And can I stab? Thank you. Cool. Hmm. Go down and kill this finger creeper, and can I? All right, that's dead. Good, good and dead. Thank you. I cannot see that much right now. Can I? Okay. I, oh my goodness. All right. Thanks. And, mm, heal. I dodge. Can I stab and take you out? Did have to do a bit of a trade there, but oh, and, come on, rat, die. And not even a one-hit kill on the rat. All right. Hmm. Wilson's boon and switch to. The what hand swing and use the Starlight spell. This should allow me to take out, get access to, make that tree spirit angry, and then go up to the balcony to hit it. Cracked pot, and that is we've got every single cracked pot now. That's pretty nice. And yep, tree spirit over there, so. Cool. I will leave. It's the only thing to do right now. And it'll sit over there. It can't go through that door. Should be able to find a place where I can snipe it with relative impunity. I go back up that ladder, work our way around. Okay. And it's going to be Golden Vow and Flame Grant me strength for that. Should be the only thing I need, though. Shouldn't need to use too much more. But... Landell is big. I I could try finding gold for you today. Don't really think I will, though. But that Draconic Tree Sentinel going down that quickly was... Pretty ridiculous. But yeah, the... Avenue Balcony side of Grace. Putrid Avatar should still be active, so... And make that work, presumably. Also use this to jump down onto here. Come, oh, okay. To jump top of the railing and then get down to the rest of that. Mm -mm. And can I? Even from a standing position, I can still get pretty good jump distance. It you don't get as much more distance from a running jump. Compared to other Souls games, though to be fair, in most other Souls games you can't even jump without having been running in the first place, so that was kind of a meaningless statement. And this should lead to that there is a ladder over here, but not from this side, there is another door. Okay. Landell door, two of them. And there should, should be some knights around here, and then we can get to sniping. This might lead to... Let's just go over, sneak up, and piercing damage should be a great option here. Thank you, and... That did not actually alert any others. Weird. Thank you, and stab. Okay, cool. Thanks, and... Alright. So can I sneak around and get that other guy? A lot easier to fight than they were in other with a mage playthrough. That actually leads to Grand Sacks, so. Hello. Hi there. Now you're gone. Which means you don't see me though, so. Let's go up and get a sneak attack. Thank you. And charge that up and stab again. Cool. It they're just making this easy for me. So let's stab this guy instead of aggroing the commoners, and I thought that might not work for a second, but it worked perfectly fine. Cool. Now you're dead, too. Windsor and Wendell Gauntlets. Put the starlight again. And oh, well, you. Oh my goodness. I know you could backstab me. I guess it makes sense, but still. Okay. We just got. Clowned on a little. 
Commodore's headbound altered, and can I? Interesting, and it woke that guy up, which is funny. Get a stab, and... Well, the one thing left to do is going to be taking out that tree avatar from on high with Frenzied Burst. Fun option. And stop. Well, we got a free on that, right? There are limits to how much it'll target that way, but... Down there is just the sewer, so... Nothing to happen if we really go down this way. If we want to access that destroyed district, we can find other ways to do it. Hmm. It... There is certainly a lot here. That is... Pretty undoubtable. It's down there into more of that sewer. It might be shunning grounds, but... Dragon Wind Grease. Okay. It's another gate, but it just leads to water. So maybe it would have been for boats or something. I really don't know. So that guy is over there, so... Let's use Golden Vow. Flam grab me, and then it's just Frenzied Burst. Alright. Gotta make sure I don't fall off and... You're kidding me, of course I fell off. Alright then, alright. We can work our way back up. It only takes... It will only take some time. Big question is whether I might actually be able to hit it while not being on the railing. Because that would be really nice. Probably not. So let's undo our idiotic mistake. I bet I could actually hit Shunning Grounds today. It's possible. It, it's not all that long. It would allow me to get some of the Dung Eater's Quest line down, but that would kill me. That would kill me. The longer I go without resting at a side of grace, the easier it will be to avoid having to fight enemies multiple times so we can just keep things going like this and hopefully have it work. Okay. Yep, it's Golden Vow and I have a good amount of blue flasks. It should be more than doable. To be fair, Pestilence is also good against the spirits. Tracking is good. They're big, so they take a lot of damage, and they're about as weak to physical as their fire, only a little bit less. There's something up over there on those rooftops. I'm wondering what a good way to gather would be. Okay, cool. And can I hit you with Frenzy Burst from here? And the answer is... No! Okay. Just gotta make that happen, and then... Presumably we can do this without falling off, so... Fun! Alright, and you can't even hit me. Alright, and... Wait. Never, never mind. Okay. So I guess it's just pest reds. I guess it's just pest reds. Okay, cool. Alright. Uh, I'll live! I think I'll live. I hope I'll live. And pest threads. And oh, well. I Okay. Weird. Annoying. Thanks. Dodge. Okay. Whatever. I okay. At least pest threads makes this thing crap. And we... Mm, I dodge. Can I... Another pest threads here. Saying, can I... Dodge. Mm, well, we... Alright. We gotta heal and just... Come on, you. This one is really hard. Okay. I should have used my resistance one, but whatever. Alright, and... Okay, I'm not close, so... Damage dealt is nowhere near as much. Die, die, die! And now you're dead, finally. There was nothing all that significant yet from it, because, well, we've got maximum class suits already, but... At least that stupid thing is dead. I... I really thought I ate with that strategy. I almost did. Main thing is that I would have to... Move back a little... Each time I try that. Oh well. It does seem that Pest Threads is going to be the best option, but... There can't be that many more Tree Spirits. There are some in the Halig Tree, if I recall correctly, but other than that, it... They're not really an enemy. I see myself having to fight much more. Of course, that's what I say now. And die. Oh, and right, we got a little bit of blood loss on that, too. Okay. So, so, well, actually, now that that fight's done, I don't need Frenzied Burst on anymore is the thing. So maybe I actually should go and 
change out some spells. Go back to that avenue. Yeah, okay. Then there'll be other ways to reach other areas. And that is... How do I get in there? I... It's an Elven Norik, but... But imagine to get in there somehow. Actually, I bet it's worth trying to do some funny platforming to get in there. By the way, it is nice that those guys are dead now. Big thing is that there's a Crucible Knight over around this way. The only good way to find that is going to be... Actually, I could try Frenzy Burst or Black Flame. Or Frenzy Burst is what I've got equipped. I may as well fight her that way. That is the question, just... Are all the Spear Crucible Knights female? Because Solari is female. As the only ones whose genders we know for sure are Ordovis and Soloria. Never hear any sounds made, so even that can't be a clue. Okay. Go back over, we try some funny platforming shenanigans to go back into that hole with that Albinora guy. See how that maybe works or doesn't. I'd presume that probably have some sort of normal outlet, so to speak, but if I have the opportunity to do things in a silly way, I'm going to take it. Okay. Do like this, and I need to hold a bit more, and... And... Interesting. And just move on over. Try to end. Can I? And I... Okay, I don't have the maneuverability. I don't think that's how I'm supposed to do it. If I had a horse, I could manage, but I can't use your horse in here. That leads to... Right, that sort of slum area. Okay. Hmm. Starlight. And... How much more over here? Got more corpses. So actually... Some slashing, but also there will be some undead, so... Opportunities to use Litany of Proper Death also abound here. Let me just see what's over this way, then. Maybe a way to jump up on those rooftops? Possibly. This was nothing of significance. And I... Golden Rune and... So, welcome back, how are you doing? Did you enjoy your food? I hope you did. Now, these are putrid corpses, not... Undead, actually, so... There's some skeletons over there, I think? Oh, uh, what was it this time? Well, just... I took down an armored knight by spamming Lion's Claw on it. It was... So trivial, it was actually kind of sad. Other than that, I've just been working my way through this city dungeon. That's about it. Get on top of here, yeah, and see what there is this way. What is this? This is... Oh, the Black Bow. Black wood resemble a blade. Most difficult bows to master. Light in the hand. Cuts through the air. Nimbly is a light bow despite its fuller size. So you can do it... You can do attacks from a roll, which you cannot do with medium bows normally. Hmm. Link it back around then, but... I do see some skeletons. Let's actually get Whitney over here. Hello. Smithing stone and... This way, let's just get you all going. Fun and Whitney a proper death. Boom, and you're all gone. Except for the corpse. Oh, oh. That sucks. Stone sword key. Sorry to hear that. I hope... Your... Sensory issues abate eventually. Or your lupus. Whatever it is. And we got another corpse. One, two, damn. And over there, salad salami and... It's interesting that salami wouldn't cause sensory issues then. What do you think the difference is? One gravel stone, okay. So then I think that might link back around to the avenue. Let's see. 
Oh, okay, so it might be related to the fact that the salami is kind of pre-digested because of it. Because of the preservation process, maybe? That's a thought. Probably one you've had before. Mm -hmm. Anything over here, or any corpses, any skeletons, or what? I did not mean to use that. I did not mean to use that. Okay. Come on, Starlight. Thank you. Then we open stuff back over this way, presumably. Anything over here, or just more corpses. Afetati. I haven't heard that term. Is that a term for stuff like charcuterie? Well, it's because usually they use... It ends up fermenting, which presumably helps break stuff down, I would think. And Oh, well, we still got here. Oh, well. Clarifying boluses? Oh, well, all right. Kind of surprised that none of them had frenzy attacks then. Maybe they would have if they hadn't had that. You can open that and see what's in here. This is... A stone sword key. Okay. Yeah, in that case, I presume it would be the fermentation process making the difference. Maybe, probably. That's my take. Oh, and this leads up to... Oh, so you can use this. Uh, this is where that side of grace was. Okay. So a way to get around that root tree avatar, maybe, if you didn't want to fight it. But I did, so no problem. It's just... The amount of runes that a single level takes right now is actually kind of funny. Let's use this. Oh! Huh. It's an interesting way to describe it, then. Go up here. We should be able to find that Crucible Knight. I don't think we can backstab her, but... Should be able to parry it with relative ease, so... Let's do this. Come on, come on. I... Golden Val might be nice. It's good when it's good, but... I haven't had a lot of good Mortadela. The only good Mortadela I ever really had was... Your actual Bologna from Bologna. One time when I was there. But it was really, really good. So, I suppose if, if we have to replenish our flask anyway, we may as well use it for a bit of health too. And... Golden Vow. Flame grant me, though that's probably overkill. Sicilian privileges. Talk about it. Let's just go for a fully charged heavy. There we go, and dodge. Cool. Alright, I... Uh, okay, cool. I, thanks. Uh, mm. Thanks. All right. Uh, thanks. Uh, nice. There we go. Go for a critical and... Mm, that actually doesn't deal as much damage as I expected. Hmm. Okay. Uh, thanks. Stab and there we... Okay. Well, all right. Thanks. Die. That works. A little scoffed. But it works. So... Golden rune and... Hero's Rune 5, okay, fair enough. I... The critical actually wasn't all that useful. It's kind of sad. But pairing was definitely good there. It was... No, it's a spear called Solurius Tree that I actually got from Crucible Knight Soluria, who was the head of those, that group of knights. Actually, I don't have it right now because it's in my chest, but still... That was how I was supposed to get there from there. Okay. Let's continue along our merry way. Mm, okay. Question is how I'm going to get to the Shunning Grounds. It's supposed to be dropped the way well. Hmm. Well then. Well, well, well. Keep on moving until... Not there from there, but... That elevator, and there was another elevator there. Let's see. 
go over to around the lift of roll, but before that, I think I will take some other things down. Let's see who else might be over here then. Can go through that gate. Can we? I think. But either way, this is going to be the way to, way to Mountaintops of the Giants, but we simply cannot go there yet. Because of not having the medallion and it's locked up by story progress. So put that there. Hmm. There really is a lot to see in this area. It's actually kind of crazy. It's by far the biggest dungeon in the game. There we go, we got this, and oh, alright, cool. And that was a six hit combo. First soldier cap, and we got more Wayndell soldiers. And that killed you. It's more than good enough while we got a knight, which means let's switch to heal us. Okay. Fun. I dodge it. One, two, three, and alright, cool. And can I Oh well, alright. We are really getting swarmed right now then. I okay. Huh. Let's use this then and can I stab it? Mmm, that was a surprise to me. Thought that would have worked. And okay, alright, and can I roll on your attack? How did that not hit? Is it one for the Weird upward swing, you've got to be kidding me. This is actually stupid. Come on, you and die, die, and okay. Luckily, we didn't get hit by its royal run. But that attack, as you see it, gave itself he gave himself a little buff, which was Royal Knight's Resolve, I believe, which would increase the next hit's damage by about 60%, which is very, very strong if you do it on a strong hit. So, a lot of one shot oriented strategies use that. Impact corpse and that trace of lingering faith. You don't actually see any imps with that head. Hmm. Keep on moving. Should be stuff up top. There was an item there, but I couldn't quite get to it. Arterial leaf. Okay. Fair. Fine. I'm gonna link back around. We've gone through these side streets. Keep going. Go. Keep going through the side streets. We can find more things. Because we dropped down to get to the avenue with the Urge Re Avatar before. The Avatar Renew. But there were other ways and other things to get to. Go ahead, I, I won't stop you. You have your personal freedoms and liberties. And oh wow, this one takes two hits. Big dog. So actually going in with a strong would actually, that works. And, oh, well, all right. And, of course, got distracted by the item pickup. Okay. Fair enough. Let's keep on going. And, okay, we've gone through here, but go up over that way. We'll probably lead down to, yeah, the area with the perfumers. Let's keep on moving, then. Should have spawn for me to use Helix relatively effectively. Rhea Ripley? Who is that? I'm not familiar. And one, two, and go back and stab again. Oh, okay. When I hear Ripley, I just think of Sigourney Weaver's character from Alien. Though, to be fair, I actually haven't even seen that movie. I just like Metroid. Which, a lot of people argue is Metroid-based. Mommy? I feel, I feel like people probably made a lot of jokes as a result of that. Okay, but... Drop down and from where? There was another item. Is she... Is she Hispanic? Oh, well, all right. And there we go. Stab and stab it. And another quick hit, and there we go. Cool. Mm -hmm. How do I do this? I've already gone through there, so not much else. Well, we got another perfumer, and of course they're doing their thing. 
hate it here. Uh, how do I get around and over it? Come on. Oh, oh, cool. Interesting. How did that work out then? Mommy goth villain. Oh, I... So how do I get that one item? Where do I have to drop down from? This is strange. Oh, right, well, we got the page over here, so... Stab, stab, okay, well, I'll write it. Luckily, I can pretty easily stonewalk and even get bleed. Fountain Perfumer's Bolt. Dominic Mysterio. So she's basically an honorary Hispanic now. It's interesting how that works. So how am I going to get to that item? Presumably I need to go back a bit farther, maybe. This is a bit weird. If I go over to the top here with some of those knights, I should be good. That also would be an opportunity to get Bolt of Grand Sacks, presumably, which is also missable. Oh, okay. With his dad? Oh my goodness. That is... If it works... One, two, and... Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding. I've said it before. My goal is to have wrestling style beef with Dom and maybe some other people. Australian. Okay, well. I guess that's forgivable. Oh, okay, so he had a villain arc tied to this sort of business relationship. It's actually very funny. Oh, so Dominic Mysterio is Rey Mysterio's son. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. I've heard the name. I know of him. And, okay, well, we got more Wendell Knights. Can I... And I stab it. Okay, nice. That was good. I go ahead and use your perfume arts. See how much I care. Hmm. So is he fighting with his dad now then? Is he in his rebellious phase? Golden rune and just, hmm. Let's keep on going. Go down here, but how will I reach that? Oh, okay. That was before. Ryan, I could jump down here, but I want those rooftops. Well, presumably it would be maybe Italian, too. Just maybe romance languages in general, but still. And, mm hmm. Oh, I did not think that would hit me. Okay, cool. Decently fast, even when using the strong attack. Okay, so we got another gargoyle over there. Nothing in there. Mm hmm. Still a medium, alright. Switch out pretty easily then. Well, I mean, I don't think they would get mad. It's not like I think it's some sort of grave injustice. Maybe kind of weird, but... Okay, so that actually hit me through that wall. That was strange. Alright, I... Oh, okay, fun. Yeah. And crush, there we go. And what are we going to get from this? This is... That just drops down there, okay. It, whether it was a joke or not, it's not a problem. I'm not worried. You're free to understand or misunderstand me at my leisure. I mean, at your, at your leisure. I'll leave either way. So we should use another Blessings Boon for nice, slow, reliable health recovery. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So how, how, how do people think that storyline is going to conclude then? You know, what kind of plan do you think they have? Okay. Can I... Oh, hello there. Stab you and... Oh, nice. Just kill. This runs bolt and... Wendell Soldier Helm and regular bolt. Oh, hi there. Hello. 
Interesting, we got a lot of druids. Oh, oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, well, I did not expect it to go as far as it did. All right. And... Okay. Well, it basically is just a soap opera with a bit more violence. Just a little bit. Oh, come on. Can I stab and just... You're going for that charge and... Oh, my goodness, you're kidding. What? Huh? That was insane. You... Okay, I... Oh. This is actually vile. I don't want to take these guys out. Well, I... This should be okay, maybe. I... And... Dodge it. Okay, well, alright. Stab it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dodge it. Can I... Stab. Stab it and kill it. Okay, interesting. And... Mm -hmm. We're gonna need some healing or what? I... Dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. Die, die. I think... That's probably... Yeah, probably. One, two... What else is here? Is that drop down by that carriage? Wondering how I'll do that then. Yeah. You can't... Can't let a good plotline go to waste. Spent time and money making it work. Okay, cool. And backstab. These are just Lindell soldiers, not Lindell knights, so this one should be easier. Fair. Well, because they're father and son. What would they do to make it look personal? Stab and stab. Okay. Mm -mm. Can I? Dodge it. Can we? I can't believe you missed that. Okay. And. Mm -mm. What if I. Can't really circle around you all that well. Couldn't even get a. Couldn't even get a backstab off. That's a bit of a surprise to me. So how am I going to get up top there? Mm -mm. Eddie Guerrero. What about Eddie Guerrero? Who is Eddie Guerrero? I don't know. I just know that name means fighter. Is he a fighter? Well, presumably they all are. Okay. Golden Rune, and this leads down to... Could I get up here before? I could, I could. Huh. What's on these back streets, then? Maybe boys? Maybe there are boys in these back streets? Okay. Starlight? Hmm. It's... This place is just so big. It... There's really no way around it. Oh, okay. Okay. And there were roommates, too. Okay. That's great sword, great arrow. Oh, a little boy? How little? It's crazy. Well, it... It's all about that family drama. So can I get on top of that carriage, presumably? Well, it... To a certain extent... Holy Grace. Well, he wasn't wrestling. There is... There are many questions to ask about the ethics of child actors just in general, but... To be fair... The target audience of WWE largely is kids. We got something on top of there and something down there too. Okay. Mm -hmm. But there are lots of shortcuts and ways to get through. It's non-linear, but it's not perfectly flexible. Eh? They're smart about it. I mm -hmm. let's use the thing. Put that on. And, right, we can put on Bulgo. Okay. Oh, interesting. Mocking his father. That's kind of crazy. Can I... Oh, my goodness. How am I going to make this work? Oh, my... Oh, right. And, come on, you got to... Please. That healing. Come on. I... Dodge. Can I charge that up and miss? I... Actually, that hit. I... Okay. And, can I... Oh, please. Charge it. Hit it. There we go. Dodge. Dodge. Okay, come on. Charge it. Nice. We got a critical on this thing. Let's go for the critical. And, well, okay, all right. I didn't even get the critical. 
Whatever. Somberstone, Beast Blood, and Old Thing. Oh, wow. That... That's a crime punishable by death. Maybe. But in Cave Moss and... I don't think I can get on that other side right now, but Golden Rune and... Here's Rune 2. Yeah, yeah. So that's over by the Colosseum, but we can't even go there right now. Can't get across like this. What it does show you is... This is where we get the end when we sort of go through Lane Dell. Hmm. Yeah. Also, this is West Altus. We should mark that. Well, especially since he was specifically a master wrestler. Let's see. To jump down to that, but we'd have to get up there first. Let's see. I didn't know you were such a big wrestling fan. Well, because being a mass wrestler is specifically a Mexican thing. Lucha? One, two, and there we go. Hmm. So where then am I going to find a way down to get that one item? I don't have to jump, but presumably this is kind of strange. Thank you. Mm -mm. Nothing is coming up here right now. Slash and... Mm -mm. We can take a few more of them down, but it... Mm -mm. Work my way around. Yeah, exactly. That... In Mexican wrestling, specifically. Keep on going. I hope... No one has a Luchador character somewhere. That would be fun. But I... Where is that one... Item, then? There's an item on a corpse hanging... Around somewhere here, but I... Not there... I jump out onto a roof here. I wonder. I hmm, probably through this way. I would expect. Hmm. Interesting. This is kind of strange and uncomfortable. And oh, I didn't die though. Okay. Oh. Huh. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't just his choice. We're out of flats, which means one way or another, I do need to rest, but for that I need to see there's an item hanging off a corpse on a ledge. I need to see what it was. Gone through here. This was where that tree spirit was, but there's also this stuff by Lower Capital Church. This little district. And then of course Varbrum over there and Gone through. Gotta go through the sewers, probably. Hmm. Something on a corpse somewhere. Oh, fair. I could never and would never do react streams for a number of reasons. It just just feels too lazy for me, but so is that where is that? Let's see. Is that just by the elevator? I think that's just by the elevator. But like I said, if I can get some wrestling style beef and the stuff that happens on the Minecraft server, that could be fun. I might have mentioned this already, but Dom specifically wants me to be a villain. So... A villain, I suppose I will be. There's also the stuff over by Rolled. Can't get inside yet. Because Yeah, because I'm mean. I can be pretty mean-spirited at times. 
So then in that case, we've killed most of these guys, so let's work our way over to that marker. And then that's actually in. Where is that? Where is it? I... Hmm. How do I reach that spot? But the... Fair. Well, that's the thing, is that I'd have to figure out a way to make interesting thing happen, things happen without explicitly pointing things out with people. Which would be difficult, but rewarding, probably. Oh, no, you can get over there. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. That's the idea. Let's go back up and okay, we can drop down over there to get that item, presumably. That way. Should be a survivable fall. Suppose there's another way to get back on top. Alright. But right, there's a page here, so. Let's just continue to slam you and okay, well, alright, and I can't believe that didn't hit. Whatever. It Well, a good actor should be a good villain. You would think. It's... You play the cards you're given. Act the role you're given. And, okay, we got... That didn't kill. Whatever. So then, dropping down here would work. Stone Impure, apparently. Fun. There we go, and... Whatever that item is, I should be able to get it from here. I... Hmm, over there, but... I don't know if that full. Not even sure. This is actually rather strange. And that the other night, but it's all just over this way. I cannot think of a way to get over there other than living that fall. Well, actually, maybe I could make it through here. Maybe I all right. This club being as slow as it is, is no, not club, but hammer. Hammer being as slow as it is, is kind of a problem, and, okay. Fair. Well. Th there are multiple ways to define being a good actor. Not everyone would say that you have to be able to play every kind of role well to be a good actor. Okay, and I was able to get back down over there and... What is... Oh, okay, all I had to do was go back around that way after... Killing that one knight who I already got before, but whatever. Thanks, and can I go over there? And what else is over on these rooftops, then? That's my question. Who and where is... what? Is that just... or is that different? That might be different. I don't think, but it might be different. I haven't seen this knight area before, maybe. Hmm... The main thing about good and being a good actor, I would say, is just being entertaining. Or at least, it's one way to be a good actor. To be a good actor, you don't necessarily have to be entertaining. But you have to... You have to play your role well. Whatever that role is. And as many kinds of roles as there are, there are such many kinds of actors. And many kinds of ways in which an actor can be good. Hmm. That's... This is going to be maybe a bit tough. I'm worried about this one jump. Okay. What about the jump and what's over here on here? Another stone sword key, but other than that. Forge great sword. Oh, did I have one of those already? I did not have one of those already. I'm still because it's blood loss. Okay. This is Golden Room 12. Let's go down and get, get that knight guy. I uh, yeah, can use a lion's claw, which is good, but he's over there. The item is over here, but that's not... It's not even the item I was looking for. Wait, what? Something on six, but something entirely different then. So what then? C6 Furina? Oh, so he's a whale whale. Okay. As one does, I suppose. Now, this is different. This is a... Totally unconnected night area. Okay, and can we slam it? Let's just pound that guy in the ground. Okay. Time's yet to duel their luster. Well, it... 
People can change for better and for worse. Golden Rune 9, and so guess it's time to teleport back to another location. So we got that, and we got this. Cool. Got rolled over there. I think I might go to roll immediately, especially since I could just go there from Capital Rampart. It's gonna be that church area and then probably subterranean then. Let's level up something else. Level up and we got Dax and let's actually let's take Faith. Faith is good. Everything is gonna be around 30 by endgame. It really feels like Dark Souls 2. Take this then. And, oh right, we should put on normal black flame. This frenzied burst didn't even do what I wanted it to do. My spell and normal black flame. Cool, cool. Don't need that. What I'm going to need is Bloodhound's Fang. But I, I don't even think I'll be able to get a side of grace over by Wift of Rolled, but. Just in case I want to check. How did that make you feel? How did that make you feel? And what artifact was that then? That's my question. Keep on moving and... Oh, okay, fair. That Crucible Knight does not respawn, thankfully. Actually, it wouldn't have been that bad, but... And just a random corpse. Let's put on a bit more resistance. Not Bulgo, but... Oh, but Lionels can be on with medium load. So we can keep Lionels on, that's good. It's a little more resistance with what I already have than what I had before, but... Well, the colors do clash a bit more. Oh, it was in... You encouraged him to fight the wolf boss and he ended up getting a good, a good artifact that he wouldn't have otherwise. Maybe? Like that? Let's put in Starlight and lots of dogs around here. Come on. Let's see. Over this way. And oh, we got Misbegotten, which means Body Helix. Okay. And we got you, so stab and can we stab and oh well, I alright. Thanks and Hmm. Dog's over here too. Actually, that's also more misbegotten. Stab and not quite a kill. That actually means that leveling arcane could be good. Oh, okay, okay, fair. It. He is a fun boss fight. What is interesting is how it is possible to kill Andreas in one hit. Or at the very least, it's possible to skip the phase 2 transition. If you do enough damage to end him in one hit from whatever HP is at before the phase transition, which is not necessarily easily and the best way to do it, that is actually basically Yule's one remaining niche. Just crazy huge burst damage. Even if in most senses she's very, very power crept. Yeah. It's probably outside of my capabilities too, at least right now, because I don't have I don't have Yule leveled. I I don't fight Andreas anymore. I fought Andreas so many times that if I got every single character who uses his mats to plus 10 every single every single talent, I would have enough. As long as I have the crowns and the books. The only bosses I fight anymore as a result of that are Skara, up up the Whale, and... Skara, up at the whale, and Arlequino. I can't believe I forgot Arlequino. But, because all the others I've gotten every material I could potentially ever need from them, or at least the amount I'd probably do a bit of conversion with Dream Solvent. You know, talking about this purely theoretically, of course, because I don't really take character, I don't really crown characters, but as I was saying, in theory I could run them more to get more billets, and some people do do that, but it's just, I don't really need billets all that much. I don't really use craftable weapons all that much anymore. 
I've got an R5 Serpent Spine, and that alone is going to be better than almost any Claymore 4 or 5 star in almost any situation, so it's just... Alright, okay, cool. <laughs> got Grail over there, and interestingly enough, that dog actually does not... That dog actually does not aggro. Because its aggro is connected to another location on the other side of the map. There we go. I might eventually, but I would need... I would need to level Yule first, and... She's simply not a huge priority. Got every perfume bottle. That's nice. Also have every key items, every perfume bottle, every cracked pot. The only thing we'll have to be ritual pots. One day, one day. That dragon should not scare you. It's literally my weapon. It's a spell I cast. It's your friend. It's on your side. Well, actually, if it's on my side, then it probably isn't your friend. Because you only enjoy seeing me suffer. That's right. But. Well, if you, if you look at. Okay. Pay attention to. Draw your eyes to the bottom left, left part of the screen. You see that part where it says Grail's Roar. There's that dragon head icon. Well, that's because it's the incantation I currently have queued up. And if I cast a spell, it's going to be that one. Well, I. You like dragons. You like dragons. I find it hard to believe that would only be pain for you. Then we got another scaling misbegotten, and die. Uh, cool. Honestly, and it might be because of upgrade all the stuff. It, even though these guys are resistant to, less resistant to pierce. The bloodhound thing is still doing a bit more damage, maybe because of the jumping. Okay. Fair enough. I kind of figured I was just being mean for the sick for the sick of, for the sick of comedy. Also mean for the sake of being mean. But you knew that already. Well, it's it's okay. Yeah. I do it I bully out of love. I bully out of love and popular demand. If I said nice things to you. You would just get confused and self-destruct. Oh, okay. So it's Hunt and Peck? Fair enough. How much I don't have Golden Vow on right now? And, okay, cool, and... Slash it! How did that not hit? Okay, cool, and... Take you out of the way and go back in for a last hit, and there we go, cool. Fun. And... can I? Thanks, and... Oh, well, you got your funny tier that gives you more damage What? What? Huh? Excuse me? How did every one of those sparks hit me? Come on. Yeah, that was a little ridiculous. I... I gotta take the perfumers out first, then. So they buff up the other guys, and that is not something I can afford to let happen. Let's go back down then. <sighs> Either way, it does seem that slashing might be a bit better than piercing against those misbegotten. We really can't. Well, the main thing is I need to actually buff in advance of that group encounter. It's intended on teleporting back anyway. There was no reason to save runes. No reason to try to save runes. There was nothing to lose, but... Other than, of course, that rune arc, which I had to use because I died there. So I made a fool of myself yet again. Probably. Especially since it is a very good AoE attack. So prepare yourself. Close your ears, maybe. It's an idea. So we've got more misbegotten, but not a lot should see us if we stay on this path. Let's keep on going. Thank you, and yep, really, really good damage. I can make a worse fool of myself. I would prefer not to do that. This is Boon. Golden Vow. One grant me. Yeah, and you're winning. Run up and Mason Butterfly 3. 
Got time delayed a little there, which is not great. Can I? Boom, boom, and oh, it killed a number of them straight out. That's really, really nice. And oh, come on, you. Can I? Oh, please. All right. And, hmm. Speak for yourself. Seems these matters really are subjective. And got. Oh, my. What? Huh? Huh? Okay. Come on, you. Actually infuriating. Okay, and... Dodge, okay. Ground slam is something for sure, and... There we go, dead. Okay. Well... Well, I'm glad you do. Because I won't do it for you. Exalted flesh, and... We got... More from that perfumer. Oh, perfumer hood. Okay, well... We avenged ourselves. Nobody else, just ourselves. What do you mean, technically, that I have to... Narrate your comments. And also, I can... Yep, there is no side of grace in here. How sad. Can't activate this because I don't have... Wait, actually... I think I could go to Forbidden Lands right now. Yeah. I think. There won't be a map there, but... I can do that over there. Instead of... Progressing in Langdell. Because this should open now, right? Yep, it'll go. Thank you. Yeah, that leads over there into another Divine Tower, so... Yeah. I'd say most of them are. Balcony, this is where I should go next. Lower Capital Church. So we'll get around to some things, and I think the Shunning Grounds too, but... Oh, actually, no. All right. Is there a side of grace here? There's no side of grace, I don't think. And it's sealed by Morgoth, the Omen King's power. So there was no point in going here right now. Nothing to gain. Well, actually, we got Flame Drake plus one, which is interesting. But not that important right now, especially since we already have Flame Drake plus two. Morgoth, the grace given. Yep. And you've seen that guy before, actually. You actually saw him today. Which means that we can't even get a side of grace in. That's kind of sad. Hmm. So even though we don't... Even though we already can't get up there because of the medallion, we can't even get into Forbidden Lands. It's kind of silly. I... Omen Killer over there. Hello, and... Jump, and jump, and jump. Okay, cool. Take it down and go in for another quick hit. There we go, cool. Okay. All right. But actually, to reach that part over there, I would need to go to... That's right, go to Avenue Balcony. Right. So I can maybe get my way into the Shunning Grounds, but I don't think I'll really explore there them all that much today. There's too much there. Let's kill those knights. If they were here, I may as well kill them. Hi, hello. And, well, alright, I... Dodge, and that One, two, three, and now you're dead. Cool. That was... very erratic. Surprised that even worked. Okay, cool. Now that guy's going over that way, so let's... take him down, too. Hard then for that to see me, it seems. Thank you, and... Even though it's not nighttime, they still can't see. Oh, were they going to use? I think that might have been Wrath of Gold. Interesting. Okay. Dodge and connect. Thanks. Stab. Keep stabbing. You aren't doing anything? Okay. Cool. I guess. Go down through here around this giant dragon who I'll actually have to walk on to get through. We have got a scarab. That. That scarab is just over that way, okay. So then, let's... Maybe toss some lightning there? Cool. Right, I can't do that. Switch after that long animation. And another, another, and there we go, cool. Ash of War Thunderbolt. That... Oh, we got Elven Oryx in here, okay, cool. Stab, stab, okay, dodge. I need to dodge out of the way. Why are there so many Elven Oryx in here, I swear? I... All right, oh, well, it leads around that way, so let's 
put this back on. I swear, I swear, I swear. I, okay, dodge, dodge, avoid jump. Avoid the jump. Okay, cool. Come on, you. Die. And die. Okay, all right. Let's check what that says then. Elven work. I mean, Ash War Thunderbolt. Dragon Cold, Countdown, Bolt of Lightning, Fire, and Rapid Succession. All melee armaments. Respect, plus a buff, carry poison explosives, right? We have plus two, so plus one does not do anything special for us. Because the better versions of the rings, than like in other Souls games, don't even weigh more. So they have no special niche. Oh, and there we go. That's that's the well. On the Nork butt claw, butt claw. Well, well, well. Mm -hmm. Let's check what else might be over here. I, hmm, I get the impression that you had to jump down into here to get in here, and that the other side would not have worked. So let's activate a side of grace in there, I think. Should be an item, maybe. And that's a pickled turtleneck. Okay, fair enough. Let's go down activating the subterranean shunning grounds, and then I think that'll be all for today. We got through the part of Wayndell that I couldn't before. There's also that sewer. Might stick around it. Do a little bit in that part of the sewer. Because I might actually forget if I don't. But other than that, I... Done pretty much everything here. Roman killer's back. Okay. Cool. Yeah, there is the... Oh, and down here is... More sewer. Question is, let's mark that and just to see if I can access that from the other part of the suit without having to do more garbage. Then let's actually try a black flame on you. And it actually killed. Cool. Just so that when I go down there, I won't have to deal with that annoying thing. Okay. Let's go down to the sewer, activate a grace or something. Actually, before any of that, what if I go up over here? Is there going to be anything special on this? Dust Hill? Probably not. Okay. Interesting. That over there, then. Hmm. Yeah, but it's that well. It has no feelings. It's literally a hand. Or if it does have feelings, they're feelings I don't care about. It's disgusting. And a rune arc, but... Wait. Actually get that through there, but... Open that. I... Don't you start. Don't you start. I will retaliate. Black flame and... Let me see. Chaos ahead, so... Jumping. Should be able to find a grace through here. Presumably. Fun music. Probably. Unless you have any better ideas. Hmm. Where is the grace in here, if there is one? No grace ahead. I... They might be trying to make me wait. Thank you, and Oh, come on. And my light went out at the exact worst time. It's nice to have here, though. So where is my way through? Poison Bone Dart and another rat, and not even dead. Okay. That ends. Should be the Subterranean Shunning Grounds, I think. Yep, Subterranean Shunning Grounds. Other ways in here, but first I. Got a couple of omens to take down. Let's find a grace real quick. And, oh, alright. Funny how you do that, but I. Oh, oh my goodness. Alright. And for a big hit and die. Cool. Fun. This is where omens are all sent. The guy. Maybe buffs would be okay there, but still. Let's mark that. Let's see. It's underground, but I think special marking that though. They're forcing us to go pretty far, actually. Is this open or Cannot open from this side. Okay, alright. You know, let's actually mark that too. It's an easier way to remember, I think. But... So here is our side of grace. Not sure which side. 
And yep, uh, underground road sign, but I will do some of that then. But what was that part then? Part of the grounds, I. Oh, there you are. Okay. Fun. Go over and. Oh, if you'd gone for an axe swing, you probably could have hit me. Unfortunately for you, you didn't do that. Okay. Let's get rid of these rats real quick. And can I? Thanks. Okay, and kill the rat. What did I see? That one to mark for later. It was... Oh, it was that gate. Okay. So in that case, I suppose... Of enemies? Maybe. I'll take it as a compliment. Gotta go down through here. I... I am just going to run past. I don't care to fight these knights this time. Thanks. Good. It had better have been. One, two, three, four, five, and... Interesting. This time. You want to keep me guessing, huh? Make sure I never know what to expect. Interesting. How do I... What else is here? It's more of that... Oh, a gargoyle. Okay. Hmm. Sewer gargoyle. For whatever reason... Oh, but that... It's a way to get back up if you go down into the sewer. It's back right around that dragon area then. Okay, you can get over to the well from here. Okay. Maybe, maybe being annoying is your way of being evil. Who's to say? But I think that sewer area is the last I'll do today. But I would like to do it now. So that was Krajir. Switch that out. Okay, cool. I see. There we go. Oh, but you were over there then. Okay. Hmm. Some items. All right. This will take that. Fan daggers. Okay. Well, it. If you're doing it to cause problems. I would call it evil. So then I. Mm. Explosion and. Keep on rolling, keep on rolling out of the way. Can I hit? And interesting, that's tough. And there we go, it's dead. Okay. It's tough to actually land hits, but we did it. Okay. I would say so. Depending. We already have an Earth Steel Dagger. Oh, I'm glad you found it funny. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Keep on moving. I can tell. Don't worry. There seem to be a lot of things you don't care about. Okay. Keep on going. Now this works and... That is not quite it. Well, you can kind of finagle your way over. Okay, cool. Hmm. So what part of the sewer then should I get to here? Be another guy with a sack on his head. Well, I'm glad you do. I care about Elder Ring too. Move over this way. Go down and right we have to. To a quick black flame. Alright. Cool. More of the rats in Albinorix. Cool. Oh, well, alright. And a hand? You gotta be kidding. Thanks. And enough to kill that time. Thank you. Okay. So this is the other side of what we went through to actually get into. The Shunning Grounds. See that over there? It's sort of a sign about the well. Oh, and we got more more of you guys. Okay, cool. Saw someone else running past, but you totally missed me in that first time. You overshot by a good deal. Alright, cool. Oh, no hidden path ahead, but this is just where that gargoyle was, so, okay. Hmm. Keep on going. 
See how this works out. I know there was some weird game behavior I talked about before with that. Uh, thought it might be good quick fodder, but I forgot about it. Those things take a while to drop down, so let's just blast them. Thank you. That was probably me trying to snipe the tree spirit with frenzied burst falling down and having to fight it normally. Poison bone dart and I think I hear something. I hope I don't. Hello. Black flame. Decent enough. Good projectile, but they stay for a while before actually dying, so to speak. Actually disappearing. And you will drop down and we can just use fire to take you out. Yep, and it's red fire even though the flame is black. And... Okay, cool. Alright, all right. and... Oh, okay, interesting. Thank you, and burn and dodge over there. Thank you, and... Oh, but it didn't explode immediately. Yeah, that's interesting. Lost Ashes of War. Alright. Somber Smithing Zone. What I should have done was while I was on fire. Gone for normal Bloodhound's Fang attacks, but it is what it is. Okay. I will go through this little part of the sewer, and that will be the only thing really left. Yeah. There is... Right, another finger creeper. Hello. Where the big ones fire that immobilize your projectile, though. So... Over here, and more rats. Hello, rats. Die, rat. Empty beast bone, and... Golden rune. For there, there will be an item pickup, and then it will just be... Shunning grounds, and... Rest of Lando. Guilty hood. Lesser crimes indicated by the color of shrubbing branches for the click of olive brown. What do we went through here? This was the... Is that... Other than that, I think it would have to be this Grand Sax Avenue balcony. It would indicate, right, it's in the dragon to go up up top. And then it's this mansion over here, which is the physical equivalent of the round table hold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after Wayne it's just mountaintops, concentrated snowfield, and then end game. In the big floaty city over here, which I went to before. Brief trip, didn't get a map or anything though. So, I suppose in that case, I will simply return to good old round table hold and continue my path through later. And it's crazy how just nobody is here. Do I have any remembrances? I don't think I do. That's what I got, I think, was Moog. And there shouldn't be anything left. Receive power from remembrance, and yet we don't have anything. The thing we could do is buy more Radon Spears, but we don't even really use those anymore. Well, we could buy all of these right now. Oh, Elmer's set Briar Helm. Mark of the Guilty, a sentence of death, karma, deal damage while performing dodge rolls, murder numerous extractors and merchants, known as the Bell Bearing Hunter. Alright, cool. Let's just buy this unique equipment so I don't have to do it again when I think about it later. Alright, and there we are. Words of the Fingers guide you. Got a number of marks to burn, lots of things in our favor, but. For now, I suppose, this is where we close out today. And next time, I suppose, it will, in fact, be Lane Dell and a little bit of Mountaintops. Fun. I, depending on how long things take, I could pretty reasonably close out Elden Ring in three more sessions. So two more after the one on Sunday. I mean, on Friday, Friday. We'll see what happens. Well, it... And that just means moving on to the DLC. <laughs> Mind you. We're not done. Well, it... I've been playing this, and 
quite frankly, a few other things. So that'll be the end of things for today. So thank you for ever, to everyone for watching, and yeah. Sayonara again. Hmm. <sighs>